Tarry Maker, everybody. Welcome. Ooh, ooh. And Alison Tarry, it is wonderful <coughs> to see you. It's wonderful to see you. I've missed you. Missed you too. Yeah. There she is. And you're rapping. <laughs> Before the show. Before the show. Well, yeah, no, it's one of those things. You've got to do it. Yeah, yeah. How is everything in your world, Alison? Well, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> the other half's not so good. Oh. Hence the, the uh, precautionary. The precautionary. Precautionary. The precautionary distance. Oh, poor old John. I yeah. bless him. Is he going to be watching today, do you think? Oh, he was tucked up in bed all day yesterday with, with, oh. a, couple, with, with, with a couple of doggy nurses. Uh oh. Are they being useful or not? No, well, they're keeping him warm because oh. he really needed that with the temperature. Yes, with the temperature, <laughs> skyrocketing temperature, exactly. <laughs> Bless him. Um, oh, well, if you are watching, John, best wishes to you, my darling. Morning, I hope darling. you're getting well soon. Bless you. Um, so, Alison, oh, yes. my gosh. Um, <laughs> have we got a show? <laughs> we have got a show for you today. And I tell you what's so brilliant about today's show. There's so many different things to be excited about. There is. There's something for everybody on today's show. Yeah. Carol, the 12 o'clock kit. Go on, love. Yes. Oh, my Walk gosh. to me. With the tool. But I've been having a play with carving. I'm not up to that standard. Oh, yet. my Ooh, gosh. It's better on screen than I thought the it was. The most would. beautiful little mushroom on your turquoise. Alison. It's fab. It's incredible. Incredible work you've and it's done not here. Hard. These Look kits at this. are brilliant oh, if you want to have a go. on screen as much as I want it to. You almost need oh, to. Oh, will it if I? Ah. Oh. oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Watch. The... Here comes the sunflower. Dee, 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 dee. This one's a little bit more. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, it's awesome. I should have done it the other way. I wasn't looking because all the lines of the um, neon appetite are going across rather than up the leaves. But you live and learn. You live and learn. Alison, oh, you've Ollie, done such an brilliant. amazing job. Did you did you do that with the um, with the Dremel? With the Dremel using my new tool. Yes. Oh, this is so, so cool. New tool coming up in oh. the twelve o'clock hour. Um, uh, we we did we bought you kind of like a smaller handheld yeah. version of this last week. For this is the big daddy though, yeah. isn't it? Um, we love a tool, don't we? Yeah, and it's hand-free. So the other one for rings, brilliant. But when you've got bigger pieces, this is hands-free. This is, this is brilliant. Absolutely love it. Any shape. You know, John can use it for his models. It, it'll clamp any absolutely. shape you want. It's absolutely fabulous. It, honestly, it is the most brilliant, brilliant tool. Gorgeous kits. The gem carving you've done. Oh, Baby steps, so baby beautiful. steps that nowhere near, nowhere near the level. You're totally reinventing the wheel. I mean, I've uh, never known you to be inside the box. No. This is so out the box. It's just absolutely... I'm in the next county now. Yeah. <laughs> there is no box. Where's the box? It's literally yeah. three miles behind it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so that's coming up in the 12. Very, very, very exciting. <laughs> the box, actually, yes, is in the 10 o'clock hour. Oh, that's um, why I couldn't find it to get in. Lots of display... Come here, oh. mate. Come here, come here, come here. Lots oh, of, uh, we've got this gorgeous stackable storage box coming up in the 10. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's stackable. You can take these little compartments out, which is great. Um, that's coming up in the 10, along with loads of displays. Ooh. So we've got this display. I really like this one. So this one comes that. with little earring displays, which pull out like this, and then you just slot them in at the top. And they rings. just bend over there. You can put all your earrings there. This is great for your um, great for your rings. And then you've got um, a bigger kind of compartment down here. Let me just pick it up for your uh, bracelets, necklaces. It's gorgeous, and it's got that lovely black kind mm. of velvet uh, kind of quality on the bottom as well. Such a professional. That's tool. amazing. Such a, a, a professional display. Sorry. You could display suites of jewellery beautifully. Most definitely. Most wow. definitely. Um, so that's going to be coming up. Uh, we've also got busts, bobbin holders, all sorts coming up uh, in the tent. So it's going to be a really, really fantastic show in that wow. regard. Ten o'clock. Okay, sorry, um, I beg your pardon. Nine o'clock. We've got gorgeous bookmark kits. We've With got seed bead bundles. We've got the loom, the last few of the loom oh, as fabulous. well. Um, so we've got all of that coming up in the nine. We've also got coming up in the nine, beautiful bit of Hessonite oh. garnet. Oh, Very excited about that. One of my favourites. So gorgeous Hessonite garnet. We've got them in drops. We've got them in those gorgeous oh. rondelles as well. Wow. Um, eight o'clock. Right. 
Wow. So eight o'clock hour is all about uh, getting things as quickly as you can because it's a viewer's choice hour. Get as many pieces as you possibly can. Have a look at our website. So your early bird today is that Egyptian turquoise. I'm so excited to be bringing that oh. to you today. Um, we've only ever had it on the show, I think, twice. Genuine Egyptian turquoise. It's beautiful. We've also got vivid green cool. angelite. We've got uh, an Ouroboros ring. We've got clear quartz. We've got near rounder coirs. We've got alphabet spacers. We've got the sorting tray for beads. We've got French wire. We've Ooh. got cauliflower chain. We've got earring stands. We've got spacer beads in the shape of butterflies. We've got jade carvings. Oh, I love that one, that dragon's head carving. It's one of oh, my favorites. Oh, I faves. love that. I got that. Black spinel, sterling silver connectors, jade rounds, rank onyx smooth clovers. Silver opalized ammonite. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Paperclip chain bracelet. Uh, Shell pearl storage box. Gosh, we've got loads. Multicolor cotan mutton fat jade. Uh, we've got beautiful pearls, flame ball pearls. The royal pearl. And hematite. Uh, Here is the Egyptian turquoise. Now this, wow. we've only had um, <clears throat> on the show, I think it's twice we launched it with Jake Thompson maybe one, two years ago. Um, you can get it now. It's amazing. We do have a decent quantity. My gosh, it, it's going to, the price is amazing. This is kind of the original turquoise. Um, before we do anything, though, let's go to the Wall of Fame. Let's see some of your incredible designs. <laughs> So let's go to the Wall of Fame. Uh, number 69 is Deborah Davies. Oh, hello. Ooh. Gorgeous, charmy bracelet here. Here is my offering for the Wall of Fame. I like charm bangle made from kite, uh, from the kite I bought, kite kit I bought from JM last week. Thanks for all the fab bargains, uh, says Deborah. Thank you, my lovely. Karen Cowgill, you're number 70. Okay. My entry for the Wall of Fame is a simple, uh, two simple agate necklaces. Oh. Oh, wow. uh, much underrated gemstone. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. Stunning. Love the variety of the beautiful stones from these um, uh, strands. Everything apart from the bale is from Jewelry Maker. Uh, that's gorgeous, Karen. Thank you. Vera Barini, you're number 71. Oh, lovely piece here. Oh, nice. A commission for a, 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 which was a real labor of love. It took a few days to create the box chainmail necklace. Oh, gosh, it's chainmail. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, all made with 900 jump rings. The Viking pendant was supplied. I had to create uh, a necklace to go with it. Uh, keep making everyone. That's from Vera. Lovely. Do you know what? That is a gorgeous Vera, and the hard work has definitely paid off. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well done. That's lovely. Me? Mm. Uh, number 72 is Linda Kohling. Um, my entry for the Wall of Fame is Chevron Amethyst. I love Oh, Chevron it's a beautiful Amethyst. stone, isn't it? Uh, rope slider bracelet. That looks gorgeous. Um, with silver plated spacers, all materials from JM. Loving the slider bracelet findings you've been selling lately. Very comfortable to wear. Um, thanks uh, to the guest designers for inspiration, excellent tuition, and to the presenters for their knowledge, expertise, and making it fun. <laughs> lovely. That, gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Thank you, lovely Linda. Um, 73 is Diane Dubois. 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 Sorry. No oh, worry, that's fine. Um, hi, all. Here is a make oh. I made from beads from a bead scoop. Oh, lovely. Um, but the pen oh, there's a doggy. My spash. Good luck to all. Dog's called Shelby. Oh, Shelby. Shelby. Gorgeous. Your Shel mates are lovely. But Shelby, Shelby Dubois. Oh, What lovely. a name. Oh, Shelby looks like... You're clearly holding a biscuit there for Shelby <laughs> to look at. I know that look. That's a, I want that biscuit look. <laughs> uh, number 74 is Deborah Melville. Hello, lovely. And she Gorgeous. says, good morning, hi, uh, all at JM. I haven't entered the WAF in a very long time. Mm. Well, it's good to see you back. And it's lovely to see your makes on live TV. So here is mine. Um, a sterling silver pearl necklace and earring set. All items from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all of us. That looks lovely, doesn't it? I like it? your elephant, by yeah. the way, Deborah. That's lovely very cute. Um, and number 75 is Trevor Edgar. Oh, hi, Oh, Trevor. another bit of chain mail. Morning lovely. roll at JM. Here is a European two-in-one bracelet with twisted gold and silver plated copper rings. 
Um, jump rings are five mil, uh, five mil in the diameter plus safety chain of three mil in the, di in the diameter. Jump rings uh, with a magnetic clasp. Hope you like it. Best wishes. I love it. I don't think I've ever put a magnetic clasp with chain mail before. Nice that idea. Looks great. Though, Trevor. Yeah. <coughs> Alison Quince, your number 76. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. Um, I messaged in last Monday. I couldn't watch as I was having a full on craft day with my goddaughter. Aww. Here are her designs made together with all the JM materials I took with me. JM bags are so roomy. Even the cat joined in by lying on the JM craft mat. <laughs> my goddaughter is called J uh, Jemima. She's 12. And these are her designs oh, of her well first wall of fame. Good luck to all the waffles. Oh, well done to you, Alison. And well done to lovely Jemima yeah. as well. How gorgeous. Beautiful designs, Sylvie. <coughs> Barry Harvey, you're our final entry for today. You're number 77, my lovely. And Barry, oh, oh, lovely bit of um, spiny oyster. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. Spiny oyster turquoise and seed bead necklace made with a magnetic clasp. I've had the turquoise for some time, but only just got around to making it into a piece. Everything except the clasp is from JM. Hope you like it. Love and magic to all. Barry, you're an absolute ledge. Thank you for that, my lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. So everything on the website is available for you now. Uh, this is just a, a small selection of some of the things on our website. I mean, yeah, all of that, all of that business. Wow. Let's get down, let's get down to business. We've got the most amazing hour for you. Please, 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 if you get anything this hour, please get the Egyptian turquoise because mm. I think it's only the second or third time it's ever been on jewellery makers screens. We're very, very excited about this. Amazing. Let's start by bringing you button pearls. Oh. Not button moon, button pearls. Oh, button moon. Gosh, that looks like a dated, <laughs> dated program now, doesn't it? Look at this, half drilled button pearls. So button pearls, are basically, they're gonna have a flatter bottom on them and then a lovely rounded top. Um, Almost a cabochon, aren't they? They're all, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Perfect for rings or, or popping in a, um, a pendant thing or yes. anything like that. Because of that flat bottom, they'll, they'll sit much better. Yeah, any, anywhere where you don't want them to sit too proudly, yes. I guess. Um, £6.99, pence. Maker in London, Maker in London, Victoria and Kent, Tracy in Greater wow. Manchester. Well done to you. No, we're taking the price down again. Let's oh. just do it. Let's just do it, everyone. Here we go, 5 99 Victoria, well done to you as well. Wow. Coming through for some more by the look of it. Cheryl, well done to you. What about 4 99 How does that sound? Ellen, well done to you, that my lovely. That crazy. Yeah. Couple of pieces of wire and some butterfly backs and you made yourself a, a pair of stud earrings. Sold out, well done. Oh, oh Neri well. is excitable <laughs> today. Ha ha hematite. Which oh. one? The rounded one or the flat one? The flatty one. I love this. They're lovely. Such a nice stone. Look at this. £5.99. Oh. Isn't that a beautiful mm. ring? Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that quality. £4.49 pence now. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Get involved when you can, everybody. Um, coming to you in a size N to O, which is a size 7. Uh, we've got a decent quantity of this one available. But it's not your price point today. Do you know what? This is going to be an Easter present. If you've got friends oh. or family coming over, uh, over Easter, uh, we're going to be having um, Easter Easter kind of lunch with my mum and dad after the show. Oh, I nice. think that's going to be nice. Uh, that's going to, yes, and I am expecting an Easter egg hunt. Uh, don't, um, don't, don't put that pause in there, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> 3 .99. Not your price point today. I need Easter eggs on, uh, on, on Easter Sunday. Yeah. I think we all do, don't we? Yeah. We need to bring in some Easter eggs. I want to eat that. I think we should do an Easter egg hunt. I think it needs to be a bit of a bit of a bit of fun. Do you know that's a very good idea, actually, Ollie. We're doing such a great deal on this today. Yeah, we're taking the price point even lower. You could even make a necklace yeah. using this. Two pounds forty nine. Yeah, those are individual links, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Two forty nine. That's less than cake. a sandwich in a petrol station. Mm. That's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Yeah, the price of maybe not a very good coffee, I reckon. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well I'd done. I'd rather that than the coffee. <laughs> Two pounds and 49 pence. Such a wonderful stone, kind of a lovely kind of, almost like a hybrid stone, isn't it? It it's is. It's kind of like a metallic stone. Yeah. 
Great for grounding if you're into kind of the holistic properties of gemstones, supposed holistic properties. Uh, this is really meant to kind of uh, ground you, make you feel a little bit more. If you feel like you're all a bit up in the air or you're feeling a little bit unsettled, this incredible gemstone is meant to just ground you, keep you nice and centralized. Great for guys to wear this as well. Mm. Um, 249, we've got Cumbria, Hertfordshire. Cum uh, two more going to Cumbria. Well done to you, Essex as well. Let's move on. Are we doing the other one? Yeah, we're doing the other one now. I love this one. I love, 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 love this one. A little bit more rounded. These would make great wedding bands. I was just thinking that, you know. Don't you think? Yeah. Make a great wedding band. Oh, so we've got sizes P to Q and N to O. So you've got sizes, and I'm an P, Q, R, S. So we've got sizes seven and eight available. <coughs> Sizes seven and size eight available. So all available for you today. Six pounds and 99 pence. Uh, not your deal today. No, come on, let's go even lower. Loads more people coming through. So we've got significantly fewer of the size eight available. If you do want to get the size eight, get it now. Well done, Heather, Ellen, Kirsty. Ellen's got two. Well done to you. Two pounds 49. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Victoria's bought 10. I reckon, Victoria, you were you were buying a lot yesterday as well. I, Victoria, are you doing a craft fair this coming mm. Easter? Or are you stocking up for kind of little prezzies? What might it be, I or wonder? Or is she making the necklace? Or is she making the necklace, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, well done to you, Beverly. Another maker coming through. Heather, well done to you. Great, great, great deal for you today. Yeah, to be mm. able to use these as big jump rings, I think it's just a, a great, really wonderful... They? thing to be able to do isn't it sue in edinburgh i can see you there this morning yeah we've got some gorgeous hematite coming up look stars oh wow make a lariat style oh gosh a lariat style yeah. oh hello marla lariat there you go oh my gosh that's such nice. a great idea i love that Jacqueline's got four. Well done to you. Just make a nice big kind of toggle. Yeah. And that won't come out. That is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? All oh, your gorgeous hematite. We've got this gorgeous strand coming up, by the way. I believe, is this strand in this hour? It is, isn't it? Yeah, so if you want to get this strand ahead of time, it's hearts and stars. Please, please, please do. Coming to you in silver and gold hematite. London's bought six. Well done to you. P and Q uh, have sold out now, just to let you know. Should we do the strand of hematite? This one. That one, one. Shall we? Okay. This is going to be very, very, very popular. Um, hematite is becoming the stone of the moment, I think. Yeah. We had, some, we had a beautiful hematite deal of the day on Saturday. We had some more on Sunday. Every time we're bringing you hematite at the minute, it is oh. absolutely flying. This strand is no exception. You've got a great section here of gold hearts. Okay. You've then got a lovely selection of um, silver coloured hematite stars and they're proper crystal Beautiful. stars aren't yeah. they golden stars lovely and then a beautiful selection of your silver hearts as well really lovely 20 seconds and then we're going to be bringing the graphics live this is going to just disappear wish bracelets charm bracelets such an yeah. easy strand Trend to use bracelets or how about rosary link it and hang it on your tree? I know it's early for the C word, but how amazing would that be? At a Christmas I tree? love that idea, Alison. Would that be amazing? Do you know what? Yeah, uh, make these into Christmas uh, Christmas decks. Yeah. Love that. Absolutely love that. Because, you know, you do have people who kind of, you know, myself included, you know, there are certain decorations which we get out every year yeah. and you just love yeah. them, you cherish them. You put them away really carefully. This this is going to be that for you, isn't That'd it? Be amazing. Wouldn't or it? you know, if you're thinking towards the end of the school year, the academic year, which you're is going to be in come what of July time, and you want to kind of give somebody, you know, you're a star, um, or I love you, you're my friend, or I love you, you're my teacher, and you know, you know, it, you know, it's you know, I'm sorry to be leaving the school, or you know, whatever it might be. Also, if you're making pieces over the Easter holidays for friends for family or for little craft fairs or charity mm. events that are happening over the um over the three bank holidays in may over the jubilee celebrations mm. this is perfect 17.99 for the whole strand you are going to be getting here one and a half meters wow of wow. gold and silver colored hematite stars and hearts that is absolutely brilliant that would it? probably give you about three meters rosary linked 
Yeah, do you know what? That's a great. Yeah, so you're doubling the yeah. length. Yeah, that's a that's a really good point actually. Wow. I've given up chocolate and cheese for Lent. Oh my gosh, I think I might actually faint if I'd have done that, <laughs> Heather. Uh, Sunday, chocolate, 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 and cheese. Yeah, do you know what? Amazing. Fair Happy. play to you, love. Kathleen in Flintshire, good morning. I'm happy. Carol and Alison uh, having a me day today. Yay. Watching Jay and morning. Looking forward to Alison's demos. Love you, darling. There you go. There you go. When's the last time you had a me day? Exactly. Um, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well done. My kids keep on asking for a yes day. A yes day? What, where you've got to say yes to everything? To everything. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. There's a movie out and they uh, well, came oh. out last year or the year before and they watch it and they watch it and now they've, it's giving them ideas. Oh, no. Oh. I'd ban it. <laughs> ban yeah. the movie. Right, what are we doing now? Drops. Drops. Drops here. Clear quartz drops. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so we basically have to say yes to everything. But there are a few kind of stipulations. We can't go anywhere that's more than kind of 30 miles away from the house. Okay. Uh, we can't do anything that affects the future, like get a dog, because that, that's, that, that would be the f uh, get another dog. That would be the first on the list. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, we can pretty much do anything. Can we have pizza? Yes. Can we have ice cream? Yes. Can we have some more ice cream? Yes. Can you have some chips? Yes. Can we stay up till nine o'clock? Yes. Can we stay up till 10 o'clock? Yes. Can oh, we be gosh. Sick? Yeah. Who's this from? Alison. Alison. From Alison. Can you read that or not? Thank you very much for showing, uh, showing my goddaughter's makes. Oh, it was you, Alison. Oh, she'll be, she'll be over the uh, moon. She'll be over the moon. Uh, thought mum might not be, be happy. happy with the addiction, the addiction that follows. <laughs> ah, yes. I love it. I love it. That's great. Yeah, don't, <coughs> don't show her the old Mac. Uh, but yes, absolutely amazing. That with those stars would look amazing, that clear quartz. Have that. Gold drop. or silver? I'd go silver and have a shooting shooting stars below the drop. Oh, Alison. Have a cluster. Oh, I yes. don't know. Yes. I'd go yes. gold and silver. Yeah the, yeah, the gold would look beautiful as well, yeah. wouldn't it? Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Here we go. Enjoy. Nice. Six. 99 <gasps> 6.99 for a strand of the clearest most beautiful most Stunning. amplifying gemstone absolutely gorgeous well done everybody it's absolutely beautiful look at the way it's just literally slowly yeah. moving around that lazy susan you've got this incredible this incredible light and energy which passes through these carolyn victoria's got five well done to you well, ellen in you. cumbria well done to you Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Enjoy, everybody. Go, go, go. Wow. Six pounds and 99 pence. And through drilled, so easy to use. Yeah. So easy to use. Absolutely. That, that, yeah, because they're through drilled, it makes yeah. it so much easier, doesn't it? Pop on a head pin. Yeah. You're good to go. Yeah, you see, that's exactly it. When, when a gemstone is drilled through the kind of the t narrowest point of the drop, it's still easy to use, yeah, yeah. but you just need to do a twisted... A wrap um, and... Yeah. A, a wrap loop, sorry. Um, where is this just, it, it, it is just a piece yeah. of cake. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay. Where should we go now, lovely? Oh. Yes. Oh, is it these? Oh. Are these ready made? Uh, you're literally just buying a pair of earrings here. Look oh, at the quality oh, of those oh. pearls. Oh my gosh. Wow. They are They're like stunning. snowdrops. They are, aren't they? Oh, we're a little bit late in the year for snowdrops now, aren't we, I suppose? Um, yeah, but... I can't get over how beautiful those pearls are. They're just perfect, aren't they? I love the sterling silver. I don't think I've ever seen these. I love the sterling silver kind of foliage <coughs> over the top of these. They are go They're gorgeous. Is it a bit like a what, sorry? Um, mistletoe. Oh gosh, it's, it very mm. much is actually. These would be wonderful. They're gorgeous. For your they? um for your wedding earrings. Look at these, so lovely. Just a gentle dangle. Yeah. Nothing too 
Nothing too over the top. Absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning, aren't they? I, I love know. that rice shape, don't you, Alison? Yeah. It, well, it, it, it goes so well with those leaves. I think a, a round one would have looked a bit stumpy in it. Yes. That just. Yes, I agree. It's beautiful. Elongates it. They are amazing pearls. Two wow. grams of your sterling silver. That is an incredible amount of sterling silver you've got going on It is, on but look at the bit, the, the loop. Look yes. at the width of that. Normally yeah. it's quite wide, whereas that's... What, this could, here? Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. It's quite wide, it? isn't it? Very, very... 19.99. Unbelievably, wow. um, I'm a, it's not your price. Honestly, I've got no idea how we can do that. Look at the quality of that pearl. You see, you could very easily as well turn that into a loop and make that into a pendant. Oh. So you could have pendant and earrings. So there. just make this into a loop. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What a lovely idea. Um, they're perfect match for Mark's snowdrop necklace. I didn't know he'd done oh, a snowdrop necklace. How lovely. Did. What a lovely idea. And his um, chestnut close, was it? Oh, okay. Would that, have been, would that have been winter or spring? I suppose spring, maybe? Winter? I don't know. No, it would be winter snowdrop because it's January, isn't it? It, it is January, right? isn't it? Yeah. Um, Kathy, Barbara, Anne, Victoria, Trevor, yeah. Tina, well done to you. I'm amazed at that. $14.99. I'm not being funny, Alison. Let's say you've got your, um, your craft stalls up yeah, over yeah. the next few weeks, over Easter, over the three bank holidays in May. Uh, and you want to do some craft fairs. You know, you've, you've, you've slaved away for the last 12 months yeah. making jewellery for this craft store. Give yourself a bit of a break and just get oh, a load of these ready-made. Put them on your craft stall. Um, people will love them. Look, I'm going to put them on this stand, actually. Look, if I do that, hang on. Put one in there. These are going to look so professional. Here we go. Put them in your jewellery stand like that. Oh, stunning. You whack a yeah. price on those bad <gasps> boys of £25. You've made yourself £10 profit. Done. Isn't that... That's just a no-brainer. And, and, and there's no... You know, you don't need to do anything. These are the easiest makes. Literally have one on display, have the others boxed up, ready to go. And, you know, £25, great. Or, or even £20. I mean, £20, I'd say... I'd, I'd say not £20, because as soon as you start underpricing your jewellery, people yeah. think, oh, that, they're not real pearls, or yeah. that's not real sterling silver. The fact that it is, I think the minimum you should be charging for these is £25. How can we bring these to you for £14.99? Well, here at Jewellery Maker, we've been going now for almost 13 years. Wow. Um, and um, as, as the wider Gemporia group, we've been going now for, what, 16, 17 years? Yeah. And of course, the great thing about that is that is that um, our buying power is absolutely immense. Also, when we're commissioning these kind of pieces, <coughs> we're not commissioning 50 of them. We're commissioning like 500 of them. So we can get them made at a better price point. We've got our own in-house designers, our own in-house silversmiths. Brilliant. Well done. That's I mean, fun. that's a present. That, I mean, how much does a really nice Easter egg cost? Mm. About 15 quid, doesn't it? Which is crazy. Yeah, for something that will literally in my house last about two seconds. <laughs> and you were saying about craft shows. Yeah. I mean, you need your pieces that don't take you long or, or don't take any effort. Yes. To balance the pieces that you've made that, that Absolutely. you're not going to get the hours back. So they, that, that you get your quick wins. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you've got to balance it somewhere. You absolutely do. You have the pieces on there, which, you know, might be price on application or the pieces, yeah. you know, not for sale or whatever. Uh, to draw people in. Yeah. And then you've got these really easy makes. Absolutely. Which, well, which you're not making at all. Um, right. Oh, speaking perfect, about easy it? makes. Now, we've got uh, one, two, three, four. Sterling silver, freshwater, culture pearl necklaces. Four necklaces. Wow. Now, exactly the same applies to these. You don't have to do anything to these at all. They've got the clasp. They've all got the extender chain. They've all got the little tag on the end of the extender chain. Absolutely amazing, yeah? So if you don't want to do anything to these, you don't have to. But if you do, you can. Because this chain has got a beautiful open link. 
Yeah. Which means you can add things onto there with your 0.25 or 0.2 millimeter gauge wire, which is brilliant. So nice. charms, birthstones, whatever it might be. Also, not being funny, Alison, you know how long chain like this takes to make. Oh, yeah. This is going to take you hours to make, yeah. isn't it? But you see, I'd also chop it up into um, some earrings, bracelets. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're alone there at all. No, I think absolutely. a lot of people would do that. But We've got... layered up like that looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, so layered up, that's beautiful. We've got this awesome, awesome, <laughs> look at this. We've got this awesome... Um, necklace bust here i love that one isn't that beautiful yeah. so i'm going to make this one just a smidge shorter as well so if you do want to layer it up you absolutely can do um so let's make this one really really short of course you can keep on adding and adding your extended yeah. chain on there if you want to so nice to be able to work with a bust like this um, sometimes you want those big tall busts um, uh, like, like these ones here on your stand to create those levels. But then other times, you know, if your stand is set out a little bit differently, you don't necessarily want all of that going on. Sometimes you just want something really dead, really, really dead simple, which is just going to sit and display your jewellery at, at a more, in a more eye level way. That looks great. 59.99 for your four necklaces. You see, sometimes with the with the other busts, because let's face it, most busts don't have realistic neck sizes, <laughs> you know. So so they don't actually. Sometimes, if you've got a heavier pendant, yeah, it will pull it down and out of shape because they're not they're not designed for the width of even even a tiny human. Never mind my size human. Whereas something like that, you can lay it so it will spread out and it will sit. Mm. Sometimes it will sit nicer than on on a. a I'm going to call them a skinny neck bust. Yes. Which are beautiful for most, for most things, but occasionally... So we've got a load of storage displays all coming up in the ten. Wow. It's not just for people doing craft fairs. It's for you if you want to display yeah. your jewellery at home. Who wouldn't want to do that? Um, jewellery making is one of the only things I can think of, actually, where you make your jewellery and then it ends up getting put in a box uh, or <laughs> put size. away in a cupboard. Um, that to me doesn't make any sense. If, 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 if you're an artist, you hang it on a wall or yeah. you prop it up against, you, you know, you put it on a windowsill or you give it to somebody. But jewellery making seems to be one of those things. Oh, I've made that piece of jewellery. I'm going to put it in a jewellery box and I'm going to probably forget about it. <coughs> What's so lovely is having these things out on display. They're always there as a constant reminder of how awesome you are. <laughs> Fact. Right. What are we doing now? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Which one? The black, the grey one? Oh, these are fab. These are, I was talking to, um, we had um, Susie on the show the other day. Yeah. And we both said this at the same time, Bakelite. They feel like oh, Bakelite, like yeah, a really yeah. heavy, dense, um, <coughs> like uh, uh, acrylic, like a plastic. Um, They're lovely. These are brilliant. These are <coughs> wonderful for sorting your gems out uh, into different sizes. OK, great having this kind of slightly off white background. So it's great for um, color matching, color grading yeah. your pearls or whatever gemstones you might be trying to match, maybe for that pair of earrings. Um, you've got your uh, little sorting tray down here with a little funnel. This funnel's great because it means that you can literally tip your beads back into the bag or back into the tube from whence they came. Um, and then you've got your um, and then you've got your little grooves here. Get into the groove, boy. You've got to prove your love to me. Uh, bit of a donna there. Um, and you've got your different size grooves here as well, so you can kind of do your matching in size, your graduating in size. What a useful piece of Fabulous. kit. Fabulous. And it's not too big. No, it's not too big. And I like that because if you've got if, whatever you're doing, so you might be doing chain mail yeah. and you want something of a certain size to fit in a bracelet. Great idea. You know, to fit in, you're doing a captured one. If you're doing, if you're doing um, seed beading, you might want to, something to fit. If you've got a bead scoop, you're not sure what size they are and you haven't got a, a caliper, brilliant. You can get them all the same size. So the great, the great thing about this <coughs> as well is it's great for colour matching maybe your white gemstones or your colored gemstones because you've got that plain background. I am going to be bringing you the black beading tray as well, which of course is great if you're going to be um, uh, trying to graduate your white or you want that white white, which might be a little bit tricky to see against this or indeed your colored gems as well. So we have got the black version coming up as well. 
Four ninety nine. We've got Kathy. We've got Sean. We've got Joanne in Greater Manchester. Well done to you. Absolutely loads of you coming through this morning. Add as much as you can onto your order. By the way, all these items. Can we have another look at the website, please, lovely? So um, Egyptian turquoise coming up. Button pearls sold out. Hematite rings still available if you want to get one of those. Um, uh, <coughs> Green angel light still available if you want to get that. Clear quartz um, as well if you want to get that. Pearls, chain, all oh, those earrings have gone. Alphabet spaces, they've sold out. We haven't even bought those to wear. French wire, that silver plated version. Uh, I love those earring displays. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Spacer beads and carved jade. Anything that you want to add onto your order, please go for it. Because it's all going to disappear at nine o'clock. Look at those clovers. Look at those Branca Onyx clovers. Big fresh water cashies sold out. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Shell pearl storage box. We've got the early bird. Oh, look, the multicolor cotan sold out. Uh -huh. I haven't even bought that to wear. It's such a winning strand. And the royal <coughs> sold out as well. Great for the coronation, that. <clears throat> mm. Whoever got that, well done. Um, Egyptian turquoise. I'm so excited about this. It is a monumental stone. It's a gemstone of such historical importance. We're going to be bringing you that um, about quarter two, so in about five, five six minutes' time. Okay, are we doing this? Oh, no. If you want to get the black version, by the way, it's on the website, it's going to be the same price, yeah? $4.99, wow. well done. Okay, six strands of pearls, one, two, three, four, it must be this. Six strands? Yeah, just the six, Alison. Together? Just the six. Oh my wow. Well, I'm just thinking about these beading trays again. If you were going to be graduating, mm. yeah, I mean, that's great, but. I'll probably use the white, uh, sorry, wow. the black tray with that. Yeah. Okay. I, want, I definitely want <clears throat> both for your different colours. Yeah, I think I think it's important to have uh, to have both there. Yeah. Um, and you'll also find, and we, you know, we found this was it yesterday. We put two gems. Oh, that was it. It was the Vesuvianite. Oh my gosh, that was oh, amazing, wow. Alison. We put it with um, I can't remember what gemstone it was, but we put it with a certain gemstone. It looked more khaki green. Uh huh. And it's interesting when you put colours next to each other, you wouldn't normally do. Okay. It kind of brings out certain uh, qualities. The Kotan Mutton Fat has sold out. That in oh. that enormous long strand that has gone. Um, here we go. So wow, peach and white pearls. Which ones are your favourites, uh, Alison? Oh, those big ones. <laughs> they are incredible, them. aren't they? I mean, they're, they're so baroque, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Do you, I, I don't know about you, Alison, but baroques are really my kind of pearls. They're, oh, they're, they're so organic, aren't they? I, I actually prefer them to a pure round. Yep, so do I. Pure rounds are beautiful, don't get me wrong. Yep. They're stunning, but I really like the organicness. You imagine... Um, with, who who do we know, um, apart from Neri, obviously, who is absolutely perfect? Oh, uh, wow. we've all, oh, Michael Groves, there we go. Even even Mary Poppins was only practically perfect. Practically perfect in every way. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you know, this really celebrates the kind of the consistent pearl and the incredible... Baroque qualities, absolutely oh. amazing. This really celebrates all sorts of pearls. Gorgeous, lovely with the with the two tones as well. With the peach, they look great. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The two together, the yeah. combination of the two works so well. Greater, Ma uh, sorry, Greater London's got two. Well done to you. Another Greater London bidder coming through. Ellen, well done to you as well. Forty nine ninety nine is your deal today for six strands of pearls. Is that red jadeite? Maybe. Would you put that with it? Great idea, Alice. I think that would great be idea. With it. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. I also, really can like I that. make a suggestion as well oh, with the hessian on it? Oh, yes. <gasps> with, especially with the peaches. Mm. The I love that kit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a kit and a half. I think it just. That is a bad boy kit. That, that is gorgeous. Amazing. Isn't that stunning? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Well done. $49.99. Wow. Well done. That is pretty much gone. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. <laughs> Earring just. Oh, which one? The three or the two? 
Or is this the, the, those are great. I love these, Alison. Um, the, um, the wooden, nice, the kind of base for this has been, uh, has been carved and you get this, um, really lovely i mean not that i mean you know a wooden a wooden base just gives it a really a really lovely um neutral kind of finish doesn't yeah. it you can um burnish onto it pyrography yeah. that was it uh pyrography onto that yeah. if you want to put your own your little... logo or your, your your shop name absolutely yeah. we were looking at these as well the other the other day and we were saying obviously phenomenal for earrings but Oh, Kinga, I'm going to ask you for a carving now. Kinga, I've got here a, an Ouroboros ring. This might not work with this Ouroboros ring. If it doesn't, don't blow me. But you could use it to display. No, see, it's not going to work with the... It's not going to... It's too... Oh, well, I Rampy. suppose it does. It, it does. It does. It kind of works. You put oh, your um, jade carvings on here. Yeah, it's because oh. it's that kind of old Mackie colour. Next to it, I would put a little kind of cut out, you know, what is the Ouroboros ring? I've actually got a slide nice. later on about the Ouroboros design. You know, what is it? Where does it have its roots? Uh, we found out it's got its roots kind of in pretty much every um, ancient civilization. Um, but yeah, th this is a great way to display. And also what's nice is, I mean, I know this sounds like a, 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 a simple thing, but it makes the difference. If somebody says to you, can I have a look at the Ouroboros design? You literally just slide it over to yeah. them like that. that is such a nice thing to do. It's not like, oh, hang on, let me just scrabble around and do this that, and the other. Um, the way somebody gives you something like this, the way somebody slides that over is just so, it's so, it just, it, 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 it's the performance, isn't it? It's the performance yeah. of, um, oh, I've also got another Ouroboros ring coming up, look. So if I just put these two here and in the middle, you put your little, oh, it's got a bit of wood on there. Uh, and, and you put your, your little kind of thing in the middle with a bit of detail about the Ouroboros design. What is it? You know, where's it? I just love it. Um, 12.99. I always wow. remember, and this is a very odd thing to say, there was a butcher's in my mum and dad's mm. village, in the village where they live. And whenever they went in to buy some steaks, like a ribeye steak, which is really quite expensive, nice. yeah. but beautiful cut. He would, he would put the knife on the, on the, on the, on the ribeye and he said, is this, is this all right for you? you know, is this the thickness that you want? He would cut it and then he'd pick it up and just place it in front of you and say, is that okay? Have a look at it. If you're not happy, I can cut you. In. And it's just that. Yeah. So and it's this kind of, that extra kind of slight, it's just, yeah. oh, it's just beautiful. It's that lovely performance, isn't it? Do you know what I love those for as well? Go on. There's three. So you've got your rough, your, your smooth, <sighs> And then and your highly faceted. polished faceted. You see, that is such a lovely that's journey. Yeah. That's such a lovely journey. We've got the, um, oh, we've got the two now. Let's crash the price point straight down. No. But, you know, these are just suggestions. You yeah. do whatever you want with these. But I think that anything you can do to kind of give yourself a better chance of selling something, of getting over the quality, the beauty, yeah. And with this green as well, don't you think? I mean, it's particularly nice for things like pearls. Mm. It's just got a really high-end colour to it, hasn't it? It is. It is. <clears throat> Anything you can do to give you to give you a better chance of oh, kind of yeah. you know selling those pieces is is just wonderful. And they're different to yeah. to what most people have out there for selling earrings. Yeah. So you might have your your multiple earrings on your one stand. But these are your elevated earrings, like those earrings you sold earlier, the, oh, the, the pearl drop ones. They yeah. look great on there. Yeah, absolutely. Have a quick look at it, actually. I'll show you very quickly. I've got a jewellery pouch coming up now. I just want to show you these earrings very, very quickly. I'll just show you one, actually. Just, there you go. But there's just one. Look wow. how nice that looks. Yeah. God, that looks so expensive, do. doesn't it? So nice. Gorgeous. Well done. Beautiful. Thanks, Kinga. Right, jewellery pouch, here we go. Oh. This is lovely. Now, I was oh. kind of, I was complaining the other day. Never. Not one to complain. Oh, oh I'm, a, I'm a saint, I really am. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but having a little bit of a moan the other day because I looked at this and I thought, why didn't we have this for Mother's Day? Oh, what is wrong with us? Yeah. Why, why couldn't we have launched this on Mother's Day? 
I, I, I struggle to get my mum, you know, to come up with ideas for a kind of Mother's Day. You know, you want to get them something, maybe a bunch of flowers, but then maybe something a little extra. I actually got my mum a lovely rose quartz crystal for Mother's Day and, and she really liked that and a nice yeah. candle and, you know, she really loved that. Um, but this, oh, I, I wish I'd have known we were going to be launching this um, sometime soon. It's a PU leather, uh, sorry, a PU jewellery pouch you're going to be getting here. So you've got this little popper here. I love this navy blue, by the way. I think it's really smart. You open it up, gorgeous Ooh. kind oh. of moleskin inside. You've got your poppers. Here we go. You've got your poppers like that. This one here, great for putting rings on. Yeah. Just pop your rings on there. This one here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's got tiny little holes in it uh, punched into it. So great for putting your stud earrings or, oh, or dangly earrings. Yeah. You've got a little purse down here. Anything you like, maybe spare earring chain backs or... or chain or pendants. You've then got this one here, which is lovely. Put your chain with your pendants on here. So put your chain, hook your chain over there, pop your pendants in here. Um, so they'll sit nicely. It's just a lovely thing to be able to take with you if you're going to be going away for the evening, away for the night. We were also saying as well, because um, I think we launched one on the show with Susie. She says that when she goes away, she, she doesn't take much clothing, but she takes loads of jewellery. Oh, right. So if you've got, say, three or four That's different right. outfits, put your jewellery for the daytime yeah. in this one and then get another one, your jewellery for the evening in another one. And you could even hook it onto a clo uh, a, a what am I trying to say? A coat hanger, thank you, a clothes hanger. Um, and hang it up with your um, outfits as well. And you've got all of your jewellery all together, your kind of different selections of jewellery all together. How yeah. lovely is that? Also, just for storing your jewellery. Yeah. You know, if you've got lots of our lovely jade or pearl pieces and you want to store them in a really yeah. nice kind of way, um, this is going to be great. Also, if you've made jewellery and you want to show it to a customer or a client, taking it in one of these and saying... You know, it's cost you 6 but you could say, look, this is with my compliments. You know, there's the jewelry. Yeah. You can keep that. What a lovely thing, and chances are they're nice. going to come back to you. Um, amazing. Loads of people coming through. Great little thing to get for yourself as well. Really, really like that. Right, okay. We have got a very exciting early bird today. This is Egyptian turquoise. I am so excited about this. This is the turquoise that started everything. This is your early bird. Um, when I found out a couple of weeks ago that we had this as an early bird special, I, well, I was so excited. Um, I was lucky enough to be on Jewelry Maker on the launch show of this, which I think was, feels like it was a couple of years ago. Uh, it was definitely over a year ago. Uh, was it in this studio? I think, I think it was, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but this is a gem, which is as significant as, um, I, I, you know, trying to draw comparisons about how significant this gemstone is is very challenging indeed. The only thing I can uh, kind, of, uh, kind of relate it to is Golconda diamonds, uh, which are near mythical now. Uh, there's very few left in existence uh, without the kind of relevant paperwork and the, kind of, and the kind of all of the documents that go with them. It's very, it can be challenging to know whether you've got a genuine Golconda diamond, but, but that, that, that's a kind of the prestige, the pedigree, the bloodline, if you like, the heritage of a gemstone, which literally goes back a millennia. And this incredible gemstone, even though this is an ancient gem, <coughs> it was really, uh, it really only came to the forefront of, of our minds uh, back in the early 1900s. And actually the discovery of, of this incredible gemstone in the in the tomb of uh, Tutankhamun inspired a whole um, incredible um, uh, uh, trend uh, which, which, was, which, which broke into kind of jewellery design. It was in, into, into, into um, uh, home decor, into clothing. It was just the right time in the 1920s. Um, 
so this is, uh, I, I find this amazing. I find this so exciting to think about. Yeah. So this is kind of the, the, the bit of dialogue surrounding the, the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. So they've been digging and digging and digging um, and they kind of, and, and they, knew, they knew that they were onto something. Have a look at this. And the picture, by the way, is a picture of the seal, oh, uh, which when they broke the seal, it, it, uh, let, uh, it let them into the most incredible tomb they'd ever seen. So listen to this. From then on, gripped with anticipation, the excavation um, uh, team did not stop. They uncovered 16 steps in all and found two seals with Tutankhamun's royal mark. But it wasn't until Lord uh, Carnarvon arrived from England that Carter opened the tomb's art, um, antechamber on November the 26th, 1922. And the real breakthrough happened. Can you see anything? The Earl's standing um, uh, in, in, in the dark passage said to have asked. Yes, wonderful things, Carter answered back. The men had stumbled upon priceless treasures that the human eye had, had not seen in more than 3,000 years. Um, we have the impression of looking into a prop room of the opera of a vanished civilization. Um, Carter later described his first impressions. Details inside the chamber slowly emerged from the mist. Strange animals, statues, gold, everywhere the glint of gold. So when they, when they broke the seal to this room, and, and it's believed that that was kind of the curse of Tutankhamun, which was because there was lots of other things which happened after they went into his tomb um, that, um, that, that led them to, to believe that, I can't remember, was it Lord, I'm, I'm trying to think whether it was um, Lord Carnarvon or whether it was Carter who died of, he died of, um, he died of um, malaria. Oh. Malaria, and I think at the same time he died, his dog died, uh, literally on the other side of the world. It was just, it was just absolutely bonkers. Lots of kind of things happen. Anyway, the next slide I'm going to show you is um, where's where's my clicker? There we go. Yes, yeah, so it was blood poisoning following a mosquito bite. So basically, yeah, kind of malaria. This basically, this is this is kind of what the tomb looks like now um, in the in in the um, Egyptian um, in the ancient Egyptian. Um, uh, museum, but you can see the incredible tomb, which looks, I mean, it looks tiny, it looks like a child's tomb, and that's, and that's because we believe he that Tutankhamun he. was a child pharaoh. Um, yeah, he was, he was a teenager, yeah, basically. Yeah. But when they broke into the tomb, they found um, lots of kind of old chariots, props, and it was literally like a, um, a backstage at the RSC if they're doing Julius Caesar or something like that, and, you know, Antony and Cleopatra backstage, because there were lots of props everywhere. Because of course the ancient Egyptians believed um, uh, the ancient Egyptians believed that if they that, that when they when they died they had to take with them to the afterlife all of their valuables li yeah. literally everything so all of their gold all of their chariots all of their amulets but the main discovery was the the face of the tomb the sarcophagus if you like Incredible. of Tutankhamun himself. And this was a solid gold tomb top, sarcophagus tomb top, inlaid with, oh, lapis lazuli, carnelian. You can see the orange yeah. stone. And this incredible variety of turquoise. Now, this variety of turquoise, um, uh, it, it, I, I think it's been kind of confirmed that it comes from a couple of different places. The first one from the Sinai Peninsula <coughs> um, and, um, and um, the second kind of a little bit further up, I believe, in Persia. Where this variety of turquoise is from is believed to be from that original location. I, I, I think, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm by no means an expert on Egyptology, but I, but I, I, I personally am fascinated by the fact that we've made this connection. I uh, wasn't sure about the turquoise um, uh, when it was first launched, uh, but when it was delivered, I fell in love. It's glorious. It really genuinely is. Now, let me show you this next slide. You've got kind of images, ancient images, uh, which have been painted onto uh, tomb walls of, um, 
of, of Egyptians uh, making jewellery. There they are, the very first jewellery makers of their time. Yeah. Um, carving beads, stringing them onto, uh, onto golden threads. You can see the uh, one there with a, um, with a bow and arrow. You would have undoubtedly have had um, gemstones or, or, or amulets kind of put onto them. Um, there's a ring as well at the bottom there with a with a carved turquoise. It's been it's been it's been carved into a scarab beetle. Scarab beetles were a symbol of immortality um, and and kind of afterlife. Um, I just I find this whole thing fascinating. Now, to own something like this, and this gemstone is is it mined? No, it's not. Not really. The mines closed hundreds, thousands of years ago. The only way you can really get hold of this gemstone now is basically the really old ancient trading routes which go directly past the mine. And it's no mistake that those trading routes go directly past the mine. Of course they go past the mine. It, it's a bit like um, some of the old trading routes go directly through the Magok Valley. It's no mistake. It's because of the incredible gemstone, because of the incredible treasures that were there. And the same goes for this incredible variety of original source old mine turquoise. Now, I think the relevance of this, and I just want to show you, I've got, um, I've got one final slide that I want to show you. Um, I am a huge fan of um, the jewellery designer, um, Stephen Webster. He's an absolute legend as far as, and, 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 I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm pushing to get some of the gemstones that I know he sourced at Tucson this year. He, when, he was, when he was at the Tucson Gem Show this year, um, there's loads of videos. Please follow him on, on Instagram. His designs are amazing and the, and the gemstones he's got are amazing. He's got like grey spinel, which Ooh. we've got coming in wow. in these Ooh. gorgeous strands next month. I'm so excited. They're, a, they're our deal of the day. I'm, I can't wait. But look at this. If you can read the detail at the bottom, old mined natural green turquoise from Persia. This is the material we are talking about here. This is for his collection, basically, uh, which is going to be uh, which is going to be put into production over the next couple of years. And these are the pieces that he is looking at. Isn't it amazing that we have got near on the same locale um, right here today? Now, this is a beautiful cabochon you've got here. Later on today, and I didn't know this is what Alison had done, later on today in our 12 o'clock kits, Alison is going to show you a piece of turquoise, uh, sorry, not a piece of turquoise, it's a piece of um, howlite uh, how that she has carved, uh, which is incredible. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got the look of turquoise, obviously. It's dyed howlite to make it look like turquoise. I wouldn't want to say have a go at carving this, but, 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 but. If you've had a go with other gems, you could have a go with this ancient Egyptian mine turquoise. Now, what you'll notice here, are the, are the, and I want to deal with this now uh, because it's going to be reflected in the price, but obviously it's got CP in brackets. This basically means those pieces of turquoise you can see there, they are all completely natural, but they've been fused together. So you've basically got... <coughs> Um, a compression technique, the sa exactly the same as spiny oyster turquoise, where you've got small pieces of turquoise which have been bound together with a resin composite to make a larger stone. OK, that's basically what you're getting with your spiny oyster turquoise. That's basically what you're getting with a lot of copper Mojave as well. And that's what you're getting with this. And the reason why I'm being so transparent about that is because of the price. Now, <clears throat> it's going to come with an authenticity certificate with our compliments. The fact that it says origin Egypt is just so exciting here. It's so exciting. We're starting, and this is why I'm being so transparent. <clears throat> 1999. Now, the stuff that Stephen Webster's looking at there, I don't know if that's natural. I don't know. If, I can't verify that that's untreated. But let's, for argument's sake, say that it is. It's natural. It's untreated. Those stones there, they are going to be pretty. They are going to be not priceless, but they are going to be extraordinarily expensive, like way out of our price brackets here on Jewelry Maker. We wouldn't be able to source those. Absolutely no way. My advice to you is multi, multi, yeah. multi, multi, multi buy. Make that Egyptian style piece. Make that piece that you've been hankering after. Have a, the price we're going to, 
Do you know what? Heck, you can have a go at carving a gemstone. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, honestly, the price point you're paying today, it doesn't matter. Look at this. Today it's yours, £12.99 for original location Egyptian turquoise. This is incredible. You've got to get this. Joanne, well done to you. Claire in Warwickshire, Maker in London's got four. Joni's got two. Claire, Linda, Jackie's got three. Maker, well done to you. Moira. Now, Alison, are you thinking, I mean, talk to me. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm thinking a ring straight off. I want one of those totally. silver ring. That's going to look amazing. Yeah. That price is ridiculous. It's absolutely beautiful. 1999 was ridiculous. I was expecting about 29.99. Absolutely. That's and and incredible. and do you know something Alison with with regards to your things like your sleeping beauty turquoise yeah, which yeah. we're a lot more familiar with mm. uh, or your Arizona turquoise which we're a lot more familiar with. We always say oh you know the reason why your sleeping beauty turquoise is so famous and so loved is it's meant to be the closest relative to the original source of turquoise. Yeah. This is it. This is your original source. Wow. This is your original source turquoise. Claire's got two. Karen's got wow. two. Sandra, Jackie. Uh, yeah, from a civilization. Yeah. And, and literally, the only, way, the only way that you can mine this now is literally collecting it from outside, from in and around kind of the mouth of the mine. Can't be mined anymore. The mine is closed. There's a big gate. You cannot get into it. Um, the only way you can get this stone is literally it's, it's, it's picked up by nomadic people who travel along these routes, buying and selling wow. things. And se these are like the treasures, yeah. selling these incredible original mine Egyptian turquoises. They're absolutely incredible. And they're yours today, twelve ninety nine. And guess what? Yeah, that clock's there. Um, you're kidding. No, I'm not, Alison. Honestly, I, I feel like I should be kidding. You should be. We're not done. I know this is incredible you have to get this if it's good enough for Stephen Webster who's an amazing jewelry designer and if it's good enough for the ancient Egyptians and if it's good enough for the uh, the child pharaoh Tutankhamun I tell you what it's good enough for me at 8.99 oh my gosh that is extraordinary wow. now wow. Uh, choose whatever you want to yeah. go with this oh. my 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 oh. Off my kind of opinion, my humble opinion is amber, maybe the incredible Hesonite garnet we've got coming up in a couple of moments. I would Brilliant. love to see these two together. Incredible. Jo well done. There's so many people coming through. We love the size, love the shape. And of course, that incredible price point. Look at all these. These are the, these are the people who've got this in baskets. Catherine's got four in baskets. Uh, Maker and Kent's got two in baskets. Rutland's got one in their basket. Yorkshire's got two in their basket. Honestly, wow. this is crazy. Jackie, you've got four in your basket. Catherine's got four. Well done to you. Carol, Valentina, well done to you. Absolutely amazing. The most beautiful stone from the eight, 16 by 12 mil in size. I mean, I, I, Tutankhamun made a massive impression on me. I think I was about six or seven when he came over. When the first, on the tour, when the big tour came over and they had everything, my mum went to it. Down and we in queued all the way round the block. Said it was amazing. And it's a big block in London um, to go in. And I, and I was, I was. Wasn't it literally in, in almost a pitch black room with just oh, yeah, a solitary yeah. light on it? You had, but you had, you oh, had everything there. So you, because we went to see him. John and I went in to London uh, a few years ago before lockdown. We took a day trip to London. Oh, how um, wonderful! Went to go and see Tutankhamun. And it was very different and they didn't have the sarcophagus. They had a lot of stuff and it, it was very interesting because I was looking more at the jewellery. Yes. Looking with a different eye. But as a child, I was just wandering around looking at all this gold, all the turquoise, all the lapis, all the carnelian. I mean, you're looking at that. I'd get that. I'd get some hessonite and I'd get the lapis from, from the kit later. Nice one. And I would be using the copper to make an amazing statement. A modern take on a Tutankhamun because you've got those colours with it. And to make um, jewellery inspired by yeah. Egyptology is one thing, but to make it with the very stone exactly. that started it is amazing. Goosebumps. Right, a minute to close this <gasps> and a minute to close the hour. That's it. In, in literally 57 seconds, this is going. This oh. is disappearing. 8 99 I think it's been on Jewellery Maker. We launched it... 18 months, two years ago. Uh, it may have been on, it may have been to air once, maybe since. I, I certainly haven't bought it to you since I've been, I've been a little bit intimidated to bring it to air because it's such a big stone. It's such a big story. Mm. Enjoy. Uh, 
Oh, oh. got mine. My grandmother was born in Egypt. Oh, 30 seconds Perfect. and all of this is about to go. Oh, well, most of it's sold out to be fair, but most <clears> of it's about to go, okay? It's all going to uh, disappear in 20 seconds, okay? Add it onto your order. No, it doesn't have a drill hole, it's just a cabochon. Put it with your gallery wire, put it with your bezel strip, just to own it. Do me a favor, get it home and just use the next 30 days just to hold it in your hands. This, will, this gem will have an effect on you. I can almost guarantee it is like nothing else in the world, a piece of ancient world history. Incredible, well done. Right, all of that's disappearing. Uh, well done, gorgeous. Wow. Now we're gonna do a star buy on uh, <sighs> a gem which is an abs, actually I'm gonna leave this out, which is an absolute perfect gem to go with the Egyptian turquoise, known as the cinnamon stone. This is Hessonite garnet. Here we go. So uh, this is Hessonite garnet. Oh, I love that. Do you know, so we were only saying the other day how much we loved Hessonite garnet. I can't remember who I was talking to about it. Um, but we were talking about the colour. It's unlike anything else. Um, there's different families of garnet. Um, there's different kind of areas of garnet. You can get red garnet, green garnet, orange garnet. So specetite. Um, uh, um, Savorite, Demantoid, and then you get your rich kind of Orissa garnets as well, your Rhodolite garnet. They're all different types of garnet. Closely linked and kind of almost in the middle between your Rhodolite and your Specetite, you've got Hessonite garnet. It is like a really grown up version of Specetite garnet, I would say. It's not that Fanta orange, it's a much more refined colour. And it's. Um, it's known as the cinnamon stone. Um, it is a beautiful gem. It's got that spiciness to it. It's got that warmth to it. Yeah. It's, it's like you could sprinkle it on a tagine and it would taste Ooh. absolutely beautiful. You know, <laughs> it's got that aromatic quality. Now, um, I've got a, a beautiful image to show you. I love this gem. Garnet is amazing. You might not realize this, but that image you're seeing there of garnet, that there, see that massive kind of odd shaped orthombic wow. crystal? That's how that gem forms. That's how that gemstone forms. That's the crystal structure yeah. of a garnet. The bigger it gets, the more likely you're gonna get fractures and areas of what's called extinction, which you tend to get more with the red garnets, which is black areas. Areas which are void of any colour or clarity, and it's a bit of a it, it's a bit of a struggle really. Once garnets are over a certain carat weight, they really do suffer. They they suffer from lots of different things, which makes this strand one in a million. Because look <gasps> at the size oh. of these. Oh my gosh. Oh, sunflower. Sunflower. Wow. I know we're a million miles away. Autumn leaves. Oh, God. I mean, yeah. this... Look at the start price. This is embarrassing. We had to bring you this today. This is embarrassing. This is the start? <gasps> oh. Okay. Sorry. 30-second clock. Oh, oh Alison, just things, you wait. That's in my ear. Okay. Wow. I'm going to show you what this gem does in the light. You think amber's great? You think carnelian's great? Oh, you haven't oh, seen look. nothing yet. Look at this. Oh, Literally wow. on red. fire. Fire. That's red. It's red, Alison. I know. I know. I mean, that's my hair on braid, isn't it? That's just, that's just my colours to a T. I, I've loved this stone since I first met it. It's just incredible. You know, you look at this and you think, you know, fire, fire agate, fire opal, eat your heart out. Eat you know? your heart out. This is it. If somebody it's told me this is a strand of Mexican fire opal, I'd be like, oh, that must be AAA quality. Yeah. It's just so absolutely. good. Oh, yeah, we're at 9.99 and we're not done. This is one of those strands. We bought this, we bought, Neary put this strand. <laughs> Neary put this strand in the show this morning, and honestly, 
I cannot wow. believe. Do, okay, Neary, do me a favour. Don't tell Alison what price we're going to because I want a genuine reaction no, from don't. Alison. Honestly, if she falls off her chair today, you've had plenty of warning, Alison. I'm holding on. Don't worry. Oh, my, well, $9.99 is ridiculous. $9.99 is ridiculous for this gemstone. When you consider that, A, this is natural, B, garnet doesn't grow in big sizes. No. Well, no, it does, but it looks rubbish. Yeah. Um, it looks rubbish when it does because it goes black. It, it, it cracks. That is literally oh. amazing. The best. Could you imagine a cascade earring? of those on a sunny day and you've got that sun blazing through them. Oh, are you going to be eye-catching? So we were talking yesterday about chandelier earrings. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it's that yeah. time of year, isn't it? These yeah. are incredible. Oh. Seven pounds and 99. That is the most un... Look at this as earring. Oh, this is probably not going to work. <laughs> this is... Uh, uh, oh, hang on. I've got... I'm just trying to work out how to do this. Just look at that, Aziri. Just imagine oh. that. <laughs> Aziri. Just look at that, oh, Azirings, with on, on a bright, sunny day. That yeah. is going to look the absolute bomb. That is just gore. I just, I, how can that look any better? It can't. It's sold out. Right, of course oh, it's sold out. No surprise there. Wow. Right. That's just amazing. There's more. Right, this one. Um, I feel, close your ears. I, 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 feel, I feel bad saying this. So close your ears, Strandy. Um, spacers. But why not? With pearls, it looks amazing with pearls. It, it looks like the best yeah. amber in the yeah. world, doesn't it? Yeah. The best amber, the brightest amber. Carol. Look at this start price. Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. This is crazy. And I feel like that last strand is kind of setting the benchmark. Oh. Where our start price is 9 99 oh. Just get it. Yes, my love. You've got a turquoise coloured strand on the... Oh, Amazonite. Yes. Now, how nice. About, how about a oh, my gosh. That? I can see some Olmec. Sorry. <gasps> Hang on. No, oh, no, 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 no. Well, yes, 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 yes. But look at this. Oh. Get in my basket. Get out of my oh. dreams. With the Olmec, it's stunning, in my jewelry. It? It's gorgeous. Wow. Lovely price as well as an outstanding colour. I know. When you've yeah. got the colour, the clarity, the cut, the carrot weight, and you've got the amazing price, it is... Oh, look at that. That is fire on a strand. And it doesn't matter what colour you put that with. A, it's going to hold its own. Lapis. Lapis it will go beautiful with. The turquoise it will go beautiful with. But you put that with a grey or a black, and again, it's still yeah. going to go beautiful. Well, I'm, I'm just looking at this as well. Oh. This is going to look amazing. This incredible carving. That's beautiful. Look at that. Also, nice. oh, come on, nice. baby. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. It's the oh. red jade. Wow. What is, and, and then of course you've got your, there you go. I mean, I'll have that, that kit as well, please. I'll have that <laughs> kit, yeah. Amazing. Six ninety nine. just, yeah, get it, go, 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 go. Amazing. Just shows you the power of colour. And it just shows you as well, Alison, that sometimes we can go lower. It's just six ninety nine, man. Yeah. What are you doing? I've no idea. I'll be honest oh, with you, I've oh. no idea. Janet's got wow. two, Neil and Linda's got two, Una's got two, London's got two. It's literally going nuts. Um, it is so striking. Alison is absolutely right. It goes with pretty much every colour I can think of. Be it yellow, be it another orange, yeah. be it red, be it blue, be it black, be it white, be it whatever. Look at this. Look Sorry. It's on black. $4.99. Oh, no. <sighs> no, this is a... Beautiful, stunning, genuine gemstone that we don't see enough of. This is, believe it, this is at 4 99 This is lead gem investor, Gemporia managing director. I'm trying to think if he's got any other names. 25 meters swimming badge, <laughs> Jake Thompson. It's his favorite stone. It's his absolute right. favorite stone. I love it. He knows his stones. He sees. He knows. He knows stones that I've. I've never. I've never seen. I've never seen anything in my life. I think I've had nearly every he Hessonite garnet strand we've ever had. I haven't got these two, and I don't it's know. It's a very used it's, stone, actually. Oh, it is. It's got real. It's got real. Um, it's got real fire and mm. warmth to it. 
Very sophisticated, beautiful in your wire work. Oh, it looks amazing with wire work. Because it's so bright it and is. light. Right, look at these baskets, it's ridiculous. Tracy, Tracy, sort it out. Maker, Cynthia, sort it out. Margaret and Christine, Di it's a fiver. Diane, Catherine, oh, Zena, Sally, Maker, Tracy, sort it out. You gotta do it, you gotta do it, come on. Anne in Worcestershire's got three. Susan's got one. two. It's that with something like your lapis lazuli is oh, just gonna look absolutely. incredible. But also, can I just go back to Tutankhamun's sarcophagus? I know it's carnelian. I don't care. Um, just because, uh, we go. there we go. I know it's carnelian, but you know, there we go. Carnelian was, you know, known as the fire stone. Quite often carnelians died, by the way. A lot of the carnelian we bring you is died. Not all of it, but most of it. And that is, um, wow. and this is natural. Stop wow. it with all this temptation. It's too much, says Sue. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that dude. Wow. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> Star by, let's do another red gem. Let's do Ooh. some red jade. I love this ready-made necklace. Will it go over my big bonds? Yes, it will. I've got a rather large head. Oh, is this the round strand that's knotted? I love this. Quite possibly. I got one for mum and I regretted not getting two. Oh, did you? Like, bless you. That, that looks lovely, mum. <laughs> Can I have it back? Oh, that's so, that's so nice. <coughs> yeah. Stunning, mm. isn't it? Jade should be gifted, really. Oh, that's oh. a nice, that's a nice sentiment, isn't it? There you are, Alison. Well, I kind of gifted it her, but she paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> so a I knotted... let her have it. Not so much a gift. <laughs> yes, yes. A knotted strand wow. of red jade. I love that. It's such an amazing strand. Talk about that colour. Yeah. You have enough. <coughs> you have Sorry, enough... excuse me. Okay. Sorry, gang. You have enough on the end of that strand. I know they trim, they, so, so Kinga always trims them up and neatens them up. But you have enough on the end of that strand to make a sliding clasp, clasp if you want to at the back. Oh, hello. So you've got a complete jade necklace with no metal in it. Which is so nice for somebody yeah. who's allergic to certain metals or maybe someone who wants to wear really bohemian, really relaxed jewellery yeah. for when they're meditating or, you know, just when they go on holiday, you might not want to wear metal. Um, <gasps> So this I... is already knotted. It's beautiful. It's got this gorgeous knot at the bottom. Got this gorgeous little kind of knotted section in the middle here. Great, because, of course, that gap there means you can add a pendant. Mm -hmm. Add a pendant to it. Well, it's I was, beautiful. I was just thinking, if you set the um, turquoise, make a pendant out of the turquoise, make a generous bail at the back, and then pop that on it. What, like you've done for your 12 o'clock kits? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Look at that. That would look stunning. Wouldn't, wouldn't that it? just look beautiful? Very oh. lightweight as well, which I think is really nice. Nothing to stop you wearing this as a bracelet if you want to wrap it around oh. your wrist two, three times maybe. Um, that would make, if you loosen that up a little bit, that would make a really lovely oh. Marla bracelet. Um, great as little worry beads as well. Yeah. Um, it, it's difficult to imagine, isn't it, just how rare this gemstone is how rare this particular colour is, because we're all used to seeing, well, if somebody said to you jade, you think of imperial green. You think of this window display here, which is, I would say, probably about 80% imperial green. You've got some other colours in there as well. You've got a few white pieces, there's some bicolour pieces there. Red jade, uh, there's those two pieces there. And although the imperial, <laughs> although the imperial jade will be significantly more expensive, the rarer colour is this. Let me explain this to you. Oh, Neary, you're just so wonderful. So um, think of a jade boulder. And the interior of a jade boulder tends to be green. Let me get, sorry, I'm out of the way. Tends to be green. It's the outside, it's the skin of the boulder, which can either turn that very dark onthesite green or black. Um, or it can oxidize to a red color. And it's much like the skin of an apple. Uh, if you think about this, there's <laughs> an apple. Um, but it's absolutely true. It's, it's, yeah, but you think about how much of the apple is made up of the skin. It's literally 
less than, you know, 1% of the apple, isn't it? Um, and the same goes for your jade boulders. The skin is made up of such a small amount, uh, um, percentage-wise, proportion-wise, proportionally. Um, the red jade, and actually on the, um, when we went to Tucson, not this year, just <coughs> the year before, oh, we visited the Pillar and Stone stand. The Pillar and Stone stand, um, um, uh, run by a guy called um, Roland Schlutzel, who, who's written a book all about jade. And um, he found it almost impossible to get a picture of a solid piece of red jade for his book. Um, you can see the pieces there. there there's some beautiful bicolors there. There's some gorgeous oranges there and honey colors there. This, by the way, is described as a red jade bangle, uh, which is, uh, is it's, it's white with a hint of red. It's beautiful. It's bicolored. It's got a certain value, obviously, and a certain appeal. I would not describe that as a red bangle, though. But that just shows you how rare this material is. This is red. This is most definitely red. I love it. I absolutely love it. However you choose to wear this, whatever you choose to do with this, this is red, incredibly rare, incredibly beautiful. Price points. Look at this start price. This, by the way, is nowhere near where we're stopping today. <clears throat> 499, wow. I personally think that's worth every single penny of that price. Every single penny. The strand itself, let me double check how long this is. Because it oh, was 65 centimetres. There we go. 65 centimetre strand that you're going to be getting here today. So really significant length and over the head necklace you're getting there, which is absolutely perfect. Um, these are your six mil rounds, the perfect size. It's that yeah. kind of absolute perfect size, isn't it? For so many different types and styles of jewellery, isn't it, Alison? It is. It's, it's a lovely size. Whether you're going to make it, it's, it's big enough to be a, a, a stack of bracelets. It's small enough to be a beady bead. Yes. You know, you can use it with your wire work, use it with your bead embroidery, use it with your loom. Oh, a I've not made a stretchy jade bracelet. Oh gosh, that would be amazing. What on the loom? That, that would be amazing, Alison. I need to rectify that. I'd love that. to see that. Yeah. I'd love to see that. I've got a gorgeous piece of kind of your orange jade next to this as well, just to show you the colour difference and how well they go together, actually. Beautiful. 499, not your deal. Let's half that price. Oh, yeah. Enjoy. Here we go. Look at it with that gorgeous Egyptian turquoise as well. 249. Amazing. That's 249 nice. pounds. Yeah, similar saturation in that gorgeous uh, turquoise as you're going to be getting in the beautiful jade there as well. Absolutely amazing. We're talking rare, rare, rare tones, rare qualities here. 249, amazing. We're going to give you a one minute clock. It is not your deal today. It's not your price. No matter what price point you come in at, everybody pays that final low price point. So you could have come in at 249. And that's great. And check out. Well done. You're not going to be paying that. Everybody pays that final low price no matter when they come in. Um, it's great. And when we do get down to final prices here at Jewelry Maker, there is normally an influx of people coming through on the web and the phones. So the earlier you can get involved, the better. 30 seconds, the price point's going to be going down. I love this. Yeah, look at the Olmec with it as well. Different location, different yeah. colour entirely, but the two go together beautifully. Oh, Tina, well done funny. to you, Maker. Lynn, you've got two in your basket. That's gorgeous, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, this is the jade version of, yeah, Egyptian turquoise and carnelian, isn't it? It really Ooh, is. Nice. Beautiful. Maker and Greater London, well done to you as well. We're taking the price point down, not by £10 or even £20, all the way down. Enjoy, get it, go, go, go. You're not going to be able to believe this. All the way down, go for it. <gasps> £199. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Your split payments are under £50 today, Alison. How incredible is that? I know. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's such a stunning strand. Like you Patricia, say... Patricia, well done. You can wear it straight away if you want. Pop it yep. over. And we normally say re-strand, but it's a knotted strand. It's not a temporary strand. And, and do you know what, Alison? You can wear this... 
whilst you're deciding what you want to do with it. Absolutely. That's a nice thing, isn't it? Maker in East Sussex, well done to you. Maker in London's got two in their basket. Mm -hmm. Tina's now got two in her basket. 199, check Crazy. out as soon as you can. Interest-free split payments of £49.75. Valerie in wow. Somerset, I can see you there. Check out. There's more of you there. Oh, my gosh. There's so many of these in baskets. Go, 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 go. What an opportunity for you today. Go, go, go. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Well done. Check out as soon as you can at £199. Just incredible. Maker in Essex, I've got you there. Another maker coming through, this time in East Sussex. Well done to you. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely brilliant. Do take advantage of those split payments. When it comes to Jade as well, you know, this isn't just from us here, um, here at uh, Jewelry Maker. This is right the way across the board, particularly over in the Far East. Main factor, um, sorry, main quality and value factors for Jade is in order of, a, of importance. First, colour. Most desirable colour in, is intense and saturated in the proper hue, translucency and texture. You have got here the main player, the incredible, incredible, incredible colour. Maker in Essex, well done to you. Loads more people coming back through. This is great to see. Well done. Let's do one minute to close. About to sell out. Crazy. Renfrew Shire, well done to you as well. There's loads in baskets. <clears throat> it's absolutely gorgeous. I can imagine this being rosary linked. I can imagine this being used, as you say, in beady beads. I'd love a loom bracelet with this as I've, well. I've got to do a stretchy. I've got to do a, a, a jadeite stretchy. Can I've you not imagine done one. that, Alison? An ombre one. You look, you've literally got 30 seconds and <gasps> the details are being taken away. Lynn, you've checked out. Well done, sweetie. <gasps> absolutely wonderful at 199 wow. oh it's so vibrant it's so intense it's so fiery and warm and it's a ready-made necklace you can literally pop it over your head wear it whilst you're deciding what you really mm. want to do with it <laughs> amazing more in baskets five seconds and we're taking the details away well done everyone absolutely Crazy. incredible you've done such a great job there well done more in baskets than we've got stock available it's <coughs> me okay don't go anywhere. You've got the most gorgeous kits coming up after the break. These are so much fun. They are, they are. mixed media. They're great. You are going to love them. And don't forget, we've got um, displays coming up in about half an hour's time as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Tarry here. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa and there are already rumours that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the Quad A grade material and you're not going to want to miss these opportunities. You got enough room up, <laughs> Carol. I know. <laughs> there is so much stuff here. But can I just say, <coughs> the 10 o'clock hour, well, is going on pre order. Ooh, risky. So basically, the <gasps> jewelry stands, the, store, the stackable storage box, all of it is going on pre order. Just go for it right now. It is absolutely awesome. I can't wait. Um, yeah, so the bust, all of it is I going on pre-order. This is going to be just super duper 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 duper. Multiply um, those. It's going to be brill. Say again. You, you multiply those, you stack them. Well, I'm time. just thinking, I, I was just trying to see whether I could kind of stack it different. And yeah, you can. So you, literally you can just stack. Yeah, stack, yeah, stack, yeah. Stack. Amazing. So this is going on pre-order. So is uh, so, so are all the busts oh, and the displays. God. Just go and get them ahead of time. <gasps> I feel like we might... Oh, be sorry about that. Like, oh, yeah, the earring stands. I love these earrings. Look at that earring stand. Look at that. I wish you'd said before the break. Why? <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Alison, what have you made with these incredible kits? Oh, aren't they great? They're kind of a, well, they're a new-to-me kind of bookmark. They're gorgeous. So, so the velvet bit goes in your pages, and then you can put what you like. We've got the, the um, ribbon end um, things. We haven't seen these for yonks. Yeah. And you can pop what, what you like on the end and they're great. So, so I've used the, the pieces from the kit um, on one side and then I've done random bits on the other side. I love it. I think you've they're done a great job great. there. They're so sweet. Um, it's, it's funny, isn't it? People, uh, people read books in different ways. Yeah. Uh, my nine-year-old, each her book, she never bends the pages. I don't, yeah. She never breaks the spine of the book. Her books are pristine. You can barely tell she's read them. Yeah. And when she's literally making a dog ear, she, 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 you can tell she just doesn't want to do it. She'd rather use a bookmark. Yeah. The fact that it's velvet as well just gives you even more reverence for the book, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Whereas Pippa, my, my seven-year-old, was literally bending the book. It oh. looks really well thumbed. If she could make notes in the, in the margin, she probably <laughs> would do as well. Um, and it's and it's interesting, isn't it? It's it, it's interesting. But a bookmark, oh, is just such a lovely thing to have. Whether you want to use it as a to show you where you are or as a target, I use them quite often with my kids to kind of say, oh, if you can get to that page there, that will be oh. absolutely. And I know they've read a good chunk, and you can use it almost as a, like a little marker. Um, Everybody, everybody uses books, whether they are an avid bookworm or whether yeah. it's a cookery book yeah. or whether it's going to be for a magazine, you know, whatever it might be. These are, you know, people read all the time. And this is such a lovely way of making a really awesome accessory, making it really bespoke out of really lovely, lovely materials. Um, I love these. Now, to go with these kits, we've got a load of seed bead bundles. We've got a load of the other bookmarks. We've also got the last few of the loom as well. Let's get going, shall we? So where are we going to start? Which, which kit? Start with the pink one. 
the darker colours. Okay, lovely. Okay, we're starting with the darker colour one. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, Delicas in galvanised mead. I know. It's it's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely colour. And it is actually the colour of mead, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lovely kind of almost honey colour. Do you know what? I love mead. I had a, I, I had a wonderful night on mead. Oh, gosh, it must be about, it must be about <laughs> 20 years ago. Mead, yeah, monks make mead. And um, it was like one of those medieval evenings. Oh, no. You, your hands and all that kind of stuff. And you get given a bib. And, um, oh, gosh, I had a hangover the next day. Anyway, <laughs> right. <You won't laughs> but it tasted wonderful at the mead. time. Wonderful mead. Um, you then got this gorgeous matte silver lined gold. Love this, love this, love this. You've then got these lovely end tags because I imagine making these bookmarks, it's the endings of them, which is can be the most challenging part. Yeah. So it's great that we've got um, two, four, six, seven, eight of eight. these. It's great that we've got eight of these, <coughs> isn't it? it? It is because we haven't seen these for ages and they're wide, mm. which is lovely. Yeah. I mean, I put a little taper on mine, but you don't you don't have to or you could just curl it. It's just a fraction. I they don't look, work beautifully. I don't mind actually that they're a little bit narrower than the velvet. Yeah. I actually quite. I'd rather have it that way than the other. Oh way. gosh, yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't you? So they're a little bit. They're, they're a little bit narrower than yeah. the velvet, but only by a couple of mil either side. So actually, brilliant. Um, now the velvet. Oh, I'm a velvet, sucker for things beautiful. that feel beautiful and textures. Velvet is unreal. Velvet is so expensive. I know. And my this gosh is quality 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 it really is the quality of this velvet ribbon the way that you've hung them up there they look like kind of obes don't they, they like do. medals like st george's cross or something well, you see while you're reading your book you can pop it around your pop it around your neck oh isn't that lovely because i put my book i put my bookmark down and i wander off and i end up with a bit of paper <laughs> from wherever because i i will scrappy not scrappy bit of paper yeah, i will not bend corners because oh you I'm, like that as oh well. i won't oh that's it my, i'm i'm like that you don't You're like see, Hattie. You, they look like they've not been read. It's exactly what Hattie them. does. I, 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 um, <laughs> I uh, tried to find a place in her book there then I bent it back. She went nuts. <sighs> don't do that, Mummy. You'll break the book. She just loves them. They're yeah. just beautiful articles for her. Um, so you've got this gorgeous dusky pink, exquisite purple. Gosh, that's so nice. Like a Cinderella blue, which I love. Yeah. This would be lovely in a gorgeous kid's story, but like a big book. Yeah. Well, you um, could make a headband with them. Oh, yeah. that's a great idea. Headbands. You could, you could make chokers. Oh, oh my gosh. I'd love... Oh, a choker. Would be amazing. Well, the, the crystals you're getting here are really nice. I know. Um, these are glass crystals. They're obviously not real gemstones. If that was a real gemstone, <laughs> that's like... That's like, <laughs> I mean, that's like the, that's like the million pound sapphire, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It? Oh, my gosh. That, yeah, yeah, literally Thomas Crown affair, Jobby. Mind you, that was art, wasn't it? Um, you've got here beautiful blue, uh, beautiful uh, purple, dark purple, lighter purple. This gorgeous, beautiful Swiss blue topaz colour as well. These kits are amazing. Price on them, 15 quid. What? Really? You see, I, I made. Um, I love that. I made them into a bracelet um, for the <sighs> coronation. Um, so you could actually put those all together idea. as a bracelet if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. I love the choker idea. Yeah. As a bookmark, wonderful. Imagine getting somebody like a ten pound book voucher yeah. and giving them a bookmark. A bookmark as well. to go How with. Lovely. Would that be. It also it's going to you know if you're making bookmarks, you'll go to the. Um, You'll go to the you, you'll go to your craft fairs. You'll go yeah. and sell your pieces at craft fairs. You will you will um, see uh, you know however many craft stores selling jewellery. How many craft stores will you see selling bookmarks and things like that? Beautiful things where you don't need to know someone's wrist size or neck size yeah. or ring size. What is that? So that's what the four stones. That's all those four stones in one bracelet. Don't they look? That's amazing. just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. This reminds me of that gorgeous um, coronation inspired yes. kind of well, um, those coronation pieces. That looks like jewelry from, from the, that. Yeah. That looks like jewelry from the from the blooming crown jewels. That's absolutely it, unbelievable. That looks priceless. They they do. They do, they look so amazing. Oh my gosh, that's you so know, good. One of those in the middle of the velvet as a choker incredible but you could wear that that could yeah. be the centerpiece to a brooch 
couldn't yeah, it? That absolutely. could be the centre to a brooch. It could be. You that, know, that is amazing. <laughs> for, for anything, you could actually, you could actually, um, you know, fetch those together. Uh, it's not, it's not going to work with this one. I see. It's yeah. One. Yeah. And have, and have that down there and have a fastener at the back. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely gorgeous. They're just stunning. Oh, you've done they? an amazing job. They go so well. We've, that is amazing. That first kit, by the way, incredibly popular. Wowzers. Yeah, fair. Okay, let's do the second kit. Oh, this is so nice. Are the gems drilled through? No, these are just literally kind of crystal cavitions. Yes. Uh, with foil backs. Yeah, they're, so, they're like a rivoli, so they've got yeah. sort of a pointed back. Nice. Which is why bezeling them is, is brilliant. I, I'll show you the back of them in a moment. Ballet, ballet pump pink... Hotter pink, gorgeous chartreuse, chartreuse green, and then this I love incredible this. I teal. I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. This velvet, honestly, you will pay. Actually, do you know that's a, that's a I think that's a decent point. Fourteen ninety nine for the last kit. You'd probably pay that just for the velvet. ribbon in a shop. Yeah. Just for the velvet ribbon in a shop. You probably oh. pay more actually. Okay, okay, let's look at these crystals. So the back of them looks like this. They need to have a foil back. Yeah. Really lovely. I mean, that's really modern, isn't it? That's the front. But that's what gives you that inner glow, high-end yeah. look Ooh. because of that foil black back. Look. Sorry. They're just amazing. 11.99, sorry, 11.99. 11 O's of your seed, silver line seed bees, delicas, and look, there's your... Your ribbon. There you go, gorgeous. 12.99, go, that's go, 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 crazy. go, go. That's Absolutely really amazing. Crazy. So we've said bookmarks, we've said chokers, yeah. we've said bracelets. Um, Actually, you're getting two tubes of beads because your delicas are more expensive. So they're usually about seven ninety nine. Let's let's so let's say you're normally paying about seven for your for your big tube of seed beads. So are we saying that you're literally paying for your seed beads and everything else is free? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That you're price is paying bonkers. for your seed beads and everything else is free. So how many we got? We got uh, absolutely incredible. One, two. Ella, three. Pauline, Mandy, Joan, Maker, Lisa, Jane, Maeve, and Christine. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. Twelve ninety nine. Three. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's love it. Crazy. Oh, go for contrasting colours. I, mean, I know we've kind of photographed them. You know. You know. Together. Venting tones. I kind of put them toning. But Mixie Moo Moo, go for it that is now. Bonkers. Okay. Let's do the silver tone bookmarks on their own. These ones are lovely. So I pulled um, out some, some bits and pieces that I had just to make them. Isn't this lovely? When was the last time you had these on the show, Alison? I mean, this is just so cool. Ages ago. I, sorry, Michael. You're sorry, literally playing sorry, Michael. in here, aren't you, love? Uh, look, so you've got these lovely silver uh, tone bookmarks. Gorgeous. Really lovely. <laughs> And then, do you get, is it the mermaids? Is, oh, no, it's just these ones, just isn't it? Just together. these ones. Just these ones. Uh, great. Really, really fantastic for smaller books, uh, for little diaries, maybe little notebooks. Great as a back scratcher. <laughs> oh, that is a good old back scratcher there. So it's hit the spot. There we go. Three ninety nine. Well done. Now, the great thing about these ones is you can dangle anything you like from there. So whether it's one bead, whether it's a beaded yeah. bead, whether it's some sterling silver, whether it's chain... Just oh. lovely. I wonder, do we have a book in here? We must have a book. Uh, yeah, oh, this up is on the hobby. top shelf. This is Blooming Hobby Maker is studio as well. Oh. Here we go. Look. There we go. So you've literally got your little book here. Are you meant to do it like that? Yeah, is that how you do it. it? So you've got that bit hanging out the book and then you put whatever you want dangling down there. And then here's your bookmark in here, keeping your space. You can also use it. I mean, I don't know about you, but if you kind of find it easy to read like this as well. Now, this, these oh, next ones, I adore. I'm a big fan of fairy tales and kind of Hans Christian Andersen. Um, Hans Christian Andersen wrote The Little Mermaid. He wrote, oh, what else did he write? The Elves and the Shoemaker. He wrote um, The Red Shoes. The Ugly Duckling. The Ugly Duckling, yeah. You think of the Hans Christian Andersen um, fairy tales and yeah. or, or Brothers Grimm. And you and you think of those books. This, this is, this is such a. I mean, my my children now no longer believe in unicorns and and mermaids and stuff. And I'm sorry, sorry, oh no, sorry, Alison. 
What do you mean? Don't believe sorry. in them. Gosh, I'm sorry. They're real. I'm sorry, Alison. Um, and um, but that age of innocence, that innocence. Um, one of our favourite books ever is a Julia Donaldson book called The Singing Mermaid. We still read it now. I love it. And that innocence that they had when they were kind of like one, two years old. Oh, eight ninety nine, And you get four mermaids. Five. You get five because I pinched one here. Five mermaids. I don't know there what the collection... I, I pinched one. What, what the collective noun is for a mermaid. It'll be like a siren of mermaids. Oh, look at her. Very busty mermaid. These... These disappear like nobody's business. I, I mean, you go up where our clocks do not go forward. I've missed half of this hour's show. We haven't done the demo yet. Don't worry, darling. Don't worry, Kathy. Oh, should we start our demo? Yeah, yeah. Have fun in Goa, by the way, Kathy. Very yes, nice. very gel. So I'm going to show you how to set um, one of those stones. Oh, awesome. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. So they're, they're all the same size. They're 25 mil square, I think. Yeah, they're nice and big, aren't they? Um, so you want 60 of your um, 11s. The Delicas. On, yeah. No, your no, 11 O's. The, the seed beads. The 11 the seed beads. Yeah. So 60 on your, your strands. Not them, but have a little bit of wiggle room. Ideally, you want something that's divisible by four. If you do, if you do divisible by four, so you're looking at 64, that's too big. If you look at, um, what's 64, 60. What are so you trying to do? Divide it by four multiple times. So 64 will, will divide down, whereas look this another goes wrong a bit person, Anyway, so, so I found 60 was the best fit. So knot it into, into there, and then you're going to start peyote. If you're if you want if you've got a quick start card, keep it open. Or if you've got a circular one, you can use that. So once you've got them there, you're going to go through past your knot through the first bead. And like I say, keep it keep it loose-ish. Um, pick up your next one, miss that first bead, and go in the next one. Okay. So this is this is basic peyote. It's an even count because you've got sixty. Pick up your next bead, miss the next one, and go through that. So every time you're missing every other. Now, because it's loose, it'll look a bit funny. But because you've fixed it together, it will come together. So keep going that all the way around till you get back to the beginning. Even count, you actually have to step up. So when you get back to here, you'll come back through that first stone. You then have to step up into that first one of the next row. OK, so you do you do. So that creates one, two, three rows. So that gives you three rows. You want four rows. I'm going to come to this one. Whoops. Underneath. Get them tangled, Alison. Ah, ah sorry. What are you doing, Alison? Getting them tangled. Right. So you do your four rows. Now, why I say you need a bit of wiggle room, because it's quite it's quite snug, shall we say. It's, yeah. it's quite snug on it. Um, but basically, you want it to fit in there. So after that first one, it will it will fit in. I know it's sitting there, but it, it, trust me, it does fit in. So once you've done that, you're then going to switch to the Delicas. Now, the Delicas, although they're still a 15, have a, a lower profile. I came up with a super... Oh, yes, I remember. I was thinking about it, and I came up with a better allergy than I normally do for the pipes. So imagine your seed beads are a normal tyre on a car. And imagine your Delicas are a low-profile tyre. OK. So you've got your more rounded, bigger tyre. Yeah. And then you've got your skinny, skinny depth, low-profile tyre. So that's a slightly different analogy. So I've done one row around. We're now going to create the corners. So because it's um, not easily divisible, um, because you get to 15, but you want half. So right. we're going to do seven on one side, six, seven, six. OK, now you can't tell that two are slightly longer than the others. Trust me. And none of those can you say, oh, yeah, that one's longer. Um, so I'm going to do start on half a row. So I'm going to do three in there first. There we go. So I've done my three. 
So I've started halfway down one side. I'm then going to do, I'm going to skip one. So I'm just going to pull those two beads together. Whoops, not all the way around there. Come back here. Come back here. There we go. So you pull those two together and you can see it will start. That will start your corner. Okay, so it, it starts pulling in. That's the only pull in you need because the, the delicas will, will sew up slightly smaller. So I'll do another one. So we'll go down here. See how you get this sort of gap mist. So the next, next row, we'll pull that in. So I'm going to do six along here. One. Oh, Alison, what are you doing this You're morning? all right. Not today. Not today, one, Alison. Two, three. Was that Game of Thrones? What? What does the many-faced God say? Not today. Oh, uh, it is. It is. The loom's on screen. We've got the last few available. It's going to literally <gasps> going to go. Nuts, wow. nuts, nuts. Right, Helen this told, by uh, Deb Muffet Hall. Hannah told me about this. Yeah. This is, if you want to stock up, this is the time to do it. Naughty, 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 oh, naughty, yes. naughty. So we've got one corner there. You can see it's already sort of starting to, to square off. Yeah. Put it in through your next one and keep going round. And that's your corners. So you keep doing that. And then you do another row on top. So I'm going to come back round while you do the loom. Mm. I'm just going to change direction. Yeah, so go for it. So the loom you've got here comes with instructions on how to set it up. Basically, set it up. To set it up, it's kind of like this. It is unlike any other loom you've ever seen before. It's so, so easy, easy to set up. Comes with instructions. Um, and you can make these styles of wraparound bracelets. Uh, with these are absolutely brilliant. I love the fact that it's all that kind of, you know, the wooden qualities you get with these. It is a brilliant, brilliant tool. Literally pop your pegs in here. They're all numbered. They're all kind of detailed what pegs they are. You put that side in there. You put the other side in there. And then you get your loom bands and kind of go around it. And then you know, you know what width bracelet you're going to be making there. So much easier than, than some of these tension set um, uh, looms, which take hours to yeah. set up. So much easier. Um, $24.99 is your price point for your, um, uh, for your loom. Uh, sorry, for your um, uh, loom. Comes in a little carry case as well. Fabulous. <clears throat> you do get some loom bands with this as well. Um, and of course, you get, your, um, you get your instructions as well. It is an absolutely brilliant tool, Alison. And whenever you get love it. gems or pieces, which are all kind of regular sizes, much yep. like our shell pearls, seed beads, jade, oh. You genuine know it's going pearls. to be great to use with your um, uh, endless loom. Yeah, all those are genuine gemstones. All those are seed beads of very, and you, it doesn't just have to be the same size. You can have different size seed beads. You can use um, all sorts in there. I so love these ones are, are genuine gemstones, and these are all seed beads. You can do so much variety with them, but it's such a game changer. Um, with your six O's, it'll take you an hour or so to make one bracelet. And there's no, there's only finishing off where you've joined in another thread. Honestly, just, the design is so lovely. And the patterns brilliant. you can get online yeah. as well. Or oh, if you go absolutely. Page, absolutely. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Now, if you're going to be making endless loom pieces and you stretchy pieces like those, you're going to need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots oh, of yeah. loom bands. I've got here a band assortment. These are all endless loom bands. <laughs> you're right there, Michael. Um, they're black. You've got 12 6 inch, 10 7 inch, and 6 8 inch of your bands. You've got the same in clear crystal. And then you've got uh, 12 of your 6 inch bands as well. So you, these are the clear ones, these are the black ones. They're exactly the same. And then you get um, 6 inch ones in black as well. These are absolutely, you have to have a load of these, don't bonkers. you? Bonkers. Yeah, it's oh, you go, you go, you'll go through them. You'll go through them, but they're great. So, so um, this one. Sorry, <laughs> Michael. Nine, well done. I <laughs> this know. One Bless here, Michael. Because I'm over one, here. She's over there. I, I've used. Alison's I've used there, 15 sorry. bands, but there's one in every piece. Oh, yeah. so that's why. So that's, that's why you need. That's one in so every. So many, if you like. But I mean, this one. Uh, where say this one? I've used two beads between. Sometimes I'll use three beads between. This has got three beads. Um, these are all gemstones, so this has got three beads between each. So that's only got four bands in. Um, these have got one between. And don't they look different, the black and the white? So different. Yeah. We're, look, we're taking the price down again, Alice. Oh, my we may gosh. As well. 
Oh, 17 seconds we're taking the price point crazy. down again. It's well done. Crazy. It really is crazy, but you can use them with all sorts of different sizes. The yeah. qualities are absolutely brilliant. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Enjoy. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. Rupal, Mary, maker in Renfrewshire, maker in Manchester, Pearl in Suffolk, Jane in West Midlands. Twelve ninety nine. Come on, let's do it. Twelve ninety nine. We may as well give you the deals. These are so. These are so difficult to get hold of. Yeah, so at these difficult. prices as well. Yeah, this is this is such a good price bundle. Yeah, you will you will go through these. They become very addictive. I've got a whole box full so of them. So you've got the loom bands between each. Where where, where you can see that little kind of black line. Yeah. Where that gap is, you can you've used one of these. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. absolutely. But like I say, some of them. So that's got one, two, three, four. That's only got that one there has only got four bands. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be. Um, that one's got a mix, and you can see the sort of slight line. But that, I mean, that was an early one, and I thought, oh, you've got to put a band between every. You don't. Gorgeous. Two or three beads will go between each. Absolutely awesome. no trouble. I mean, I made, I made, actually, talking to Tutankhamun, I made that one, that one, and that one on the train to and from going to see Tutankhamun. Oh, you're, you're amazing. Um, but right, right, where are we with the right. demo, Alison? So, Go I'm for just, it, the, the only really thing, once you've done that, the only re other thing, I've, I've come back to the hole, so you can see where you've got this V, and then you're going to just pick up a seed bead and go across that V and carry on going round. So you want, so this would be our third row of our um, delicas, uh, yeah, delicas. And then I actually, because I like the finish, I just popped a couple of rows of 11s on, if I pull this one down here. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can just see where I've, I've gone back with the silver, um, actually on, if I, which is, which is better, sorry. Um, so I've got the, the, the couple of rows of silver in the middle and I've missed out the corner on the silver on the second row. Yes. And it just it just sort of follows the, the contours then. You can do all sorts of decorative bits. But you can see, if you look in the corners very closely, you can see where that one's jumped and then you've carried on going. And that's what brings it in. So you get this lovely profile oh, to so it. Nice. It looks beautiful from the side. It's not saggy. That's not going anywhere. It's secure as anything. So, and you could, if you, if you can't cope with metal, you could actually stitch this directly onto your ribbon. Like I say, um, if you wanted to put it as a choker piece, you could pop that in your ribbon, mm. ribbon um, and that would work beautifully. And you just sew it onto your ribbon. Then all I've done is used a little bit, we had some um, French wire. French in the, wire in the eight, yeah. Just popped a little bit of French wire, loop it round, and then that makes it, because these are going to get quite a lot of wear, um, I just wanted that extra protection for it, um, and that's and that's it. Just just use your, your, your beading wire through there, and then you, and then you're done. They they just great. you could add a tassel to that. You could you can embellish around the sides. You can you know you can take it wherever. You could make that into a bracelet. Yeah, lovely. It's fabulous. They're great. They Gorgeous. really are great. Well done. What a hero! Fabulous. Thank you so much, Alison. That's okay. They're fab. Gorgeous. Yeah, they are brilliant, aren't they? Very, very yeah. popular as well. And the loom, so nice to see the loom bands and the loom bands are so popular. We've got a star buy coming up now. Um, what are we going to do? Uh-oh. Oh. <gasps> <coughs> Sorry. Because Alison's used her carving. To I did use my carving there. The uh, beautiful crystal she set with the, um, with the, with the bookmark. We're going to do this incredible carving. It's coming up wow. right now. You are going to love it. This carving is spectacular. This is so beautiful. This brings to mind uh, English country gardens. You've got this gorgeous kind of clear sky at the top. We were talking about this the other day, weren't we, Alison? We were. We were. And uh, we were saying how beautiful it is. The, the, the flowers kind of 
go up the sides of this incredible donut carving. Well, they're, they're very reminiscent to me of things like hollyhocks. Yes. You know, it's it's not this that, one especially it's is a not that beautiful, um, you know, properly every leaf in every place and yeah. you know. This is this is a, a country garden. This yeah. is, this is you've got high plants, you've got low plants, you've yeah. got it's it's a lot more I would say organic than your manicured manicured garden. Aren't yes, they? we were saying less of the capability yeah. brown, more of the more of the kind of uh, yeah the kind of cottage garden kind of yeah with different levels. It's the Edwardian lady's diary. Thank That's you, Alison. <laughs> right, let's leave it there because yeah. otherwise I'm going to say all sorts of different things. But yeah, there was a book that came out in the 1970s called the Edwardian lady's diary. Diary. Thank you. Woo! Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, <laughs> Stunning. It's a beautiful piece, isn't it? And actually, that piece up there is very reminiscent of a hollyhock mm. or a red hot poker almost, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Look at so that. So pretty. Because I know they're, they're um, at the bottom, they're probably a, a, a lotus, but they're also quite peony. Very much so, yeah. Aren't they? Very that much sort of so. Closed in. Beautiful. I do, in the village I used to live in as a child, they used to do open gardens um, <gasps> nice. for, um, you know, during the summer. Yeah. And, oh, gosh, the, the, the work people put in oh, to their gardens. There are some amazing horticulturalists. I, I um, love, love gardens. I hate gardening. Yes, same here. I, I'm horrendous. I'm exactly the same. If I hate I, gardening. I love gardens. Yes. Yeah. If I won the lottery, I'd have a beautiful garden, but I'd have a gardener to do it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you two beautiful ladies and Aww. all the crew, uh, thoroughly enjoying my JM morning, says Susan. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, darling. I bought that book for my nan when it came out. <laughs> oh, the Edwardian lady's diary. Really have to concentrate <laughs> on what I'm saying. Amazing. Oh, Ooh, Diane's got it on her dressing table. Oh, how lovely. Uh, you definitely need that to make a bookmark with velvet to go through that book. Yeah, that see, if you, see if you can find any images from the book. Yeah. Maybe. Make sure you type it incorrectly. <laughs> see if you can find any images from the book. An Edwardian lady's diary. I don't know. You don't have to, love. Um, <laughs> okay, three seconds of taking the price point wow. down. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's stunning. Reminds me a little bit of Mrs. Beaton's kind of cookbook, uh, yeah, cookery it's, books it's as well. That, it's of an era, isn't it's, it? It is of an era. You feel like it's a, 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 a vintage piece, don't you? A, yeah. or, or an antique piece. It's, yes, absolutely. It's got just that gorgeous. Oldie worldy feel. It's it does, beautiful. it does. It's like it's I a National it. Trust piece or something. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. It would look amazing at a National Trust play. Well done, everyone. £149. Wow. What a gorgeous piece. Split. Oh, there it is. Oh, that takes me back. My mum's got the, uh, this book. Look at this. 49.66. That's your split payment. Wow. Hang on. No, that's not the price. Wow. Whoa. There it is. Look, so you've got oh, these yeah, you beautiful the trailing yeah. roses. See, that's it. Beautiful. So you, you were at 149 pounds. The split payments are under 50 pounds. How can we be doing that? That's absolutely incredible. I know. 30 seconds, we're going to go, I can't believe this, we're going to be going lower. This is unbelievable. The, the quality. Yeah, the quality of the material is amazing. Oh, it's amazing. I can't believe we're at 49.66 on split payments. We're about to take it even lower. Sherry, Susan, well done to you, my lovelies. More people there. Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. 0800 655. Here we go. Price point going down in three, two, one. Antoinette in Belfast. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh my gosh. I love 99 it. pounds. Which comes out at 33 pounds on yeah. split payments. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have to get this now. That's amazing. Nine opportunities available. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Stunning. Tracy in Lancashire. Well done to you. Absolutely beautiful. 
That's just gorgeous. So incredible. Well done, everyone. And do you know what? You don't need to do anything to that other than put it on a lark's head knot, do you? No, no. Something as simple as that would be stunning. Uh, you know, just beautiful. Or, you know, use it with your, um, use it with the gallery wire if you want to. Yeah. I don't think there's any need to do that, though. Julian Tyne and Weir, well done to you as well. Four chances <gasps> remaining. Four chances wow. remaining. You've got a minute and then we're taking the details away. That is amazing. You've got to check out. Oh, my gosh. Very, very popular. I'm not surprised. When did carvings all of a sudden become £99? Oh, no. Has that Wayno been pushing hard bargains again? When did carvings become £99? Maker in Cumbria, another wow. maker there. Well done to you. I've got three chances left with so many in baskets. Christine in Staffordshire, it's in your basket. Check out, my lovely. Look, we've got three left. Oh, oh my, my word. Go, 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 go. Absolutely amazing. 20 seconds and we're taking the details away. You've got to check out. Go, do it now. That's amazing. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Look at these baskets. They are absolutely rammed. Oh, my gosh. Well done, everyone who's already come through. But look, we're down to the last three. That is one of the best quality, best yeah. priced, best value carvings we have ever done. That is gorgeous. I know. Well done. Ella, check out wow. my lovely. Oh, gosh. Right. After the break, the time has arrived for the most amazing hour. We've got storage. We've got displays. It's going to go absolutely nuts. Do not go anywhere. We will see you in a couple of secs. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities.
So here's the thing. Uh oh. I love you. I'm not making you a cup of tea. <laughs> this is going to sell out. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't know who's accountable for this. Uh oh. There will be somebody who is accountable for this. This has been priced incorrectly. Oh no, I didn't hear what the price was. It's been priced incorrectly, uh -oh. like it's way too low, <gasps> uh, which is why we haven't put it on pre-order, which is why we can't bring it to you until half past. No. Okay. Um, we are, we are going to be bringing you storage, displays, I mean, everything that you need. And what's so nice about the displays, like particularly this one here. We're starting with this one, aren't we? I love that one. Is It really is all-encompassing. Oh, you yeah. can put whatever you like on these. Uh, they are just, it's I mean, just lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. Um, doesn't help that it's black, just for literally in the studio, but. When you start displaying things on this, you go, oh, I get it, I get it. It is such a cool item. Um, Lovely. This display here, are you going to use this when you go to your craft stalls or are your, your craft fairs or are you going to use it to just to display things at home? Because I think it's got both. You could absolutely use this to yeah. put things in at home. So I'll take my wedding band off. Here we go, pop my wedding band in there. Lovely, always on display, lovely. So nice yeah. to be able to have that. This is going to go absolutely crazy. We very rarely do displays where you can display your earrings, your rings, your necklaces and bracelets all together, but here you can. Yeah, it's just, it's just brilliant. Now, um, we're gonna give you your graphics in about 50 seconds time. Hey. I'm just going to take these out just to show you that they do come out if you want them to. You don't have to. When you get the, when, yeah, That's when you so get clever. these, they will arrive looking like that. They will arrive looking like that. All you do is literally just turn them around. Oh. Turn them around and then you've got them facing the right way. Can you see? Got them facing oh. the right way. You don't have to have them like that. I'm, I assume you could put them in another way if you wanted to. But if you want the little, yeah, it, 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 it's really, really, really professional. That's just so. Wow. Nice, isn't it? So these all come out. So you don't have to put them in there if you don't want to. You could put bracelets on there if you want to. It's all lovely and padded. It's just gorgeous. Um, so nice. So 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 nice to be able to bring you something like this. I love it. I think it's absolutely awesome. I just think it's great. Um, this is your one-stop shop, if you like, for all yeah. of your jewellery displays. So this is going to go nuts, by the way. It's going to go absolutely crazy. So you've got your earring displays. And now I want to I wanna put it down there. I want to display my earrings down here. Of course you can. You can go down there if you want to. You can, you can pop them down there. No problem whatsoever. Also, I'm just looking. It might not work. Sorry, it might not work. If it doesn't, don't, don't go nuts at me. Yeah, if you want to display them here, you can do. It's not going to look quite as good, but if you want to display them there, you could do. Take it off here and literally put them on down here, you know, with sweets of jewellery. Wow. So take that one out there, put it there and put that there. Looks great. Perfect. Yeah. yeah if you want to put it alongside other sweets that you've made here, necklaces, bracelets, whatever. Absolutely fantastic. You've got, you've got options which is just always a great thing um you've got yeah on here there's about 10 percent of the you know the the kind of potential for how many pieces of jewelry you can get in here you can literally fit sweets and sweets and sweets of jewelry you've got enough here for you know if we're using these just for earrings two four six pairs of earrings i mean goodness me you can you can totally go to town you can put the, you can put the earrings wherever you like multiple rings because it's all yeah that's a good idea actually Ollie. because it's all kind of padded it's got this lovely kind of padded quality if you wanted to pin anything onto these then you absolutely can do these are great for your necklaces for your bracelets um they're absolutely perfect okay so 
price point wise, where do you even start? Where do you even start with something like this? It is absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to put my Cleopatra pearls through here. Hello. It's like a little letterbox, isn't it? It's so cute. I love it. Like a little letterbox. Gorgeous. Oh, Cleopatra look pearls. At that. Gorgeous quality. There you go. You know, it's all building up nicely. Great with your precious metal. I've got some lovely chain here. Oh, gosh, what have I done? I've made a terrible mess. That's what I'm doing. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Here we go. Chain, if you want to display your chain. If you want to put your chain on kind of, you know, one of these, you absolutely can do. Have it, have it dropping down like that. Entirely up to you. Great way of displaying your jewellery at home, not yeah. just on your stands. Um, just incredible. Well done. $49.99. You have options, multiple mm. options with something like this. There's some chain there as well. If you put your bracelet on there as well, which is just incredible. Um, it, it's just a great, a, it's just your one-stop shop. Quite often, you've got your separate earring uh, displays, you've got your separate bracelet displays, your separate bust for your necklaces. Yeah. To have all of this together is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It really, really is. Look at this one here. This is a very simple one. That looks like that might be acrylic. It might not be. It might be it might be flocked. But um, that's £65.99. Reduced from £110. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's interesting. Um, we're not done. How many of this one do we have, Neary? Oh, Ooh. gosh. That's not going to be enough. We've got just over 100 of these. They're already flying. Lots of multi-bidders. Lots of people coming through to get this, which is great to see. Um, we're going to be bringing you a lower price point in 40 odd seconds. Now it does come, <clears throat> let me show you as well. Thank you, lovely. Uh, huh. Ah, right. Comes with these little hooks. So, okay, so you've got this. Please forgive me. I am actually going to peel the back off this. <laughs> peel the, the little backing off here. It's adhesive. Oh, right. And then what I would do, let, let me just see what I'm doing, sorry. Pin that on the back there. Would you, would you do it like that or the other way around? Point pointing down. Point pointing down. Okay. Yes. Point pointing down. So you can hook things over the back and drape so them So you can hook things over the back, like this chain, for instance. Let's say it's a, bra let's move you because we don't need to see you at the minute. It's a bracelet chain. You don't want it to slip through or it's got a pendant on, whatever it might be. Here we go. Let's put your pendant on here and then you can hook that. Oh gosh, I'm trying to do this backwards now. Sorry, forgive me. Let me just do this. Forgive me, Peppa Pig, forgive me. And then if you wanted to hook that round like that. There you go. You've hooked it round like that. And now you can show your pendant on the front. Nice. Gosh, so it comes with these beautiful little... Oh, they're, they're not beautiful at all. They're just hooks, aren't they? Oh. Uh, but it comes with these hooks, these really functional hooks. Mm. Two four six seven of these hooks as well which is absolutely brilliant oh. 39.99 <clears throat> and they almost like lock it in hey they almost like lock it in yeah they do they're really really useful aren't they they're going to be ever so useful when it comes to, rather than using scrappy bits of kind of sellotape or something like that or, it's yeah gonna, yeah it's going to be absolutely which if you want to take it out and show someone then you've got residue to cope with or you yeah, can take the wire off sticky it's going to have you know bits of yeah. bits on it um fantastic well done 39.99 not wow. your deal okay we've got one more price for you right now this is going to go absolutely crazy you can put it on you can put these little hooks by the way on the bottom i wouldn't put them on the ring one well you wouldn't necessarily want to put them on the ring one but literally putting it on the bottom one or the top one because it's got a because the ring one's got a flocked back to it uh, but look, it's so easy to put on, so easy, you know, to put them on that, to put them, um, <clears throat> to put them, to, to use them at the top or the bottom. This has got like a laminate kind of quality on the oh, back. Okay. So's the bottom one. The ring one's kind of flocked on the back, so you probably wouldn't want to use it on that one. I mean, it would stick, but it's, I mean, there's no point, there's no point using it really. 29.99. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. You've got all of your little adhesive hooks. You've got your incredible display um, uh, your, your incredible display as well uh, for, cre for creating your beautiful display for sweets and sweets and yeah. sweets of jewellery. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. 
I mean, that's such a good price. Mm. I can remember when I set up for, for doing my craft fairs, I bought some, I bought some busts. It cost me hundreds. Yeah, absolutely. Because you want, you want that cohesive um, thing, but this gives you height as well mm. because you can probably lay it down the other way as well. Yeah, absolutely. Sort of shallower. Yeah, you want layers, you want yeah. levels. Um, you can, Amazing. if you wanted to, you'd need to kind of uh, just, so really, just change the way you're doing do, it. Yeah, yeah. But if you wanted to kind of do it this way yeah. round, just literally just shuffle the earrings round. There we go. They don't sit quite as well, but I mean, why not? Put your earrings like that. There we go. And then you can use the other way up to use. Here we go. We've got loads to get through. Well done. Look at all these in baskets. It's absolutely yeah. crazy. Goodness me. Loads and loads and loads in baskets. Well done. Everyone coming through to get that. There you go. So you can put it that way around yeah. as well. That would be a really nice way of kind of creating that like, lovely kind of wide quality yeah. um, uh, on a stand as well. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So different ways you can use these. Absolutely fantastic. Go, 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 go. So either this way around or standing up as well. 30 chances Lovely. remaining. Your price is 29.99. There's loads of people there. That's that. going to look lovely on a dressing table or on a window. It will there. look lovely on a dressing table. Mm. That would look amazing. Or if you do commissions and you want to go and see someone, you know, have that and say, well, this is, you know, you're looking at something. Pearl, here's, here's the sort of that's thing a, I do. Or That's a good point. It's a nice little one you can take with you. Yeah. Very professional. Yes. It would look amazing. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. You've got you've got a um, you've got a great opportunity to make yourself look even more professional. That's yeah. a really really good point, Alison. Because of course, when you're going to be going and showing off your pearls, what you don't want is for them all to be in a for them all to be in a plastic Carry bag. bag. <laughs> yeah. and they'll just look so scrappy and awful. But they do. Um, you know, you want them to be nicely kind of set out. If you if you were to show somebody, if you were to show somebody a piece of, um, you know. Trying to think if you were to show somebody their wedding photos, you'd put them in a nice presentation box, you'd make mm. it look absolutely beautiful. Um, and the same goes for jewelry as well, you know, gorgeous. Ordered mine so chuffed and, and a great price, thank you, says uh, Josephine. It is. It's great, isn't it? Well done. <clears throat> Got a Fabulous. lovely display bust here. I'm all for busts like the ones which were here, the tall ones. Yeah. I'm all for those, they're great. It's but, height again. Hey? It's different height again. Um, it's a different height, but also I'm thinking as well that, you know, jewellery makers come in all shapes and sizes, yeah? yeah? Let's say you've got your craft stall. Let's say you use all these tall busts, yeah? Let's say that you need to sit down during the craft fair because you can't stand up. Maybe you're a wheelchair user, whatever it might be. If you're either, if you either need to sit down because of, you know, because you're tired or, you know, medical conditions or you've got, you've got arthritis or, or perhaps you're a wheelchair user. If you're sitting behind your stand and you've got all these busts, no one's going to be able to see you. No one's going to be able to see the full quality of your um, um, uh, jewellery and to see you as a jewellery maker. With this bust here, what's so great, oh, what a fun. with this bust here, what I love about this so much is it, it is flatter, it's wider. It's easier to shuffle over. It's also a little bit less precarious yes. than some of the tall bus, which yes. can be, which can tip over, not really easily, but if you're going to be doing a craft fair outside, it might be quite windy. It's been quite windy over the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? And if it's quite windy, your busts may fall over. Whereas these, that's not going to fall over. It just oh, sits oh, there. Wow. It's beautiful. Um, also, if you've got certain lighting, which you might want to angle towards your jewellery as well, it might be slightly yeah. shorter. Um, uh, lights that you're going to be using or more direct lights that you're going to be using this you might find that this is going to be a much more suitable uh, bust I love this quality it's not velvet it's like a lovely shiny kind of I don't know what the material is actually it's, I, mean, it's, I mean it's not like a natural fiber it's almost like a nylon I'd, I'd probably say little hook on the back to be able to hook it. yeah it's got a nice it's not dead flat is it no. like a, a velvet it's got a little bit of a shine to yeah. it, which is nice, almost a satiny shine. Just gorgeous. Lovely. You can stand it up if you want to. Uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to have it standing up or resting on something. 19.99, isn't that brilliant? Wow. No, Fabulous. it's not. It's not, no, it's <gasps> not your price. 30 seconds, sorry, a minute, and we're taking the price point. That's okay, a minute, and then we're gonna be taking the price point down. Lots of you coming through today. Lots of people joining us today. Well done, so put your, put your pendant, uh, sorry, put your chain on there. Yeah. Need to make it a little bit shorter. 
literally have it just hooked around that hook at the back. There you go, and it's gonna sit absolutely beautifully. There you go, absolutely perfect. Also as well, if you do want to use pins on the back of this, you absolutely can do. It's just no problem whatsoever. Prop it up, use pins, use dressmaking pins at the back. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Um, wonderful. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Here's your deal today. You've literally got 14 seconds. We're taking the price point down again. Well done. It does look high end. I, it's that yeah. luster. The square frame, yeah, it looks really nice and high end, doesn't it? It's just a little bit different. Again, it's something you can slide towards people as well. So you're not manhandling the jewelry all the time. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. 14.99. I love oh, that. That's great. Now this again is that's one you can take fabulous. with you. Yeah. Uh, you can pop in your bag. You can take it with you to your to your um, uh, to, to your customer's house and say, look, I've made this necklace for you. Uh, tell me, you know, <coughs> you know, you asked for something Native American inspired. You wanted those kind of gorgeous colours. How do you feel about this piece? You know, do, are you happy with this? Um, and you know, you're you're sliding it over. You're doing that kind of presentation. It's beautiful. I use these in a sloping display cabinet. Yeah, yeah nice. In-house de um, designer Anne, absolutely. Uh, we used to have lovely, um, 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 uh, uh, lovely photos sent in by, um, and also photos which um, guest designer Jan used to show us. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. Sells her pieces in the in, yeah. in the local lovely like kind of hotel. Um, hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And display is everything there. Display it's all in glass cabinets, but display is absolutely yeah. everything there. I can imagine these being great, great displays to use. Especially if you're using some of the taller ones at the back to yeah. still display your necklaces, but on a slightly lower level, this is absolutely perfect. Well, oh, king, beautiful, perfect. Hang on, what are we doing? <gasps> Taking the price oh down my again. Gosh, multi buy. Oh look my gosh, go go go! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Wow, beautiful pearls. You see, to me now, that instantly looks better on that one than it does on a vertical one because it's it's sliding down the shoulders of that neckline shall we say yes as against being on a skinny neck which it's makes a more it a realistic very narrow neckline isn't it yes so for some things they work so much better on that sort of um layout the slightly wider yeah anything that sits just at the bottom of your neck just they look great on something like that 12.99 everyone oh, for there you go sake. well done everyone for wow. goodness sake these are honestly it's absolutely brilliant isn't it well done Twelve oh, ninety nine. Wow! Today. Go go go! Look, there's Cleopatras there. They're beautiful, aren't they? Well, it's interesting if you kind of hold the Cleopatras up like that, they look completely different. But if yeah. you lie them down like this, it's a more realistic neckline, isn't it? It is. But also, you've just totally shown that you can't you can't do that with a tall bust because that's just a strand. Yeah. Whereas it looks fabulous like that. It's like a necklace, doesn't it? It does. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So again, if you go into a customer. You can lay out strands and swap and change and so say, how do you like this? Here's one for you. Good for photography, do you think? Perfect for photography. It's not nice bright, background. Shine. Yeah. Not too dead. It's yeah. a bit of luster there, but not too shiny. Not Great too shiny. for photography. That would look amazing. And also the bottom. I love this kind of bronzy metallic bottom yeah. spot as well. It's so lovely. You can't, it's not really coming across, but it is like a metallic bottom you're going to be getting there. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Well done. Gone absolutely nuts. That's well crazy. done. Twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous. Okay. Right. Right. These are so. This is so mm. lovely. Um. One of my pet hates is we, we did these earrings. Just dis earring displays. No, you're lovely, Neri. Um. We did these earring displays. Um. Ooh, years ago, and they they were they were lovely, but they looked a little bit. They looked a little bit bonkers. Um, they were kind of like these kind of ear, the kind of, you kind of did this and they were kind of like two kind of bunny ears and you kind of folded them down. You could have them that way, that oh, way, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. you wanted. Just give me, just give me a, just give me a, just give me a dead simple, really beautiful earring display mount. That, that, that's all I want. That's all I want. Here they are. Look at the way the earrings sit in there. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. They're gorgeous. Now, it's got this little kind of padded bottom on it. The reason why it's got this padded bottom, if you look down, can you see? Hang on. Ah. Oh. Got a little tag. 
Now this tag, whatever you use it for, I mean, it's entirely up to you, whatever you want to use it for, but just imagine this is a, this is a charm or a pendant. Just imagine that as a charm. Oh, I've wow. the wrong thing here. Isn't that cute? Yeah. It's so sweet, isn't it? So you can oh. use this if you want to display a necklace or if you want to display a little charm or something or interchangeable earrings or whatever it might be. Or Straight down. How about if you've got one that goes from the ear to the nose or, or connects? Nice. You've got a piece of chain with it. An ear the chain. Yeah. What a great idea. So you'd have the ear, the ear piercing part yeah. in here and then, and, then the, you could... and then connect it with the chain down there. What a lovely idea. That, that, I've not seen that on an earring stand before. No, That's neither fabulous. have I. I really, really like this. I think it's just offering you something different. You can choose, yeah. choose to use that or you can choose to completely ignore it. It's, it's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, really yeah. useful though and just great especially if you make an earring and pendant set which a lot of people do sell sets of jewelry don't they oh yeah yeah um or oh gosh imagine you've made a lovely pair of jade earrings and you want the jade ring to go with it there you go oh nice there you go sold so you've got your jade earrings there okay and then you've got your ring there so there's your earrings there's your ring it's just it's so sweet isn't it it's just absolutely beautiful <coughs> sorry have a look at this. We should be stopping at 11.99. Sorry. I love these earrings. I want these earrings. Uh, we're going to go straight down with the price. Straight down. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, this is way too low. Yeah, we're going to go below 10 pounds. Here we go. Enjoy. 8.99. 8. Oh, blimey. 99. That is nice. absolutely brill. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. You can use it, obviously, for different things. Obviously, this is kind of primarily for... Ooh, primarily for earrings but if you do want to let's take those earrings off if you do want to use this to display chain and pendants things like that then you absolutely can do let me show you yeah we didn't start with very many of these they are absolutely flying well done you can literally just hang hang your pendant there sweep your chain round i don't know just give it a bit of thought yeah but you can you can display whatever you like there gorgeous well done everyone beautiful Lots and lots of people coming through. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well done. Uh-oh. We're melting. Deal of the day. Phone down. <laughs> This is going to go nuts, like completely and utterly bonkers. Oh, it, it is. Right, okay. Your storage box, which comes with three trays. They're stackable. Whichever way you stack them, you can put the lid on any, on, on any of these. And you can stack it, that's perfect. You can literally just stack them whichever way you like. You can multi-buy and stack You can multi-buy and stack them together, which is exactly what I think people are going to be doing. Um, Alison, it's just absolutely brill. It's what my husband does with his. Well, was that Kinga? Hello, darling. Literally go. flying past us. I love her, like a little fairy. Um, look, so you've got your three trays. Now... What I love about these, they've got these little dividers in here so you can have your six compartments yeah. or... I love that. You can have four compartments or you can have three, three two, two, one. That is, That's a yeah. a sandwich box. Fill that, that full of hummus. <clears throat> And the next layer with crisps and the next layer a sandwich. Oh, there you <laughs> go. That's a, that's a new take on the old bento box, isn't it? No, no carrot sticks. No time for that. Um, so you've got here, you've got here the most awesome, awesome storage box. Now for everyone who is a seed beater, who uses uh, lots of findings, absolutely perfect. For anybody who uses, uh, for anybody who makes, um, Anybody who makes models, uh, yeah, John's absolutely perfect. I think it is three high, three. Well, there you sets go. High. 
anybody who makes uh, anybody who is um, <coughs> anybody who needs to entertain their kids on a long car journey yeah. with loads of snacks. Anybody who loves organising their Lego. I know there are people who really organise their Lego, like properly organise it into colours and not just colours, but sizes. I love a bit of Lego. My kids love Lego. My what, what about holiday projects? Phone lines have gone nuts. Say again. Holiday projects. Holiday projects. Love it. Anyone who's just looking for a good storage yeah. solution, anyone with a collection of anything, anyone who does any um, oh. nail art, gardening, um, needles and threads, yeah. uh, swatches of fabric, Can't anybody who's uh, going to be collecting seeds, dry flowers. Sorry, what did you say? Card collectors. All your Card, yeah, there if you cut out your dies and you want to put them somewhere, literally just pop them all in these. What's so nice is obviously it's see-through so you can see exactly where you're storing things. You can see the colours of them. You can see the themes, whatever it might be. They're absolutely perfect. Fishing tackle, fl Ooh. fishing flies, if you yeah. tie your own flies. These are absolutely perfect. You can put all your little maggots and things in there. Woo! Uh, things like that, um, which just make me feel funny. Look at everyone coming through. Multi, yeah. multi, multi buyers. Why isn't that going in? Oh, it's because I put that in the wrong way around. Multi, multi, multi buyers coming through to get this. Well done, everybody. The only fair way to do this, uh, this is yeah, absolutely flying out the door. The fairest way of doing this, come on, Neri, is to do a minute clock and then one price and one price only. Um, if we do this one, when we do this one price, it is probably, oh, yeah, it's going to be under £10. God. That's all I'm going to say. How many of these do we have, Neri? 399. Not, not for long, we're not. I would be getting at least three loads of these. You know, my husband keeps all of our... My husband is not a DIYer, uh, but uh, any kind of you know, screws, rule plugs, um, uh, washers, nails, he keeps in a plastic bag. It's like the bag of death. You put your <laughs> hand in there, you're sure to spear yourself on something. I might get him one of these. Just yeah. literally, just to put all his um, uh, nails, screws, washers in. The great thing is you can write on it with permanent marker as well, yeah. so you can label things up as well. Um, absolutely amazing. You can see into it, which is just great. Comes yeah. with a little handle and a lid on top. Are you ready? 200 already gone. This is crazy. This has been priced incorrectly. It's been priced lower than where we should be going. But do you know what? Stuff it. Enjoy. It's way too <gasps> low. It's, it's all going to sell out. Six ninety nine. Oh, my God. Gosh. It's all crazy. I know. It, I know. It, it was meant to be eight ninety nine, and That's it's six ninety nine. It's crazy. Eight ninety nine still bonkers. Eight ninety nine is amazing, Alison, and that's the wow. price point we were prepared for today. Uh, but it's um, brilliant. But it's been priced incorrectly. I don't know why it just has six ninety nine. Just take it. Go. I'd be getting two or three of these. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're doing any of your projects, if you've got any offcuts. If you're the kind of person who keeps uh, negatives for uh, photographs, anything like that, <coughs> absolutely perfect. We started with 400, and look how many people are coming through. Patricia's bought mm. six of these. And, of course, the great thing is, is that you can stack even more of these together. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't stack loads and loads and loads of them together because that handle's only going to take so much weight. But two loads of these, easily, no problem whatsoever. See, John doesn't carry us around, so he's got, like I say, yeah. I think he's got about nine stacks. A tonight. whole tower. So he's got yeah, all different amazing. basing material. I've got one for my gold, one for my silver, one for my... Um, rose gold yep. things. Yeah. You can see them so easily. How much storage do you have? <laughs> Not enough, but a lot. <laughs> You've got a lot, a lot of stories. I know that. Um, Not enough. Yeah, I know that. Um, I know that uh, the buying team are going to be visiting uh, Mark Smith and going okay. to his house to look at all of his storage and look at all of his incredible pieces, which is absolutely brilliant. But I know he is. In, he's got an embarrassing amount of storage in oh, there. In fact, yeah, if, you, if, if we look, we can probably see his name there. Um, we've got sixty-five left. Uh, the computer can't keep up with how quickly these are going, but they are absolutely brilliant. Well done. They are totally stackable in whichever order you want. You don't have to decant things because there's only one top layer. Whichever order you like. There's no point doing a clock to close because they're literally about to sell out. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. It's about to sell out. Well done. Let's move on. That is 
Brill. Yeah, please don't leave it in your basket because it will sell out. Clasp. Wow. Or connector. Oh. Yeah. Love that. Sterling silver star connector with a black opal in the middle. Oh yes. my gosh. That's brilliant. £19.99. pence. Have you lost your mind? That's crazy. What? That's not wow. the deal. Oh my gosh, Alison, this is as a just as a station on a necklace. It would look lovely. As a brooch, it would look lovely. Oh. You know. Love that, the idea of a brooch. That's going to go wherever you go, like you say, on a necklace, on a just a bracelet in a slider. Yeah. Perfect. Ring? You could make a ring yeah. out of it. Well, you could do, that would be so stylized. Yeah. I love I'd use, that. I'd use the loops going round. You could add it in oh, the chain mail. Look, we got 70 chances. Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. Genuine black opal, sterling silver connector, white oh topaz, 9.99. Oh crazy. my gosh. That is crazy. Jennifer, wow. Irene, Mandy, Maker and Kent's got five. Ray, Janice, Louisa. Julie, well done to you, Maker. There's absolutely loads of you coming through. Well done. Oh, yeah, yeah so you you ring. were saying you would suggest the um, having the rings around the side. Yeah, because if you look, the, the, the topaz are actually in the middle. So you could curve the longer ones around the side. Absolutely beautiful. You could also um, use it in your earrings. Stunning. Absolutely stunning in your earrings. Yeah, earrings would be beautiful. Yeah. And do you know what? I would even sacrifice that little loop there just as yes. you know, just to have that in an earring. I would absolutely love that. Absolutely. Makers bought 10 of these. Well done to what you, my lovely. I'm, I'm not surprised at all. They're just gorgeous. Well done. Wow. Zena, Maker, Sandra, Julie, Nicolette. With That's a genuine stunning. black opal in there. Wow. wow. It's, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? It really I is. That. Beautiful. Pop, right. If you're feeling really bougie, pop one on your, on your uh, bookmark. Oh! Special bookmark for someone. There's your idea. Yeah, yeah. hair piece, hair grip. Oh, amazing in your hair. Right, what are we doing now, lovely? That was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, with the Hessonite, with the Egyptian turquoise, with, um, uh, you know, the red jade. Look, with this bad boy as well. Oh, baby, baby. Wow. It's so good together, isn't it? That's beautiful together. I, beautiful. I, I'd add in that one from Kinga as well. Isn't that just stunning? Um. Yeah, so here we go, an Olmec strand, absolutely beautiful. This with your connector that we've just done, you know, it will look absolutely stunning. Look at that. Oh, look, yeah. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, nice. wow, Alison. Oh, really? Did you, um, Ollie? Ollie's just directed a couple of days on Sewing Street and... Um, they did some William Morris. I didn't know they did Very William Morris on Sewing Street. That's amazing. I love William Morris. It is those colors. Uh, and those Liberty William Morris mm. prints, the colors that they use are those heritage Very colors, cool. aren't they? Yeah. Oh, teals, maroons, yeah. burnt oranges. Lovely. Gorgeous. They're all kind of from the earth. They're all beautifully refined, yeah. aren't yeah. they? 70 carats of your old Mac Jack. Oh my gosh, look at the recording. It's so glossy. These are, these are the six and a half mils. Yeah, six and a half Stunning, mils. They? They're just beautiful. Look at that, it's a bracelet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the lost jade, the jade that was kind of loved by the ancient Olmecs and um, the location of where this incredible gemstone was, um, was mined, was lost for over 500 years. Um, and it was the Rödingers um, who, who, 
literally um, uh, rediscovered this incredible gemstone by following a river estuary, tectonic uh, fault lines, and literally found it where X marked the spot. And they found it and it inspired a whole series on Nat Geo. It inspired, um, it inspired um, uh, uh, kind of Indiana Jones. It inspired, it inspired gem hunters around yeah. the world. 499, incredible. Stunning, isn't it? Not done. Oh my gosh. Absolutely brilliant. Not done. 70 carats in total. I think that with this, it's, you know, silver, rose gold, yellow gold, it goes with all of it. I think the, the more yellow gold, the better, because it's kind of got that Mayan look to it, doesn't it? Yeah. You see, I, whatever, whatever your preference is, I think it's going to go with this. Yes. Because you're saying, you're saying you'd like the yellow gold with it. Ollie's saying he'd like the rose, rose gold, gold with it. I'd love silver with it. Yes. And it will look slightly different with each. Of course it will. It will, it will bring a different, a different um, personality yeah. to it. Yeah, most definitely. It I will make those colours pop in a slightly different way. Yeah. 199. Crazy. Just absolutely incredible for such a rare variety of jade. Okay. We're not done. <gasps> We have one final price. These are the last few Olmecs we have. Uh, we've got a couple of Olmec, you know, uh, uh, rings, the Ouroboros designs, which is wonderful. We've got a couple of those coming up, which is really brilliant. But as far as strands, workable strands go, this is one of the last ones we have. Please don't miss out on this today. We're at 199, it's not your deal. 30 seconds, price point is gonna go down well done you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee not that you're gonna need it you're gonna get this home look at it and go wow that is just a sensational job it really is one of our most favorite most prized varieties of jade here on jewelry maker 10 seconds we're taking the price point down for you well done everyone look at those split payments under 50 pounds Alison. I, I know <clears throat> it fetches it to with and once we've got split payments i mean it fetches things like this within within reach doesn't it well it allows it it, it enables you to um it, it kind of allows you to buy these things yeah. to it, it gives you the chance to you know makes them affordable yeah uh which okay. is tremendous valerie and susan straight through one two nine there you go. Brilliant. Split payments of 32.25. Incredible. Absolutely awesome. I do that is that. wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Maker in Lanarkshire, I can see you there, my lovely. Check out. Again, one of the lowest prices we've ever done for this incredible variety of jade. Stella in Devon, you're there. This is great to see. Well done, everyone. Maker in Cumbria, well done to you as well. We've also got the Ouroboros ring, which will go beautifully with this. Have a look at this. Oh, wow. And it's an Olmec. Yeah, amazing. Check out my lovelies. Well done. Um, Gosh, how'd you do that? We're going to do this ring next. This is... Skill again. Judith in Surrey, well done to you. We've got so much to get through. This is absolutely a deal. Okay, well done. Yeah, loads in baskets there for the final few opportunities. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous at just £129. Oh, I would be using split payments there. Mm. It's interest-free. You're not paying any more by using split payments. That's such a rarity. Quite often you end up paying 12% more or whatever it might be. But this is totally interest-free, which is wonderful. And, and you get it after you've made your first payment yeah precisely you're not having to wait yeah you don't have to wait all four of them yeah that's a very good point actually Alison. very good point yeah well done 129 pounds for you today wow. well done another one's gone that's great to see well done okay taking those details away well done everyone now we've got the ouroboros ring uh which is a beautiful piece have you got that slide that i got with the ouroboros on that's that would be useful to see wow wow so special yeah this is a really special piece um to carve a to carve a flat piece of jade or a flat gemstone is one thing <clears throat> to carve a bangle is something else 
but to carve a what is a miniature bangle it's yeah. a ring is incredible now you can wear this as a ring it's not going to be particularly comfortable it's actually not the way it's meant to be worn but if you want to wear it as a ring then you can do but you can see because of the the width of the amount of jade that it force it's going to make your fingers splay a little bit so if you want to wear it as a thumb ring an archer's ring you absolutely can do but you're actually meant to it's, it's kind of a lot of people do wear these as pendants um the 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 Ouroboros oh, is the oldest, one of the oldest symbols of, uh, sorry, in alchemy. The Ouroboros in this context represented the concept of eternity and endless return, as well as the unity of time's beginning and end. Um, it's interesting, before the show, uh, myself and Michael were talking about the Ouroboros design, and he was saying he's seen quite a few people with tattoos of the Ouroboros design. And also, when you start researching it, <coughs> this kind of symbol, this kind of idea of either a dragon or a serpent eating its own tail is in almost all ancient civilizations, mm. whether it's Nordic, whether it's Egyptian, Celtic. whether it's uh, South American. We have it in the Celtic. It, exactly. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? This kind Amazing. of Ouroboros design is just, is it, it, or, or idea is absolutely everywhere, whether it's a serpent, a dragon, you know, whatever it might be. This one almost looks like it's a bird, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Single figures available. Single figures available. It's beautiful. I would just put this, you know, you know, a lark's head knot and, and literally yeah. wear it as a pendant. I, I, it's such a beautiful piece, isn't it? It's stunning. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I would just pop a chain through it, like you say, or a lark's head, and it's going to look incredible. Yeah, to carve into a, to carve onto something which is flat is one thing, but to carve onto something with a curve, which is this size as well, yeah. which is also harder than steel. That's crazy. This ring here, which is gorgeous, by the way, this is a carved <coughs> sterling silver ring. This is sterling silver, which is one of the world's most, well, not the most pliable, <coughs> but one of the most pliable, workable, changeable metals. What you've got here is harder than steel. We're at 299. Now, this is a carved rock crystal. That's going to be like a clear quartz or a white quartz, something like that. Amazing. So we've got, Alison, you have carved... Yeah. As part of your kind of 12 o'clock kits, <clears throat> the Howlite. And um, yeah, look at this incredible Howlite. And oh, sorry, what was the other day? Oh, that was oh, a Labradorite. The, no, it's um, Appetite. Oh, Appetite, of course it is. Yeah, it's an Appetite. And ap a sunflower onto the Appetite, which is just gorgeous. And then onto this gorgeous Howlite piece. Look at this. A beautiful mushroom. It's so good, Alison. It works so well with the, with the sort of slight veining in it, doesn't it? It, but this is this is a lot softer. I mean, it's not a soft stone. I think it's about a seven, a six or seven. So what's the jade like to carve on by comparison? Horrendous. <laughs> I've had a go at jade. I, I can cannot get... I mean, the depth I've got on that, on that um, mushroom, which is nowhere near the depth they get in on those carvings. Yeah. And, and that is just so hard, the patience and the skill level to do that, because, yeah, it, it's, it's phenomenal. It's We've incredible. got a 30-second clock, and then we're going to be giving you um, a lower price. We're at 199. We're going to give wow. you the lowest possible deal today. It is absolutely gorgeous. The quality, the translucency. Yeah. Just check out this translucency. It's so gemmy got such incredible clarity to it and translucency it's absolutely wow beautiful. look at that it's just gorgeous isn't it beautiful ready sue in edinburgh maker in greater london well done to you oh blimey there we go all the way down four left jane in county durham well done to you as well uh, 149 wow <sighs> that is amazing you know if you put, if you, I, I mean, I, Ollie, I've, I've done, I've done that with, with the bigger ones as well, with the smaller bangles. What made a scarf? As, as a kind scarf, of, yeah. Mm. You know, pop like a, a woggle on a scarf. Yeah, um, but as a, as a, a pendant, as a connector. 
We've also it's said, funny. yeah, connect is a nice idea. We've yeah. also said as well, this could be the ogle for your, um, for, for a toggle. Yeah. Um, you know, with a lariat. So literally pop your CB, whatever it is through yeah. here, your Marley, your Yellow J, whatever it might be. Make a massive, great big tea bar which just feeds through here, that, you know, becomes functional, but it's also, you know, the design. Pauline and Jane and Ma uh, Maker in London, loads in baskets, and we've got two left. Oh, gosh, we, well done. We've had in the past, I don't know whether we've still got any, um, Biwa, the long ones, isn't it? Yeah, Biwa pearls. A centrally, centrally drilled, drilled. Yeah, Biwa we as your toggle. Now you're talking. Oh, how amazing would that, now what a talking. clasp. Yeah, amazing. What a clasp. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Oh, we need Whatever that. you put in between that clasp is, is uh, irrelevant. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. A Jade and Pearl necklace, like. whatever. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's this. So over allocated. Nicolette, wow. check out my lovely in Surrey. Loads of you there. Well done. <gasps> One chance remaining. Oh my well gosh. done. Okay. Gorgeous. Check out your baskets. Well done. Okay. That is amazing. Okay. We've got. Um, I don't have that lovely. Oh. Ooh, that sounds good. King is looking for it. Here she comes. Oh, look. Oh, <gasps> wow. <sighs> that is gorgeous. <gasps> All of that. All of that. <clears throat> Let's say you're a collector of jade. You love your red, your black, your blue, your lavender, your pink. You mix it all together. White, mix it all together. Oh, that, oh, that would look lovely. Isn't that just gorgeous? That is sunshine. That's spring, it's summer. Yeah, it reminds me of marigold flowers coming out. Absolutely. That rich colour, isn't it? Yes, it's that vibrant, wow. very, very hot kind of yellowy orange, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. Sunflower yellow. Oh, perfect. That's a nice <laughs> that's a nice um that's a nice Im um, image there. We're at 299. Look, there's only five chances available. We're gonna go as low oh as we God. possibly can today. Um love it with the Olmec. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah, these could be your marker beads. Uh, yeah. yeah, with your... You with could your, make um, a beady bead. Oh, uh, McMala. Nice. Do you imagine a, a jadeite beady bead? Yeah, Whoa. I love that idea. Look at it with this as well. Oh, nice. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. Gorgeous. Stunning, aren't they? Oh, they're not going to be real. That's type B. Yellow jade and diamond dangle earrings and 18 karat white gold, three grand. Ooh. That is going to be type B. That just doesn't... I mean, <coughs> they're lovely. They're gourds. They're really nice, aren't they? Um, that just looks too clear. I don't know whether they're... Whether, well, it, whether, well, whether it's type A or type B or type Z, it, you know, it, 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 it's irrelevant really, isn't it? Yeah, it's type A. Four opportunities. Ready? Steady. Here we go. <gasps> One, four, nine. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Sunshine. Wow. In a strand. Makers, Amazing. we've got you there. Well done. Check out with the red. Yeah, nice one, Stella. Yeah. Absolutely good. gorgeous with your red. Beautiful. Um, love, love that idea. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. 60. With that 60 hessenite. carats in total. With that, Isn't that beautiful? Mm. With the hessenite from earlier. Yes. Oh, the now that would be amazing. Hessenite. Yeah, with the hessenite. Oh. Love that idea. Can you put it with those big ones as spaces? What big ones, Alison? Oh, how can you not see those, Carol? <laughs> what big I ones? Can... Easy to overlook. What, these? Oh my gosh. Swappy, swappy. I love those. <gasps> <clears throat> Go on. 
you remember I made the little fairy people and they have a, a they have a, a, a head which is usually a gem. How about a jade one? <gasps> oh, I need to do Oh, that. hello. Oh, that's Two, four, beautiful. six, eight, ten. Ten wow. on the strand. Ten gurus. Ten markers. Ten collection defining gems. Yeah. Look at the size you've got here. These are 19, 19 millimeters in size. Absolutely immense. It makes you wonder what size the rough is for this, Alison. Oh my it? God. I mean, yes. can you actually imagine Wastage. how large the rough will be? It is an incredible strand you've got here today. My gosh, I don't even know how to describe that color. Is it green? Is it blue? Is it is it that lovely ice white? Mm. What is it? It's just it's it's beautiful. It's that hint of yeah, isn't it? That hint of yeah. If you look at the recording, it's got that lovely shade of uh, kind of green going through it as well, which is just beautiful. Um, That there, that's two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of jewellery right there. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Over-delivering again. We are under-promising and over-delivering with this incredible strand. Yeah. Rupal has already taken one. There's, I can imagine there's not another strand like this in the world. No. We've had one in the big... Big super duper necklaces with the big sliders, yeah. with this big magnetic magnetic clasp. clasps. So we yeah. had one of those in the centre of that brace uh, necklace, but wow, oh, how an amazing strand! Three nine nine. That's forty pounds a bead. Wow, how many carats a bead? Sixty two carats each. Sixty two carats. Yeah, if there's each ten on gem. there. Yeah, that's you know a carving carats. carat weight. <laughs> Two nine nine. Wow. I'm interested. It might, it might, I don't know. We've got a minute clock. Seven opportunities. Marion, you can go for it, my darling. This is not going to sit on here properly, but anyway, let's just give it a bit of a... Oh, gosh, come here. This might not sit properly. Try tying not... it in a knot. A loose knot. Try tying it in a knot? No, a loose knot. Just... You must be joking. There you go. I can't, I can't even measure. I can't, it's, it's literally no. not sitting properly on the um on the scales it's so big uh, it is abs oh look at this seven opportunities wow. remaining oh my word it's just electrifyingly good isn't that gorgeous look another one's gone yeah there you go huge impressive statement beads have, have you noticed on on tv though a lot of people are wearing that. So um, Esme from the Sewing Bee yep. often wears big statement beads. Interesting. Um, Ollie was saying... Um, Prue from Bake Proof Off. On Bake Off. Yeah. Wearing big statement beads. Valerie in Somerset, well done to you. Jane in Worcestershire, well done to you. Four chances remaining. Well done. That is absolutely incredible this kind of look is normally going to be an acrylic necklace or yeah. a or a fake you know a, a, it's a, a man-made a man-made bead what you've got here is type a natural jade yeah look at this gorgeous necklace that lovely prue uh, leaf is wearing look at this <clears throat> there wow. she is that's a big bead big bead big one big Just bead. One, yeah stunning Valerie, well done to you. Alexis, Maker, Sandra, there's loads of you there. Three chances remaining. Well done. Alexis, check out, my lovely. <clears throat> well done, everybody. Three opportunities in the building. That is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, that's just stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done. Wow. Now, that's coming crazy. up... We have got a beautiful selection of rounds coming up. We've got different gemstones, different sizes. <coughs> it's going to be absolutely Sorry. brilliant. Do not that will go anywhere. 40 seconds. 
And then we're taking the details away. Janice in Lincolnshire, you can have it. I believe we've still got two chances remaining. Get it. Go, go, go. Maker, well done to you. Go, go, go. Well done. One chance remaining. Yeah, with the yellow next to it, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Buttermilk, kind of melted butter yellow. Oh, God. Beautiful. It's bright, isn't it? Because yeah. those yellows aren't tiny beads. Nope. And yet. <laughs> wow. Don't go anywhere. Our, our most popular shape, our most sellable shape. We could literally survive just on this particular shape rounds wow we have got the most amazing selection of rounds coming up after the break buying with jewelry maker couldn't be easier here's a quick overview of how to get involved when you see a product you like and you want to purchase you will see the graphics appear on the screen you'll see the item code and a starting price as time goes on you'll see the price drop and as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Tarry here. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
jewellery makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. <laughs> Round, round, get around, I get around. All rounds. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Silver colour coated hematite. Hello. Brand, brand new hematite. Silver colour coated. Absolutely gorgeous. Six mil rounds. Here we jolly well go. We've got so much coming up in this hour. It is absolutely obscene the amount of different uh, uh, kind of um, sizes we've got, the colours we've got, the rarities we've got. This is brand new. All the way down under. £17.99 pence. Are you ready? Fourteen ninety-nine. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine pence. Oh yeah, amazing. Lots and lots and lots of you there coming through. Well done. As quickly as you can. An amazing effort, an amazing deal. I know, with this gorgeous kind of um platinum colour that you've got here. Not your deal today. Let's go even lower. Come on. Linda, well done to you, 12 99 Absolutely awesome. Guess what? 30 second clock. <clears throat> brand new strand. It's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. Oh, the brand new strand. Brand new strand. A bubba da ba da be died o ba da ba da ba dee. Not your deal. We're going lower. Hey? It's a brand new strand, Alison. It's a brand new strand. Oh, da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba. Here we go. Where do you think we're going to go? $9.99. No. Nope. Really? Brand new strand, $7.99. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Guess what? Not your deal. <gasps> boom. Boom, boom, oh. boom. Chris, John, Lynn, David. David's got six. Oh my gosh, this is going nuts. Alexis, Chris has got two. John's got two. Check out. Believe you or not, you're going to want more than six of these, David. You're going to want to get tens. This is going down, down, deeper and down. Absolutely incredible. It's that magic six mil again, isn't it? It's that magic size, it's that magic wow. shape, it's that magic. You're absolutely right. Zena, Mary, Jerry, well done to you. What price are you thinking? 6 99 No. 5 99 $4.99. What? Surely not. What? Ready? Definitely not. Steady. Enjoy. Here's your deal. Four ninety nine. I know. Seventy eight chances. They are absolutely flying. Go, go, go. I did say. I did say. You're not going to want to get six. You're going to want to get ten. Go, go, go. Fastest fingers first. Zena's got two. John's got four. Sharon's got two. Tina's got two. Chris has got two. Every single person has multi-bought. This is so good. Well done. Loads in baskets. Check your baskets out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. £4.99. Such a useful strand. Such a useful gem. Fabulous. Silver colour-coated hematite. It's like a sterling silver strand of spaces, yeah. isn't it? But you've also got that hematite weight behind it. That that I love the, the, the hematite, the metallics. I love that... Um, you feel like you're wearing it. I mean, I use these as well, a lot with seed beads to give it that weight, to, yep. to sit in that nice right. position. But I love it. You really experience it, don't you? As oh, you say, you gosh, really feel yeah. like you're wearing it, which is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Sandra, Joyce, Chris, Ray, Maker, Angela, Maker, Cynthia, Sandra. 
Go, go, go. Four pounds and 99 pence. Well done to absolutely everyone coming through. Go, 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 go. Well done. Okay, next. Let's move on. What number's that, love? Is it on the tea bar Yeah. Four mils. Rose quartz. The gem of love, of romance, of partnership, of friendships, of self-love. Oh, yeah. There you go. Love yourself. You need to love yourself before anybody can love Ooh. you. Oh, baby, Four baby. Mil. 12 99 You are smack into the, into the stretchy bracelets. Well, that's it. A, 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 four, so a, it. a four mil round has yeah. just got... You see, I, let's say an eight mil round. I probably wouldn't make a stretchy bracelet for my daughters out of eight mil rounds. But out of four mil rounds, I would wear it. And I know yeah. they would wear it as well. Yeah, it's absolutely. that ideal size, yeah. isn't it? Bought this for my granddaughter uh, to oh. make teacher gifts. Oh, what sweet. A lovely idea. Yes, love that. At prices like this, why not? Do you know what? $6.99 is not your deal. I know, for genuine rose quartz, absolutely beautiful quality. Yours today, we're going lower. All the way down, £4.99. Just get it. Wow. Just go. Well done, everyone. So pretty. It's a go, go, go. Well done. Go, go, go. Julie Maker, wow. Ray, Sandra, absolutely fantastic. And what I love about this, it's got that consistency of tone all the way through it as well, hasn't yeah. it, Alison? Yeah, it has. It's very, very pretty. Well done. You could, I mean, you could put this with so many different things, any mm. precious metal as well. Ollie's just made the suggestion of Amazonite, which I think is a lovely suggestion. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. suggestion, Love it. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. Oh, Mr. Colour Coated really? Hematite. Oh, hang on. Number one, eight. <gasps> love this this is gonna fly mm. go with your mermaid quartz yeah go with oh gosh silver hematite. look at this oh starting at 9.99 how can we wow. be starting there look at it with the silver <coughs> color coated hematite we bought you just a few moments oh ago. yes there it is baby i know right how incredible is that your deal today Coming up in 50 odd seconds, 9.99 is not your deal today. Such a wonderful grounding gemstone. And with this gorgeous mystic color coating here, you get that really lovely magic element to it. Kirsty's through, Cynthia's through, well done to you. Here we go. Less than 40 seconds, we're taking the price point all the way down. Lots and lots and lots of you there, well done. You are getting the ultimate deals here today. Crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy deals. Absolutely brill. Well done, everybody. When's the last time we've done a whole hour of rounds? I know. That's a really good point, actually, yeah, Alison. Um, rounds yeah. are so pleasing, aren't they? They're yeah. punctuation marks. They offer a full stop to your jewellery. They can break your jewellery up. They can yeah. create a centre point. They can be, they can use, you can use them as spaces. They are multi, multi-talented shapes, aren't you, they? Yeah, absolutely. Use them in the middle of your, of your um, Viking knit. Use them in your chain mail. They go Lovely. in your chain mail. Bubble style. Yes. You know, they are rosary linked. Yeah. Beautiful. 4.99, Sharon's taken two. Muriel, oh. maker. Cynthia Kirsty, well done to you, my lovely. Four pounds, 99 pence. Wow. Amazing. People with multiples in their baskets. Love Kerry that. and Ray, well done to you. Check out. Do you know what? We're going to squeeze a star by in. We're going to oh. do it right now. I adore this gem. This is blue. This is, um, this is fluorite. You've got amazing colours here. What I want to do, I'm just going to hold this strand up. Look at the bi-coloured qualities you are getting wow. there. I mean, not all of them are going to be bi-coloured, but the ones that are, are literally off the scale. Look at that one. Wow. I love this. Absolutely love it. It's, fasc it's fascinating with it being fascinated. Look at that, look at that, look at we, that. The greens. Was, you got a blue one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking, Ollie. 
It is wow. like an Olmec, isn't it? That's this gorgeous. will fluoresce. Do you know what? I did have... <clears throat> I don't know. It might not be because... Uh, is this the UV one? Well, it is, but it, uh, the batteries aren't particularly good know. in it, so it might not work as well. <laughs> well, it is glowing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> wow. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? The That's most gorgeous stunning. fluorescence coming out of that this purpley stone. one Beautiful. there. Wow, it's got. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful quality you're going to be getting wow. there. Take this out into daylight. It's going to absolutely mm. love it. We had a gorgeous fluorite kit yesterday, by the way, with lovely Linda. This is going to be a wonderful addition to that kit. Faceted rounds. You don't see very much faceted fluorite no, either, do no. you? It's nice to see the return of this. Kind of almost checkerboard, it. faceted quality here. It's just working so well. Denise has got two. Jane, Susan, Nicolette, Lisa, Maker. Nine ninety nine. Great. Not your deal. We're going to go <gasps> even lower for you today. Absolutely oh, incredible. Oh yeah. Quality. Monica West Sussex. Well done to you. Cynthia County Durham. Well done to you. Absolutely gorgeous. We're at nine ninety nine. Chris. Well done to you as well. This is utterly, utterly, Stunning. utterly brilliant. Oh my gosh, what would you do with this, Alison, to really make the most of that gorgeous kind of fluorescence? Well, I'd want to separate it. I think I'd probably, I'd probably rosary link it. Nice. I think it would look stunning. Yeah, From... I think rosary linking this, it gets as much light into the yeah, gem as yeah, possible, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Gorgeous. In earrings, Six... it look amazing. Six Sorry. pounds ninety nine. What? Oh my Not that gosh, quality. that's way too low. Lisa's that's taken three, crazy. Kent's got three, Chris has taken two, uh, yeah. Susan's got two, Denise has got two. I don't think I've ever seen such incredible fluorite at prices no. like this. This is absolutely no. amazing. I can't believe how much blues we're getting in there. Yeah, and how many of the bicoloured ones as yeah, well, yeah. Alison? I'm really struck by that. And they're, they're sort of like... Um, quite a few of the bicones seem to be a greeny. From 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 where I am, they they kind yeah. of a green and purple. <clears throat> yeah. Stunning. Absolutely yeah. Oh, look stunning. at that recording as well. I, I yeah. don't know if they can... Sorry, darling. That's okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, your beauty, your absolute beauty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, uh, half the stock's gone. We've got loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. Go go go. Loads and loads and loads of you coming through. 20 odd opportunities remaining. It is flying. Rita's just come through. So is Jill in Bedfordshire. You see, Alwyn's taken two. Catherine in Lanarkshire. Well done. I'd be looking at that to go with the, the appetite I've got in the kit after. Oh, perfect. It would go great with that. Don't you think as well you've got a wonderful gemstone here for spring? Yes. Yes. Fresh, colourful, bright. Airy, gorgeous. Eight opportunities remaining with about 30 in baskets. That's crazy, isn't it? Well done. Go, go, go. Okay. Yes. Where's that? Sorry. Oh, my gosh. A metre? Oh. A metre of red garnet. Oh, you are kidding. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? <coughs> I just love fluoride. So do I. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at this bad boy, one metre, wow, of garnet. Oh, nice. Yeah, a metre. This is your proper kind of, oh, <laughs> your berry? proper kind of um, berry, yeah, yeah, Merlot kind of colour. A bit like, um, you know, this is what I expect to see with pearls. This is your kind of Tudor Elizabethan kind of combination, nice. isn't nice. it? <clears throat> like your knot garden, mm. you know. Um, oh, we had some of the um, is it vivid um, green angelite. Appetite. Angelite, sorry, not appetite. angelite. I put this with it. This what a lovely a idea! Nice. Yeah, putting something really rich and deep and dark with your um, vivid green angelite. Yeah. Lovely combination. Would go beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. And like you say, you've got that. Um, yeah, Elizabethan, it, or, or, or even back to Henry VIII time. And, yeah, and Tudor. Tudor. Yeah. I'd love to see, do you know what I'd love to see as well, Alison? I'd love to see a, um, like a, a cross pendant or something like that made with oh, pearls, yellow beautiful. gold and, the, um, and, and these garnets. I think that Ooh. would be beautiful. 
Janice, yeah. Cynthia, Olwyn, well done to you. Fourteen ninety nine oh on God. a really long necklace. Yes, where they have them, you know, and they were almost, almost on their navel, really. Yeah, absolutely. They? Yeah, Beautiful. definitely. Almost like a rosary bead yeah. kind of quality. Oh, a mala with this would be beautiful <gasps> as well. Yes. Linda, well done to you as well. You're getting well over 100 beads on this strand. It's absolutely incredible. Well done for one metre of your gorgeous garnet rounds. Well done. Go, go, go. 0800 644 655. Lots of people coming through to get this. Well done, everyone. Isabel in Gloucestershire, I can see you there as well, my lovely. Lots of you there. Well done to you. I love that. Okay, we've got a four-strand bundle coming up next. You know what, stuff it. We're going to make it into a um, into a star buy just purely because there's so many strands in the bundle. Let's do it. Let's go. Four strands Ooh. we go together like oh beautiful oh I'm thinking green aventurine oh. green diadonics lapis lazuli aquamarine Oh, gorgeous. When they say all shades of green go together, that's absolutely right. But all shades of blue, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they do. See, I'd, I'd bubble style that and I'd ombre it. <sighs> that would look amazing. It would be incredible. Mm. Off the back of your gorgeous mookite oh, selection yeah, yeah. that yeah. you ombre and made, I would absolutely agree with you. I think that these would be the most beautiful ombre uh, pieces. When you've got, you know, the sizes, which are pretty much all the same yeah. size, it says that the aquamarines are four <coughs> mil. I don't think they are. I think they're closer to the six mil. Um, but when you've got roughly the same size, same shape, but you've got the opportunity to ombre, that is just going to look, oh, that's going to look beautiful, isn't it? We did it with the mermaid strands. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it looked incredible. I bet it did. Yeah. Did you go from kind of warm to cool or did you go, did you do all the greens together? Yeah. All the blue? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I sort of did a rainbow. Oh, but Alison. Was, I think we had 14 colours. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Wow. I'm sure it was, it was more, it was more than rainbow amount. But th this... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse all me. Right. Again. This would look equally beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Well, you've got, I mean, would you start with the aqua, then go to the green aventurine, then go to the green onyx, then go to the lapis? Or Yeah, and then you're back to your, to your aqua. Yeah, I think that would be a nice, yeah. nice kind of, um, a nice uh, order to do them in. It's entirely up to you, though. Oh, you know, yeah. it's such, you, and just, if, if, look, if you're just starting off making your jewellery, make them into a load of stackers. Make them into just stacker mm. bracelets. That green is the colour of malachite. You know, you've got really kind of prestige. <coughs> tones in there I would you know consider just making loads of stretchy stackable bracelets and of course what's so nice about doing that is that in if in six months time you decide you want to make something else with it and take it apart and remake it that's the, that's the beautiful thing about making jewelry yeah. is that you're not afraid to take it apart and make it again that's absolutely brill 24.99 for you today wow. well done it's not your deal we're gonna go even lower but that's just over six pound a strand Hey, that's just over six pound a strand. I know. Six pound twenty five a strand. It's not your deal. We're going to go even lower. Here we go, everyone. Go, 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 oh go, go. Well done. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. What an opportunity. Fourteen ninety nine. What's that? Three pounds. How is that a thing? Green onyx, lapis, aquamarine, green wow. aventurine, yours today for £14.99. It's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everybody. And again, you've got those gorgeous spring colours in there. Yeah. If you want to add anything else to this, I'd probably go, I'm just looking through my box of my boxes of items. I'd probably go maybe for an orange or the lovely honey yellow jade that we bought you nice. earlier on. Nice, yes. That might be a nice kind of Ooh, the option. Oh, the there or the, or the honey... Um 
Yeah. Yeah. Or even the, the rose, rose quartz. Yeah. Yeah. There. What a lovely idea. You, we're see. back to that. We're back to that English country garden, aren't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got so much Blue opportunity bells. to add to this and really kind of take it that one step further mm. and take it into whichever direction you like. Well done. £14.99. Now, we do have a load of other pieces to bring you as well. Um, <clears throat> 14.99 is your deal. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, you're only paying your 3.95 P&P per order. That is just gorgeous. Which one should we do? The Angelite? Oh, we've got some. Yeah. What These are big. Color? What color? Oh, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> Ready? Oh, they're stunning. The most beautiful. Wow. Blue angelite. Um, this is a gem of the angels, a gemstone if you want to feel closer to your guardian angels or, or, or closer to somebody maybe who's passed on. Um, <clears throat> we quite often say this, but it is absolutely true. So many of us believe just by looking at this it is kind of like the blue jade i've got this i'll yeah. pick up any of these pieces here they're just incredible look at that oh look at those two together how complimenting is that beautiful doesn't that just look beautiful together they're the same sort of tonal range aren't they i yep. think it's tonal yeah they're just beautiful it's that yep. tranquil it's that tranquil range that sleepy kind of yeah. color that daydream kind of color it's absolutely beautiful. These, believe it or not, are 10 millimeter rounds. They are huge. They are. Diane and Janice, you're already through. This is great to see. Now, you may have seen Angelite before on Jewelry Maker, but I have to say, the prices we're used to doing Angelite for, you know, at 30 quid, that is a that is a really, really, really great deal for Angelite of this kind of size. It's a very, very um, a rare gemstone. It's completely natural. To be able to get this for anywhere near £30 is utterly, utterly brilliant. Okay? Get involved when you can. 0800 644 655. 250 carats in total. Absolutely beautiful. But we're not done. We're going to go even lower for you today. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that colour. It's that... like a it's like a blue sky colour, isn't it? It, it is. It's that... It, it, it's almost... You know how you get fluffy clouds? Mm. Well, this is like the fluffy blue, soft. Oh. And you could just lean back into Float it. Float away. Yeah. Do you know what my mum always says? If there's enough blue in the sky to, to, to sew a sailor's shirt, it won't rain. And she's <laughs> always absolutely right. You look up at the sky like and you think, that. oh, you know, no, that's too, too blue. No, that's too, that's too grey or whatever. But yeah, if you can see enough blue to, to stitch a sailor's shirt, then, uh, then it's not going to rain. And she's always... I like right. that. Right, she's right about everything, my mother. Uh, Janice, well done to you. <laughs> See, even though she's very, very short. Uh, $16.99, an amazing deal. Linda's got this maker in Lincolnshire. Rita, maker in Manchester. Dumfries, Diane, Elaine, well done to you. Absolutely brilliant at £16.99. Isn't that just glorious? It's like opening a window, isn't it? It is. I tell you what, Fresh if you've got those 19 mil jadeites earlier, oh, gosh, this would yes. go beautifully with Yeah, them. those enormous, yeah, that would, that would work mm. so well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow. Right, okay. We've got a very special little selection for you oh. now. Ooh. <gasps> We've got all of the tools coming up in the 12. It's just ridiculous. We thought that it was going to be about this incredible uh, tool bench work holder. Uh, no. Uh, we've literally got so many tools added into the 12 o'clock hour. It is incredible. Yeah, so that's your workbench. To, um, sorry, yeah, your tool, your workbench work tool. holder. Tool. Yes, workbench work, yeah. work holder tool. There we go. <laughs> so that's going to be coming up in the next hour, which we're really excited about with loads of other incredible tools. But before we do that, We've got a little selection of incredible master carvings. <gasps> you are going to love this because we've got the original, the original dragon lady with us because she loves her dragons. I do. 
we've got dragon carvings. Do you know something? This is so exciting. Um, Alison, when, when we bought all those dragon carvings to wear the other day, yeah. um, and you had all those details about the different types of dragons. I, I hadn't know. I hadn't realised how many different types of dragons there actually are. So there were nine of the oriental dragons. Yeah. And they all come from um, different places and different regions have different, different ones, different elements. Some work together. Some, uh, most of them are, are male, but there's the odd ones that are couples. And I thought, lovely. I loved looking into it all. I, I think really what did. struck me as well is that you've got dragons which are associated with the earth, yeah. ones associated with water, water. With the air. But also, one thing you were saying as well is that none of these dragons are meant to be kind of fierce. No. They're, no. they're all meant to be really auspicious, positive. really positive. Yeah. A bit like a big brother, like a really protective... Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, the kind of, uh, yeah, really protective influence. I think that's the biggest difference between the West and the East. Dragon. Yes, we because think of, oh, in the West we all think, oh, George scary, battling a burning, fire you, you know, burning yeah. and all that sort of stuff. No, they are actually protectors. Yeah, incredible. Oh, oh is that gosh, that one? Amazing. Is this the one we're starting with? I have to say, this is one of my all-time favorite carvings. I'm gonna show you the back very quickly so you can see the drill hole, just to show it does have a drill hole. Ah. Ah, thank you, Alison. Oh, Why? Oh. I couldn't resist putting a dragon on, onto the bookmark. It was, but this is just so, so inspira inspirational. These carvings, to me, of what... Well, when we've done the gemstone carvings, that's what's made me have a go at gemstone carving. I, it doesn't surprise me at all, Alison. So inspirational. You know when you see... OK, graphics are live. Best of luck, everyone. Wow. This is going to sound like a very <coughs> odd thing to say. You know when you see a diagram yeah. of a baby in utero and you see oh, yeah, it yeah. kind of in, inside the mum and it's all Still curled good. up and yeah. kind of, you know, whatever, and it's kind of doing all this kind of stuff with its arms and legs and, and it just looks like a little bit of an alien, really, kind of from the outside. <laughs> but, but it's all kind of curled up in that yeah. really safe little womb. What I love about this dragon is it's like that swirling element again. Yeah. It's like it's contained, but barely contained. Yeah. Because you've got this beautiful scalloped edge to this carving. But can you see how it, it fills that to, to absolute capacity? Fiercely guarding the golden coins, the golden pearl as well. It is fiercely guarded. I mean, it's yeah. just so beautiful. Look at its tendrils, mm -hmm. its incredible moustache, its whiskers. And its, its eyes. Its eyes, yeah. Eyes are amazing. And he's just, it's almost like you can hear him. Oh, yeah. You can hear that roar. Look at that beautiful tail. Look at the gorgeous yeah. scales you're getting there. The detail is absolutely superb, uh, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is. I, I mean, I can only aspire to, to, to get a fraction of the skill, a fraction of the skill they take to carve these. I mean, they're just, it's sharp, it's crisp. Yeah. Look at the coins, the lines on the coins are so beautiful. And That's we're back it. to what Ollie said before. It's not a straight line amongst them. There's beautiful curves, perfectly done. It's, it, it, it's just amazing. All the, all the um, I'm going to call it a doily edge around yeah, the side. Yeah, I like that, like a frilly. But edge. they're all perfectly the same depth. I think as well. well you know, it's just, oh. What you were saying earlier on as well is the depth of the relief you're yes. getting here. Alison has managed to kind of etch into one piece of jade with the howl like we've got later on. She's managed yeah. to go really quite deep and get that great relief. That is not an easy thing to achieve. That's not an easy thing to do. But look at the depth yeah. of relief. Yeah. That depth is so much 
just by just up so, just above that coin in between his head and the coin there. that bit there yeah that almost goes through the entire piece of jade it is so impressive so that's that's that deep good grief that's that's at least five mil deep and of course what that means oh, is yeah you put this in a window this is just amazing. you put this in a window you put this you hang this somewhere yeah. it is going to look in Incredible. Look at it with the lights. Oh my I love it. gosh. They it's so amazing. come to life when you when incredible. You put them light. It's almost like um because of course you've got all the shadow theatre and everything, and oh, I wonder gosh, whether that comes into the way yes. they design. Yes. Does that make sense? What a beautiful thought that is. Yeah. I love the shadow puppet mm. theatre. Um, my, my daughter um, did some puppet theatre for a production that she was oh, in, and she was, and she was, um, she was a boat, <laughs> and, and she was holding on a stick, <coughs> a, a oh, right. piece of black paper, uh, and um, and it was just, it was so yeah. beautiful, it was so moving to see. But you're absolutely right; it is like shadow puppet theatre. It? It's just, it's like shadow puppetry. It's absolutely beautiful. Because in, in daylight or, or artificial light, they're incredible. They're amazing. They really but, are. And, and you do get personality. We've talked about the personality of these dragons before. I love them. Um, but as soon as you put that light behind it, I mean, I showed John, um, I've got one of the what's the name lights at home that we sold, you know, the... I want to say Carson, but it's not Carson. No, I can't remember. I can't remember. Called. Go on. Um, and I held it up to there and he's like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it, it is so um, I just translucent, isn't it? Yeah, I'm working on a, on, on a way to display them. They're just Four incredible. seconds. Price points going down from two nine nine, and it's like this, you know, the carrot weight, the price, yeah. it's pretty much irrelevant yeah. because it's a piece of art, and it's priceless. It is priceless. Your deal oh, today. Look at this, and look how oh, no. Alison's used that drill hole very simply. One, yeah, just popped it on nine it. nine. Oh, Neri, I love that image you just found there. Isn't that you lovely? Think, you think Chinese New Year? Yeah lanterns and I, I don't know when the lantern festival is i for feeling it might either it's either in february or it's in october it's one of the two but the chinese the lantern, lantern festivals festival. look at this incredible dragon lit from within it's exactly what you're going to yeah. see from oh the light <gasps> from within it's oh my exceptional gosh. oh my gosh it's wow look at the clouds round his feet um, round by the bottom of his, yeah. of, his of the undulation. Gosh, that is that is a, 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 a these kind of craftsmen. They, they are so oh, talented. So so talented. Sue in Edinburgh, Susan in Essex. Well done to you. We're at one nine nine. An amazing deal. Mm. Well done to you. <gasps> wow. I love I love that they're individual. We're not done. Wow. Say again. I love their individual because yours is slightly different to mine. They're you you know they're handmade we were also saying as well weren't we Alison when we've had different dragons yeah some of these dragons are a bit younger and a bit more playful some Absolutely. are older and more stoic some are you know they've all got their diff oh my gosh Neri keeps on bringing up these amazing images I just love all <laughs> these look at this Alison oh my gosh oh that's my like, gosh that is lit from within oh that is wow insane that is incredible oh my gosh our glowing dragon. Oh, Ooh. gee whiz. Okay, huge amount coming off this price. Ready? This is huge. It's this a is a big, this is a big deal. 129 pounds, 43 pounds on split pay. Just get it, go. We should not be, we should not be doing that. So this is Donna huge in Swansea, in two well ways. Done. Because it's huge as in carrot weight, but it's huge as in, huge as in quality of carving. Yeah, absolutely. It's Nicolette immense. and Surrey, well done. Quality. Yeah, this is this is wow. a tremendous mm. deal, and I mean, look at tremendous. That. Like I, I, that cannot be matched. No, you see, that is amazing. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, Em I've... in West Yorkshire, well done. Oh my gosh. So I've never tried it, <gasps> but you know we've yes. got we did the lights change colour 
LED lights, yeah. Yeah. Wonder what would happen if we put it in front of a colour change LED light. Oh, gosh, light. it would just go completely nuts. Well, this yeah. is a white jade, so it's going to potentially take on the colour of that light, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Certainly where it's thinner. Yeah, yeah. Certainly where, where the jade is thinner. Yeah. Wow. Well done. That is amazing. Wow. Chinese lantern festival. Yeah, look at these lantern festivals. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Just amazing. Oh, oh that is wow. Isn't it? Absolutely exquisite. <laughs> Janice in Greater London, M. Oh my gosh. I could look at that all day. Look at oh, that. Amazing. Look at that image. Got your very own glowing dragon. Isn't he beautiful? He's stunning. I and the image you've him. got there, which Neri's found, um, which is part of a festival. Look at his whiskers. Yeah. Look at they're like <laughs> flowing in the wind. And then you've got all <laughs> these, all these sort of they're, they're spines, but they're not spines. Whereas on ours they're almost flames. Aren't they? There's, there's feathers a almost, or yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and the carving, you've got his, his much more tendrils, organic. his yeah. eyes. You can see how focused his eyes oh, yeah. are as well. He, he, he's paying attention. He really yeah. is. He's not yeah. missing anything, is he? Kim in Hampshire, well done to you. Look at this. 15 seconds, we're taking the details away. You wait wow. until you see the next one. It is ridiculous. It's nice, isn't it? The one that Alison's made there. It's so beautiful. So simple. Yeah. Don't overcomplicate things. You don't have to with these. You don't have to at all. You absolute beauty. Look at that. Bye-bye. Oh. Are we doing this? Oh. The, oh. Right. Oh, I like this one. This is beautiful. Loving this piece. This for me has got like a crown or a crest. Yeah. Well, I you see, I'd say he's the imperial one. Oh, because of this kind of crest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree, Ollie. This is the one you found in a place of power, a place of. A place of worth, a place of worship, an important place. A sacred place. To, a sacred place, yeah. This I can imagine being the kind of thing you'd kind of, uh, you know, put up outside your house to ward off evil spirits. Oh, right, yeah, you know, yeah. You put it on your front door or kind of just by your front door. I think that's a feng shui thing, isn't it? Having dragons yeah. outside, your house, uh, outside your home. So having dragons outside temples, homes, restaurants, shops, having dragons Always. outside is meant to ward off evil yeah. and deflect those evil spirits and protect you. It's not meant to scare evil away, but it, well, it's just meant to protect you. Um, and because it's got quite a straight drill hole going through it, because of its size, its shape, I would, I can imagine that nailed to a post outside a house. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was, it's just so lovely. Very securely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But you've got these <coughs> incredible... Um, it, it makes me think of kind of the, the Western version of a gargoyle, sorry, the Eastern version of a gargoyle. Yeah. You know, we've got gargoyles on our churches, haven't we? Yeah. Which are meant to ward off evil spirits. And yeah, um, whether it's um, Notre Dame, whether it's uh, Westminster Abbey, you know, wherever mm -hmm. it might be. Um, he is a beautiful dragon. And I love it. He's in the circle of, I was just about to say that, Ollie. Yeah. Because he's in the circle of heaven and I he love is. it. He really and, is. And again, no straight lines. And look at the consistency. I've gone very much, very much when I look at these, apart from loving the dragons, but also into really analysing the details of those carvings and how amazing they are. You know, look at the this. consistency all the look way Look at that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's how thin that background is. Oh, absolutely. It, it, you know, it, it's probably paper thin. Oh, wow. how incredible is that? Isn't it amazing? Love him. Love that crest, that crown, that kind of... <clears throat> I mean, how many, how many, when they're learning how to carve, have they accidentally pierced all the way through? Oh, yeah. 
I can I mean, imagine it's it's kind of it, it, it's a regular occurrence. It's probably not the end of the day because you then clear out all the rest of them and have it have it. Yeah, that's a good point actually. You, you and I imagine feel... that before you, well, no, not not I imagine you do as yeah. a as a gem carver before you start carving into jade. You know, it's not going to be the first oh, thing that you carve. It's going to be soapstone. Yeah. Uh, which is significantly softer, um, hence the name. A very, very soft. Mm. Um, and, and you can make the most beautiful. We bought you soapstone pieces before. They're absolutely beautiful. But that's where you would cut your teeth. That's where you'd start off. I and then and only then would soapstone. you be let loose on Jade. This is, oh, this is mesmerizingly beautiful. Um, I love it. 95 carats in total. Nice big carat weight. Yeah. 38 by 45, not too, not too large. I mean, it's, what, <coughs> you know, it is large, obviously, but it's not as big as some of the other pieces we've bought. Very throughout. wearable. Very, very wearable. wearable. Yeah, very, very wearable indeed. I love the containment of this in that circle yeah. of heaven, that kind of the clean edges. And then you've got that beautiful swirling misty top as well. Gorgeous, 129 pounds, four available. Lincolnshire, well done oh. to you, my lovely. More of you there. You see, with the other one, you and you anticipate any minute now he's going to fall off that cabochon because he's squirreling around too much. That one, you know, he's secure there. He's 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 in there for the long term, and he's going to look after you. This yeah. one might might hightail it off if if he decides because he's so close to the edge. He's not going anywhere. It's like a genie in a bottle, isn't it? It is, isn't it? it? Is. It's like a genie in a bottle. Susan's got this. Well done to Geraldine. Gorgeous. Oh, that's interesting, Neri. <laughs> um, so this is a coiling dragon. Yeah, which is water. Ooh. I think they're 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 one based of the four water. great beasts in Chinese mythology. That's okay. Don't worry. I can just read it. Representing the four directions: north, south, east, and west, respectively. The green dragon represents the east, controls the rain and the wind. Um, that is, oh no, sorry, coiling dragon, sorry. It's said to live on earth and not be able to fly to the sky. It is said that the coiling dragon can control time. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Do you know what? We've got a star by coming up. Now, Susan, check out my lovely. We've literally got, I think, two left. Um, don't go anywhere. Star by coming up right now. We're doing this piece next. Look at this. Beautiful big slab. I mean, that's stunning. Isn't that lovely? You wait till you see this carving. Now, this is a, such an awesome looking dragon. One. Hey? Is that the deep one? Yeah. Look. I love this dragon. This is a funny looking. Yeah, it's really thick. This is a really funny looking dragon, as in he looks like he's... Is this the one who's juggling? He looks like he's, he looks like he's either, he could, to me, he looks like he's running. He's so gorgeous, but his eyes, he just looks so friendly. Oh, this is the juvenile one. This is the young one who's having fun. Isn't he gorgeous? He literally looks like he's somersaulting. And it looks like he's got a grin. Yeah. Look at his gorgeous yeah. eyes. They look a little bit dopey, don't they? He just looks really like he's having a great time. He's a really chilled, chilled, happy, happy dragon. Is this the cloud dragon? According to legends, he lives in the clouds and can fly through thick and thin clouds, making, can make rain. It's also a popular dragon that Chinese painters like to paint. Or is it, it's not the underworld dragon. It's not the coiled no. dragon. The winged dragon may be said to reside in the sky. Chinese legend, the winged dragon is the ancestor of dragons. It contains, sorry, controls the four seasons and descendants of the yellow emperor. He's just a beautiful he dragon, is. isn't he? He is. What I like about this, it's got this kind of like, almost this crust around the edge, which is so fine. Yeah. This edging, this kind of very fine piping. He's smiling. 
He, he is so happy. Look smiling. at his little feet. I know. Looks, it literally looks like he's running. He's just gorgeous. Look at these swirling mist yeah. and the clouds above him. Isn't that lovely? Tap dancing in the clouds. He looks, yeah, he looks like he's dancing. He's, he's beautiful. A time. It's a big piece, this one. Unusually, very rare, you can see his belly. You don't often see the belly. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. See you can see there. his, yeah, see his tum tum. He's lovely, isn't he? He's gorgeous. He's beautiful. Just looks so happy. It's he's interesting good. how this one looks so different to this one, for instance. Yeah. Now, this dragon here looks very focused, really dedicated, yeah. whereas this one's like, yeah, let's have some fun. He's just having a great time, yeah. isn't he? Party Susan. time. Party time. Susan's already through for this. I don't know if you've seen the movie The Wish Dragon, uh, but it's kind of, um, you know, it's a Disney movie and, and my kids absolutely love it. The Wish Dragon. Um, also, um, there's loads of dragon movies out there as well. Oh, there's, isn't there one called Raya and the Last Dragon or something? Yeah, my kids love that one as well. How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. There's all the dragons in Harry Potter. There's, uh, there's uh, dragons, obviously, in... Um, the Hobbit and um, yeah, is, is yeah. it the Lord Hobbit? Of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, sorry. Dragons in Shrek, which is yeah. a beautiful female dragon. There's the With dragon the in Mulan. It's, it's just it's Never just it story. Just, it's gorgeous. Why? Mm. What? You, there's so you much to like, love. Oh, with God. your dragons. How could there? you not? How could you not love a dragon? They're just She's right. amazing. Maker in Greater London, Susan in Essex, one nine nine. It's wow. not your price. Now, the price the price we're going to go to today is very low. Oh, hello! Look at his face. Isn't he? Oh, oh. isn't he beautiful? Yeah, look at the green. Yeah, yeah. Sweeping over his face and down the left, sorry, the right bottom hand side, the corner. Wow. That's very, very cool. 99. Well, again, it's showing you the depth they've carved it to and how they've used any variation in that colour for amazing. specific parts. Now, I've got a bit of news for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know how we can do this. This is bonkers. Crazy. What are we actually doing? But this is actually going lower. This is 175 carats, Alison, of yeah. dragon. I know. We're going lower. It's a sheer happy, happy dragon. I know. He's beautiful. I love him. I'm going to just... Oh, hang on. I've got the right... Uh -huh. Sorry, let me just. Oh my gosh, it says it's 175 carats here. Check this out. Right. <coughs> it's coming round. <laughs> so it says it's 175 carats. Look at what I've got here. This is embarrassing. <gasps> oh, oops. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so wrong. Look at the Almost 100 again. carats different. Oh my gosh. Talk about over deliver. Yeah. Wow, that's nearly a hundred carats extra. That is crazy. And he's dropped the price. Seventy nine ninety nine. Oh my gosh. Seventeen left. Seventy nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Aker, Marion, Valerie. Yeah, look at that. That is oh, like, yeah. that's like a quiche. It's so <laughs> thick. Do you know what I mean? Dragon quiche. There's your, there's your crust. It's like a pie. I mean, it's just nuts. Maker in Kent, Marion, Valerie, Janice, Anton, Sue, Maker, Alexis, Tracy, Maker in London, Maker in the West Midlands, Susan, Mary, Jane. It is crazy. Can we I say can... no dragons were hurt making Carol's dragon quiche? No. I promise. I gorgeous. love a quiche. Oh, I could, eat a quiche. I could eat a piece of quiche right now. Well oh, done, Maker in Kent's got two. Gorgeous. Well done to you, Mary in Cambridgeshire. Well done to you, Valerie in Aberdeenshire. Well done, my love. God love you. Absolutely brill. Go, 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 go. Because <clears throat> he's so crisp and beautifully carved again, as, as um, Michael zoomed in then, you could see all the distance from afar. Yeah. It's just incredible. Yeah. So someone's going to be across the room going, Wow, 
Look what Carol's wearing over there. She's got I know, a that's exactly under. it. Look at that. Isn't beautiful. that beautiful? Okay, two left. Well done. Loads of you there. Suja, wow. Judith, Mary, check out. That is amazing. It is a silly just price. Just a silly price, I know. That is just amazing. Gorgeous. Okay, very quickly. Let's do this very quickly in this hour. I was just because it's carved as well. Beautiful. That is your lotus flower. Oh, that's so nice. That's beautiful, isn't it? Orange jade hollow carved pendant. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous carved quality. Absolutely beautiful. This is, yeah, your lotus flower mm. quality. I would love to see this on the bottom of a necklace as a guru, as an end point. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Ollie's just suggested, you know, the trees of lives that people make, that you make yeah, as well, yeah, Alison. Yeah. You do a lotus of life or something. Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? Maker, Suja in County Durham. Nice. It's beautiful. How many of this do we have, lovely? 11. They're all over it. Look at that. Sue in Edinburgh is there as well. Well done to you, Suja. Well done to you as well. Under 100 pounds, anyone? Let's go for it. Go, <coughs> go, go. 199. 60 second clock. We're not done. Oh my gosh. What's going on? What? Love that colour. Love, I love that this. quality. Does is it me or does it does this colour? This looks old. Oh, looks right old. It looks ancient, don't you think? Yeah. I like the fact, oh, now someone said this yesterday. They like the fact it's symmetrical. Okay, yeah. It's totally symmetrical. It is totally. It's, um, not, it's not asymmetric, it's totally symmetrical, which is just great, because that means, of course, it, you know, for anyone who doesn't, you know, you don't like asymmetry, this is absolutely perfect. Very, very, very difficult to achieve. Near impossible, I would yeah. say, Alison. I, I don't even want to think about how many didn't make the grade for this incredible, no. you know, final piece. Okay, price point coming in. Seven chances left. Well done, maker. Check out your baskets. Go, go, go. County Durham, well done to you. Here we go. Price point coming in. You're going to love it. <laughs> Here we go. All the way down. Elvira, well done to you as well. 99.99. Linda in Surrey, well done to you as well, my darling. Amazing. Bonkers. I'd be using my split payments of 33, 33. Double-sided as well, great for earrings. Brilliant for earrings. Uh, for two reasons, A, because it's double-sided, and B, because it's symmetrical rather than... You know, I hate it when you get two earrings and they're both looking away, both looking to the same direction, because it takes your eye... Just the right size leaves. for an earring as nice. well, don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely brill. Well done. Loads of you there. Catherine in Bristol, you're doing brilliantly. Sue just checked out. That's great to see. She might be coming through for another one. I get two if you want to make a pair of earrings. Can I pop it up to the, uh, the lug hole? Up to Here the we hole. go. Mind the sideburns, Michael. Mind the Buddy Hollies. Here we go. Ooh. Lovely. That's, That's a, a really nice side. That is a beauty. So would you put an Almec? between it and your ear yes or would you put the um butter butter scotch what i'd do alison is i'd come to your house and i'd steal one of the black <gasps> diamonds that you bought and oh I'd you put could that. Put, oh yes i'd put it with <laughs> the black i'd not thought of putting the black diamond with that there you I'd go those but i think you must i mean they've literally gone i don't think we'll ever get them back again gee those whiz. black diamonds now yes they were amazing weren't they well done catherine in bristol well done to you oh she's bought two i really hope you're going to make earrings lovely yeah. Well done, well done. Taking those details away. Wow. Do not go anywhere. <gasps> to, I don't know how I can impress on you what the next hour is going to be like. Noisy. We're going to the <laughs> tool shed. 12 o'clock is quite literally, oh my gosh, I love that. Tool-tastic, baby. It's all coming up. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday, don't miss out, they fly. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Fantastic. <laughs> I just love it. Yes. Tools. Right. Car. Jewelrymaker.com. Click on watch live, scroll down. Check out my tools. <gasps> Ooh. Check, check. Hammers. Scissors. Goggles. Dremel workstation. Oh, oh, have you got the workstation? Tube Sorry. cutting jig. Hammer stand. Double ended stakes. Oh, love those. Disc cutters. Love those. 
The ring bender. Oh gosh, the blue horizontal reading glasses, they're amazing. Bangle gauges. Wow. Ring bender. <coughs> amazing. Honestly, just go for it. Shop till you drop. If you've got questions about any of these tools, send them in. We'll do our best to answer them. You've got one of the queens of tools over there. Um, so she, she does know a lot about <laughs> tools. If, if she can't answer it, um, yeah, just, I think, can we work out how to use this incredible tool first, Alison? You can. Um, this is brilliant. Go for it. So this is, this is, um, it's designed, you can, you can screw it into the, into the floor, you get the screws with it, so it's got three holes in the base. Fabulous nice. piece of kit. Okay. Um, it's designed so you can put your pegs, I think you get ten pegs, I've only fetched four with me. You pop your pegs in around your cabochon or whatever shape you want to use. You pop, you pop your, your um, piece in there and then you close it and it will form it will, will shuffle around. So you've got loads. You can see how big you can go. Mm. Um, this is amazing. This gives amazing. you such chance to do incredible pieces. You can also see that you get um, a void there. So for this one, which um, isn't fully finished. Uh, this was my test piece, but I got carried away with it and I nearly huh. finished it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, OK. Um, Oh, look. So to do to do your bezel setting, you can see what I'm doing with my bale. So my bales yes. are in this void. Yeah. So you can then tighten this up, and your bale's not going to be affected because you're not going to solder it once you're, you're you've got your your cabochon in there. Love that. So it means you can you can use um, your um, burnisher, your pushers, your prong setters, whatever you want to be doing while it's held securely. Nice. And it's not affecting your your side at all. No. You can you can open it up, turn it the other way, except for the bezel. You can't do that, but you can if you reposition it. So you can actually get to all points. You it doesn't have to be straight up and down. When I when I was doing the the carving, I I um I had it at both both ways so I can get quite clear quite easily. Um, to where I need to go. Now that's in a slightly different shape. I just open it up a bit more and then it fits and then I can tighten it again. It's brilliant. It's such a useful tool. It's got this little connector. Sorry, tell me when you want me to shut up. It's no. got this little connector on ball joints down there. That means it will swivel that way. Oh, it'll tip as well. It will tip. <gasps> it will tip. Oh gosh, that's so cool. It is 360 wherever you want to go. And it's not... I mean, it's, that's quite tight. I've tightened it up. So when I've moved it, <coughs> it's not coming loose. It's not as if, oh, no, I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to move it now. Do you know what I mean? It's just such a superb piece of kit. I love it. Um, I, I have to say, we've, we've done the handheld one, which yep. is wonderful. And the handheld one is great. Um, but... With, with this one, of course, you have the potential to have two free hands Yay. rather than just one free hand. So that makes it brilliant. Um, I love the versatility of this. I yeah. love that you can tip it, swivel it. Um, it is a brilliant, brilliant tool. And I think you're going to find it so useful, not just as a jewellery maker. If you're, uh, well, yes, yes, as a jewellery maker, but as a gem setter. Uh, if you make little models, yeah. if you need to hold anything really yep. nice and still. It's a bit like a handy Andy, but it does even more. Yeah, it's more secure than a handy Andy. Yeah. It's really solid. Six Fabulous. seconds. <gasps> right. These graphics, sorry, this price is obscene. Oh, obscene. Wow. Now, I don't know about you, Alison. For me... That tool there looks like a 70, 80 quid tool. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm expecting a Amazing. good price. It's, it's a solid, weighted, designed, fit for purpose tool. It is brilliant. We're not done. I mean, 
We're nowhere near our price. Now, Alison, I don't know if you know what price point this is going to, but I, I'll be honest with you, this is crazy. I think when we commission, when we ordered this, how many did we order, lovely? Oh, gosh, 200. <clears throat> well, I can tell you about over half the stock's already been allocated. If everybody checks out in the um, uh, in their baskets, it literally, I think we'll have about we'll have about 50 left. Wow. Ready, steady, go. $29.99. What? Oh my gosh, that's absolute, that's ridiculous. You... Stupid, stupid wow. price. Um, we say this every single time we bring you tools like this, but every, but every uh, tool you get like this, you buy it once. Yeah. You buy it once. Um, but what I love about this, this isn't primarily for soldering or primarily for gem setting no. or primarily for this or that or the other. This is for absolutely anybody who needs to hold things still and make jewellery, whether it's the finest ring shank yeah. uh, right the way down to that kind of aperture or whether it's the largest kind of... It, it was absolutely... Look at this. absolutely amazing. You've got your different pegs there. You've got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight of your is pegs eight, as well. It? It's absolutely brilliant. It's such a great, great, great tool. Guess what? What? Now there's uh, being competitive, which is what I think we are right now. We are competitive. And then there's wanting the complete and utter monopoly wow. on tools, which is what you're going to get here today. Whether you choose to reset a diamond into your engagement ring and, you know, you need two hands and you set the diamond in there, you know, whatever it might be, or whether it is a big, chunky bale that you want to hold, like Alison's got there. Yeah, yeah you I can. suppose you Absolutely. could, could you? Uh, yeah, so if you put your, so I assume, am I right in thinking that the, um, that the little gold ring that you get here is just to keep all the pins in place? Is that right? Um, no, I, well, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. You mean like that, don't you? Yeah. Like that. <clears throat> you can engrave on that. You can, you can smooth your edges, sand your edges. Um, you can do all sorts with it. Look at that. Look at that. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's, and and it's, it's really smooth movement, Alison. I wasn't expecting it to be so <clears throat> smooth. Look, yeah. we're at $29.99. It's, it's a ball oh, socket gosh. joint. It's a ball socket joint. It's, it's a design that's been used by cameramen and women. Yeah, the, gy the it's ages. gyros. It's, it's a gyro, beautiful. yeah. Ready, steady, go. $24.99. Boom. Honestly, that is incredible. I just love it. I love it. Absolutely wow. amazing. Your P&P. Oh, no, it's not going up. It's not going up. It's still 3.95. Yeah, I mean, it's a reasonably heavy. Yeah. That weighs, what, yeah, a kilo yeah. or so? That's, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's, you know, you're not paying any more in P&P. That's literally your one P&P. That is amazing. Absolutely incredible. So you've got this gap in the middle. You've got the gap in the middle. You can also plait with it. Oh gosh, you can use it as a to hold your so wire. You can hold it. Why are we wonderful wire idea? Plapping? So it will do all that sort of thing as well. <clears throat> and it's so com so compact. I mean, you know, basically you you, you pop your ends in there. Uh, and this then, is and then you plait with it. This is directly inspired by the GRS um, uh, uh, um, work holding vice. Yeah. Now it does come with more accessories, but it's five hundred and eighty one pounds. Yeah. We uh, we can't afford. You know, a lot of us can't afford that. Um, I get that. Good morning. Never thought oh. I'd be able to afford one of these. Thank yeah. you. I tell you what it's a bit like. It's a bit like the ball vice, but it's smaller. It's less weighty and heavy. Yeah. The ball vice is wonderful, particularly if you're a professional um, uh, jeweler. What I love about this is it's inspired by the GRS one, but it's not 581 pounds. It's our version of. And, and it's transportable. You know, some of these, you're not going to transport it. It, it, it's such a big piece of kit. You could take that on holiday. One minute clock. We're going somewhere where you're going to, you know, obviously I wouldn't take it abroad. But Alison, I, we're I, not I, done. I, we're not done. No, why? I know, it's crazy. Now this is, this literally is everything. 
We've got one more price point for you. Oh, it is crazy. Crazy. It is no. literally no. crazy. Crazy. Enjoy. How many do we have left, Neri? Oh my gosh, it is absolutely flying. Well wow. done. Enjoy. Incredible. Well done. And then, so of course you hold your gems, you set your gem, you yeah. set your turquoise into In the here. setting. Yeah. And then you, and then you pop it into the um, setting. Uh, sorry, pop it into the vise. And then you carve it with your Dremel, don't you? Yeah. I mean, that's just, <clears throat> you are. Yeah, she really is Yoda. <laughs> no. You are, darling. You, I don't know anybody else, and I'm going to say it, crazy enough <laughs> to just go, yeah, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. You are fearless. You are oh, fearless. I, I love it. I love learning. I love learning different techniques. I, to me, it's, I love it. It's fabulous. Constantly challenging yourself. Twenty one ninety nine. That's it's your price. Bonkers. Amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This, this is such a quality piece of kit. I literally, I've carved those. I've even, I mean, I started carving a piece of carnelian the other week. A lot harder, a lot harder. If I was carving jadeite with it, this is what I'd want to use because this piece of kit is so good. I've used this and I thought it's going to slack off. You know, sometimes you think, oh, if you're not paying the five hundred pounds, mm -hmm. it's gonna, it's not gonna hold it. It's, it, you know, you're twizzling it around. You're gonna have to tighten it all the time. No, this just sits there for you. And if you do need to tighten it, it's oh, one it's, screw. It's just whereas, it's an Allen key. Whereas the handy handy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many screws. Screws of screws, and it's like you, you yeah. do one up, and then the other one goes floppy, and it's kind of, you know, and and they, because um, it's so articulated. Whereas is, this, yeah. But that's, that's for different things, and it's not designed for heavy work. I would not use the handy handy to try and hold a, hold a cabochon to, no. to, to, to carve it. No. I would, I would hold it, I would use it to hold something smaller to solder it. Now, you know? if you were, <clears throat> okay, let's, let's, let's ask you this. I'm going to open this as wide as it will go. It goes big. So, Alison. Yeah. I was looking for something. I'm bigger. going yeah. to saw my bangle i'm going to carve okay. my bangle you could pop your bangle in there yeah. if you were going to saw it what would you need what would, could you saw it holding it in here or not right so what i would Just do i would hold it um where you're going to put the end you want to be sawing by the edge not right ah. on, so, so that you you've got the maximum there. hold to saw the other end you're going to have to support them both Okay, yeah, yeah, I get so, that. So I've used two vices. That's how I sawed them. I used two vices. Oh. I didn't do it. You know, you've either got to have a very big vice that, that's got the depth to take the bangle and yes. the width yes. to hold it across, or you've got to have two vices because you need right. to support where you've already split it through. If you imagine you're sawing the other one, that vibrating is a little bit. So if you've got something to hold that, there's no reason why you can't carve it in this. Okay. You see, this is just a multiple, yeah. multiple use tool. Now. Oh. Is that this? Is that, is that a, a, I want this, no. I, I haven't got what, this. What, this? Do we do, we do. So this is a, you've got the vice. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a. It's a, uh, it's got a fire it. brick. Yeah. Is that right? Is that yeah. a fire brick? It's a lazy Susan. For soldering. A rotate, for rotating and soldering. Oh, gosh, I get it. No, I need this. Alison needs this. Go on. Oh, oh, oh Alison, you look like you've, um, you look like you've got cramp there. Oh, gosh, poor Alison. Oh, no, a microphone's out. It's just, oh, dear. Poor Alison. Let's just wait. Do you know what? I might even have a crisp. You don't want a crisp, anyone? Let's just wait. So you've got your fire brick here. What's so wonderful about this? Look, if I do this, here we go. You can swizzle this around. So this is, this is I assume, I might be completely wrong here. 
I assume, so that goes on your table. This goes on here, I reckon. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I might be completely wrong. I feel really bad that I'm kind of completely wrong. And then, oh no, that's gonna be for the tweezers. Then this is your kind of turnable soldering block. Oh gosh, here we go. Right, okay. Oh, are you feeling a bit better, Alison, after yeah. that bout of cramp? Yeah, but it was, it was right <laughs> oh, dear me. Hurry up, Alison, hurry. Look, there she is. She's literally, oh, she's just, uh, there we go. Okay, Alison, you've got literally 45 seconds and we're bringing the prize point in. I can see, I can't see you. I've been after one of these for so long. Scene maker, Angie, Kate, Jackie, Josie, you're gonna have to be quick. Gail, no, Carol. Proceed, oh, come on, come on. Maker, Nicola, Maker, oh. Maker, oh. Stirlingshire, Josie in Worcestershire. You're literally against Alison Tarry here, everybody. Done, should be there, Alison Worcestershire. Sophia, no, Maker. In time, we're Valentina, Zena, Rosalind, Claire. Oh gosh, Pearl, oh, Emma, Patricia, Noreen, June, Zena, Maker, Maker, Nicola. Oh gosh, well, we're just gonna have to look. M, Helen, Noreen, Anne, Liz, Liz. Has she got it? It just shows you how delayed this yeah. is, honestly. No, no, you had me worried. I've had to go in and check me on. Okay, Judith, Liz, Anne, Maker. I'll leave that to her. $49.99. Now, Alison, just give us a brief overview of this incredible collection of tools here. So, so what you've got is, the, that's to clamp, you can, you can place it. So um, the little screw, you, you clamp that to your desk and then your, your um, rotating table goes on top of it. So there'll be a little hole underneath if you look underneath the, the metal. Yeah. So that, that clamps on there. I see. Okay. And then you've got all your tools that you can, we were talking about handy andy. So these again are all ball jointed and they'll hold your pieces in place while you solder. Now, the reason why I wanted a rotating one, because I've been very, very, very jealous of Claire's for ages. The reason I wanted a rotating one is because if you move it, everything moves. Yes. So Whereas if, if you, you just rotate the, the table, on. Perfect. Do you know what? And we see, we've seen guest designers like Claire use yes. things like this in the past where yes. you're balancing this and this is yeah, balanced yeah. here and oh, hang on, I can't touch that. And yeah. It's all a bit precarious. This is brilliant. Wow. Um, absolutely brilliant. Oh, well wow. done, Fiona, Mary, Maker, Judith. Um, that is amazing. It's literally flown out the door. Well my done, day. everybody. Oh, darling. There we go. Okay. Solder paste. Solder paste. Let's, oh, let's in the go. In the D, 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 D. I love so this. Solder paste. So this is great if you want to get a really precise amount of solder this. into a piece, isn't it? So this is a soft solder. So it should say SS65. So that's soft solder. Yeah. Soft solder means it melts at a lower point. Yeah. So you get... Uh, 65, 70 and 75 we normally do in the little st strips. So you want, to, if you're going to solder multiple things. Oh, I see. Then the, uh, separately, then, so for, in, for instance, when you solder this, you would solder the back on first and you'd use a hard solder. Yes. Then to sol you'd solder the, the bezel separately. That would also be hard. And then you could, I use the soft solder in the middle where it's easy to get you, so the you other know, it's like piping so you pipe the inner the inner edge to get that solder in the middle yes um but i i my solder of choice if i'm only soldering one thing is is always the soft solder the soft solder yeah yeah brilliant i'll go stuff. for that every time and you can cut the little pallions and stuff like that i mean that's i mean that's you know has its use but yeah, yeah, this yeah, is no, just so precise this is i i would like us to get <clears> if you're listening upstairs i need to ask i need to ask um Georgia, I would like us to get the <laughs> tubes of the different hardnesses of solder. That's ready yes, flux. That would be wonderful. So, so that comes ready with a flux. You don't need you don't to put flux on no. or anything. It also has the added benefit of it, it acts a bit like a, 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 a short action glue. So, yes. if you put something on it, it kind of sticks with it. Yeah. Which is great. 
that, that's stuff. my that's my preferred one. This is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is uh, your deal today. Sixteen pounds ninety nine pence. And believe mm. you and I, although you will use it, you will use such a tiny oh, yeah. little pinprick amount. It, it lasts forever. Yeah, it's brilliant. Well I done. pop a piece of. Um, I usually put a piece of wire in the tube. Ah, to keep it just, open. Just to keep it. It, it. I think my other one finally clogged up after about eight months. But it becomes a bit harder because it always dries. So I, then I came up with the idea of popping a tube through. Soldering block. Right. Then now, the, you don't have, the answer doesn't have to be yes. Okay. Don't worry. If you're soldering copper, yeah. and then you're going to be soldering silver, would you use the same block or would you use a different block be honest I, I i would because i'm not hallmarking my silver ah, i'm not selling interesting. if i was selling i would probably keep so it like separate Hayley kruger would probably yeah, use separate, have a separate she'll use yeah. gold platinum silver interesting because okay. if you get any residue of copper on on your plate that could transfer to your silver then your everything needs to be duplicated because if you're selling, then potentially you're co you're corrupting your silver. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, is it is it likely to? No. However, they're not. Well, eight ninety nine. You know, they're not a lot of price. No, they're no. not a lot of money. And your soldering block is going to when you're soldering, it's going to absorb the heat, isn't it? Yes. It's going to help absorb the heat. It's going to help protect whatever surface you're working on. Yeah. Don't put this directly on no. on a surface no. like that. What I would do is I would put it on a wooden block or something, yeah. or a baking tray maybe. I don't know. Yeah, um, baking tray will transmit the heat. Yes, yeah, um, so you don't want to make that. Hot so I use <laughs> my my um, workbench of necessity. Right is my chest freezer. Oh, well, it's, nice and thick then. It, it's not the easiest surface to work on because there's nowhere to put your knees. So uh, I'm forever dropping things. Yes. You know, workbenches have a nice curve there where curve, you can slide into. Which you can slide, yeah. Um, so I do put, put mine directly on the, the enamel of the um, thingy. We've used it directly on this with no ill effects before yeah. now. Yeah, We've sold okay. it directly onto here. Um, I wouldn't put it on a glass top. No. Um, but then I wouldn't or, work on a glass top because I'm likely to drop something. Or your best dining table. Yeah. Right, OK. We've been allowed to play this. This is crazy. Don't know how we've been able to oh. get this. Star by Ringbender. I've lost my talk. <sighs> OK. Ring bender tool. Um, this is not just for bending rings. This is for bending kind of any wire. of your wire, yeah. your finer pieces of metal sheet. What I love about this tool, Alison, look at this. So if we take this piece out, this will slot into here. Yeah. I don't know if we can see that from above. Have you got that? Over? No, you don't have it over there, do you? No. So if I just show you this, here we go. Thank you for that, Ollie. Yeah, yeah, you've got, you've got the little go. slot. So let's take just one of these, yeah. that one there, literally slot that into there. So there's like a little divot, literally they've all got them. Yeah. Slot that into there, put that into there. Yeah. You are, ooh, she says. No, it should. Oh gosh, that's they such a tight fit. fit. I yeah. love it. You're good to go. So you get your little lever, is that right? Yeah. There's a little screw on the other end. Where? Screws into there. Oh yeah. Now, if you notice, it's a, a, an ellipse rather than a circle. Yeah. So as you turn it round, it pushes. Ooh. It's just cool, isn't it? It takes all of the work out. Yes. Well, yeah, let's give it to Alison. Well, I thought I was doing a pretty good job you there, actually. You were doing a perfect job. Uh, I'm actually not going to do just, anything. Uh, just different. give it to Alison, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I think... When you're, if you've got slight dexterity issues or if you've got rheumatoid arthritis or whatever it might be, yeah. doing that kind of action with a pair of pliers, that kind of twisting can be really quite painful and it really puts you off making certain things. Whereas if you've got this, all of the work is in the lever and in the mechanics inside that kind of component. Different shapes. You can do your rounds, you can do your diamonds, you can do, what's that one just under the handle there? So you've got 90. What's the one there? So that's there. a square. Oh, nice. Like that. And, and it's oh, got... Oh, yes. Yeah. 
So if you're doing, oh, gosh, it's a different that's... angle. That's a 90 degree, the other one's a 60 degree. So, oh. so if you've got um, a square um, gemstone yes. and you're trying to create a bezel. Oh, that's Thank so you nice. Yeah. Or, now bear in mind, it won't, it won't come out. You know, if you, if you want... Um, a diamond, so nice. Yeah, a diamond shape. Then oh, baby, baby. Oh, yes. So you could get a rough kind of marquise shape there, right? Yeah, suppose, absolutely. Couldn't you? you could just tease it. If you've cut it to the shape of your marquise or, or, or whatever, because you can curve the rest of it, then you can turn it round Beautiful. and put it in the other side. <clears throat> oh, Alison, that's so nice. I love it. 199 is not your price. Look, we've only got 14 of these. I can't believe we've been given permission to play this. This is a really special moment. We've got so much. We've got the bangle gauges. We've got all sorts coming up. Please, please, please just, just add as much uh, to your order in this hour as you possibly can. There's so much stuff on the website and stuff we're not going to be able to play. Um, like safety goggles, tweezers, all sorts. Just add as much as you can. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to be dropping those prices down. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh. Naughty Neary no, no, We love him. Wow. Okay, 20, uh, less this than 30 seconds. Good, price points coming down. Where have I put me square one? Yeah. There? Thank you, Tom, for begging and uh, pretty yeah, much stealing absolutely. everything. Absolutely. There's the Literally square one. Literally stealing everything. I'm just busy with the bangle uh, gauge here. Oh, this is fab, isn't love it? love this. Okay, price point. Here we go. All the way down. For the ring bender. For wow. the ring bender, 149. Brilliant. 149, Brilliant there you piece go. Of kit. But don't, I, it's a misnamed thing, right? So if you cut a load of pieces the same size and you use your diamond one, you can yeah. then solder these together and get an amazing flower. Oh. Yeah? You how swear, you lovely. Don't, get, get out of your box. Get out of your box. Stop thinking get in the box. Get out of my box. You you can use these. So, how many are, how many people struggle to get that turn at the top of a, the, the a pendant, symmetry. a pointed, the symmetry. yeah, a pointed pen, pendant, you nice. know, pop it in, you've got your, you've got your, your start off, your good point. Gorgeous. You can do it with wire as well as, as well as bezel strip. Well, this is yeah. so clever. Such a clever piece of kit. Lynn, Antoinette, Deborah, oh, Kerry, there's loads, loads and loads and loads of you there. Right, let's do these kits. We've still got the bangle um, gauges coming up. <clears throat> got the ring uh, jump ring opener um oh it's just all to, all, all to play for right you're ready just put that in there okay how like kit first yep let's do it so um I, I i got a couple of images for you you can look at them if you but it's not that really that well i it's just the first thing i thought of sorry no um it's the other end Dup, that yep uh so uh, carved scarab beetle carved out of uh, turquoise. Beautiful. You can do it. You can do it. That's um, a really easy carving. You can do it. To do. Um, on the other side, those earrings, they don't look like it. It's a terrible photograph. They're uh, carved into a shell shape. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. They're really, really pretty. I love that <clears throat> old bezel setting. It's just gorgeous. So you've got here turquoise coloured howlite, dyed howlite. Um, it's beautiful stuff. <coughs> oh, is it magnesite? Is it magnesite? Oh, Sorry, I beg your pardon. Magnesite. Sorry. Aztec Temple, this is called. Yes, I love it. So you've got copper sheet. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, you've got your gorgeous dyed magnesite. It's been dyed this incredible turquoise colour. This is what Alison has oh, carved magnesite. by uh, yeah. using her uh, Dremel. Gorgeous. You then get two strands, lapis lazuli. And you also get a strand of turquoise four millimetre rounds as well. Beautiful colour combos. You then get a spool of bare copper round wire, 10 metres of 0.8. Amazing, great for making your jump rings, your clasps. Um, bangles. Bangles, yeah, really useful gauge of wire. Copper sheet, 10 by 10, that's 10 yeah. centimetres by 10 centimetres. That's 0.8. That's 0.8, that's really nice and yeah. oh, thick. Then you get this kind of more, much more flexible. 0.32. Um, What's the size? Uh, six by nine. Six, oh, well, this is in inches. There we go. That's helpful, isn't it? <laughs> six by nine inches of your 0.32. This is beautiful stuff. 
Um, great, great, great quality pieces. Look at what she's created. I mean, literally incredible. So the base is the 0.8. Yeah. And the bezel strip, none of these I use bezel strip. I use the 0.32. You're so good. So I That's just cut my own bezel work. strip. So it means you can cut to exact depth you want. You can Precisely. do a, a fluted edge if you want. You can do fancy shapes. Love it. Um, you know, you can cut to the exact length and it's very, very easy. I know that that is a dyed magnesite, but so. that, that pendant there, that carved pendant you've made and you've handmade that bezel setting, yeah. that is not a 50 pound pendant. That is <laughs> incredible, isn't it? And I tell you what else, oh gosh, this is embarrassing. Looking at the quality and the caliber of jewelry that Alison has made here, I'm, I wanna hang my head in shame because the kit is 29.99. Oh my That's gosh. brilliant. It's just, it is, in, it's so low. It's so low, it's incredible. The possibilities, the opportunities to create the most beautiful jewelry, Alison. And you've done that. That's some of my favorite jewelry that you've, that you've oh. made. It's so lovely to see you carving and just having a go. Oh, and you've done so well, fun. having, having fun. fun. Yeah. The, the the settings need a little bit more of refinement. I ran out of time, so I they are a little bit rough on the join. Mm, uh, not, they they not just need the back sure needs that's smoothing. True, but anyway, can, oh no, it is. You can just see it there. I love doing them brushed finished. Um, I think um, it gives it something. The, the, these the two kits are just <clears throat> brilliant. If you've never done any sheet metal work before, they're perfect. If you've never oh, done, look at that. I mean, let, let me turn this that around. I made a little fold over. Oh, Alison, that's beautiful. <laughs> and soldered that Love on. That. So that's, that's completely fixed. Can I see those names, Neary? Because anyone who's, anyone who's got these in their baskets, check out. Literally, we've oh, literally gosh. got less than 15 minutes left on show. We've <coughs> got to bring you the next kit. Oh, this is this, stupid, this next kit. Oh, my gosh, this, this kit. Alison, this is like your dream, isn't I it? I know. Bare copper wire, 10 metres of 0.8, done. Yeah. Two lots of copper sheets are, ah, again, 10 thin. by 10, um, <coughs> and then 10 by 10 in 3.32. 3 yeah, yeah, lovely. We're taking the price point down straight Whoa. away. You've got your lapis lazuli cabochons, you've got your agate cabochons, you've got your appetite cabochons. Oh gosh, there's so many people there. Look at this, 29.99, Glamorgan, London, West Midlands, Greater London, Tyne and Weir, West Yorkshire, East Sussex, Greater London. It's crazy, 29.99, wow. it's gone completely nuts. Well done, everybody. This is just a dream of a kit. If you, um, want, to have a, if you want to have a go at soldering, Look at your Montana agate. If you want to have a go at, um, <gasps> these agates are stunning. So these, I couldn't carve these, I didn't carve these. Mine are beautiful. I, I, I don't think I could bring myself no. to do that. They are except, look at this one. Look at that, it's like a, oh, no. an, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, because of time, Alison, we're, we, please, what we're gonna do, Alison's gonna do a demo. I will be referencing the things that we're going to bring to air, but we are going to be bringing things to air whilst Alison's demoing, just purely because we've got less than 15 minutes on show. We want to oh give her God. full demo time, but also we want to be able to bring you all of the tools, like this jump ring cutter. With, go to our website, just buy everything. Get, oh, get as much cutter. as you can. Hey? It's a tube cutter. A tube cutter, sorry, not jump ring cutter. Tube cutter. Go. Right, Alison, go right. for it, sweetie. I can't I'm wait to see this. I used a flexi rod, okay, when I did it. I'm going to take it off because I haven't got my stand with me. And I think you said we had the stands on, didn't you? Uh, yes. Earlier. So yes, if yes. we've got the Dremel stand, get your well. strand because you can actually set your Dremel up, which I do, as um, I have it set horizontally. And it means I can, I can put polishing discs on and then just polish it. You know, you see these big big double-sided polishers that cost hundreds. Well, you can use it for that. I can use it with my leather work. I can use it with my flexi lead. I can take it off. I can use it as a pre drill press. It's brilliant. This is going to get noisy. Good, we love a I'm bit of I'm very really sorry. You so can. I've got some diamond tipped ends on here. Sorry, I forgot where my camera was then. <laughs> um, I've got diamond tipped ends um, and I do most of it with that. You can use ball ones, so I used um, the little ball one I've got for, sorry, there you go. The little ball one I got for, for doing the, um, the spots on it and the, the middle of the sunflower. But I'm starting off with one that's got a bit of an edge. I just want to take the edge out. Now, this is where, and I did it with the, with the flex as well, but this is where um, having hands-free, hands-free clamp 
comes into its own because I can steady my hand. So I've got my two hands on my Dremel and I'm going to, I've not done it with the Dremel like this before. So this could get interesting. Now I'm going to angle this a little bit so that I can drill like that, okay? So forgive me if I go a little bit all over the place because I'm not using my flexi. It's going to get noisy, sorry. I love that angle you oh. can work out. Uh-oh. Not today, Alison. No, don't do that. Not today. Assorted shape disc cutter on screen. Yours today. Just go for it. That's on. They've got lights on. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I actually have to turn it on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a switch on the extension lead. Uh, okay, right. So here we go. And this is I believe I love it. In See, you. I'm, I'm just playing with where, what angle do I want? So first of all, I want to get... Sorry, you put your mask on because it's just about to dusty. say, do you have to wear a mask? Sorry, yes, you do. And I just realised I didn't have mine on. And safety glasses, because you can get little bits flick off. Yeah. And my glasses are okay. So so first of all, you'd 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 um <laughs> go round the outline. I won't do it all because I know we've got um <laughs> oh. that is so cool. Look at that. We've got about 15 of this tool left just yeah, to let you know. With that. So I'm then going to change the end. Oh, stop rushing, Alison. Lovely. Jump ring opener 399. So this <laughs> is a long one. You've got you've got various long ones. These are great for taking out all the excess so I'll show you how to do a bit of that so I, I, I learned because I, I mean, this is only about the third one I've, I've had an attempt at so I'm going to pop that back in right so I want to get rid of some of this void okay so I'm going to put oh. this on oh Go on, Alison. Isn't this great? Can you see how much depth you're getting that straight is away? That is amazing. It's so nice to use this, the lapis, um, the the uh, appetite, I, the agate. I think is harder. Yeah. But it's still good to have a go. So then I'm going to use the edge of this just to put the flutes in. So you get the idea with that. And then I change to a round one. Does the gem get hot? Um, no, um, because I'm not doing it constantly. Constantly, yeah. I don't, I don't go at it. So, so, right. When you see people carving gemstones, you'll see sometimes they use. If you watch a stone carver um, or a stonemason, they? they don't do it underwater. Oh, they not don't do it country. underwater. Not stonemasons. So if you if you go to a church and there's someone, <laughs> sorry, there's someone um, doing a gargoyle or whatever, yeah. they don't do it underwater mm. generally. Um, when you see um, the people doing the the carvings for for us, that they will do it underwater. I don't have running water that I can use a Dremel anywhere near. Yeah, yeah. So you can constantly wet it. You can put it down. It's mainly to get rid of the dust and to keep the dust down. Interesting. Okay. okay. Look at that. Isn't that Mine beautiful? doesn't get hot, hot. Look at the light on that. It looks great. It's beautiful. Um, That's Alison, much more subtle. Just stunning. Um, I love that. You don't need to... to I, I didn't use water doing any of these. I damped, it, damped off a cloth to get rid of the dust, mm. but it doesn't get hot. It gets hotter when I'm trying to 
sand down the side of, of my bezel, which is why I, I ran out of time, yes. to make that perfect join, then it because I could only do a little bit of time and then I had to put put it down. Then it mm. does doing this. Yeah. So okay. so you need you need to have well ventilated. You need to have a mask because it is going to get dusty. Yeah. Um, the the only other so thing cool. if I so so you just keep building that up. Um, Chasing Hammers just been to where that's eight ninety nine. Honestly, just go to our Brilliant. website. There's yeah. billions of tools on there that Neary's just literally shoved on the website. Have you have you got the the uh, burnisher burn uh, Bernie? I think we may have done that. So we've got them. Um, Brass hammer, chasing hammer, jobbing hammer, double textured, uh, double ended texture hammer, interchangeable texture hammer, horizontal reading glasses, the, the double ended stakes, it. the jump ring opener, the Dremel workstation, the assorted disc cutter, the burnisher with wooden the handle, burnisher. the dust and jewelry torch. Torch, um, get the torch. The jig with Put sizing gauge. Oh, slow down. Uh, the <laughs> soldering block, the kit, the solder paste, get universal bench top work holder. By the way, we've got about 12 left of that. Just get it. Go, go, go. There's so much to play for. So Amazing. your burnisher, your burnisher comes in. So this was vertical. This great this, tool. Oh, I know. This, so this bezel was vertical. So I've shaped it around. Such so using my burnisher going round and, and just easing it in. Because you Not, don't think it's going to do anything, but it no. really does. Stretching, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, I can stretch metal. But how do I shrink it? But you can push it's it amazing. in. If you push it in directly, if you just go in a tiny little bit, you'll get a divot. Yeah. But what you have to do is go in a little bit at a time, keep going around, and you will push this in. And it just is the most beautiful, satisfying thing. And then when you've got it in all the way, and because it's beautiful, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very smooth. If you actually go over onto your gemstone, Sony, it doesn't matter. you're not going to hurt it. Well, you're it. compressing the metal molecules back together again, so it shrinks you are. and it gets harder. Yeah. So yeah. You're, it, it's a brilliant tool. When, when you're done, you can actually go round it that way and just... Can you see... I don't know whether you'll be able to pick that up, but right on the top, I'm just getting you get that, shine that little shine. Well. Can you see it's that? Lovely. Yes, you can. It's beautiful, Alison. Just coming on that edge there. So, so yes, you can do this. It's fabulous. See, look, having had that gap. Finishing touches. It, it's. I've, I've even got the cha the the chain, the, the pendant still yeah, on there. Yeah, so nice. You can and do that. Absolutely. It all like on there. Yeah. Just because of where you position these. If I had them further out, I'd have to close that further. One thing you've got to remember before anyone goes, mine doesn't work, it, it, it opens the reverse. So it's clockwise to open, <clears throat> anti-clockwise to tighten. I think yeah. I'm used to doing it in the, in the reverse yes. direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so um, it, just, it, just, it just does that in, in the reverse. But it, it, it's fabulous. It really Absolutely is. Absolutely. What fabulous. a useful tool. So now, it's a very, a very short demo. Oh. Um, let me Do know not worry about if, that. you, That's amazing. If, if you want me to, to talk to Georgia about actually seeing if we can get the, the, the diamond things and stuff in to yes. a carving show. Please. So, so let me know. We and need we'll, to do we'll that, we'll don't we? Get that Come on. And do a full. We've got it. Alison, please suggest that to Georgia. Please, please, please. That would be the most yeah. sensational. This is just the tip of the iceberg as well. Right, before we, before oh, we go, gosh. we're going to do the bangle gauges. Uh, now, it is so cool. We did the ring gauge, the ring measurers earlier um, a couple of weeks ago yeah. uh, in plastic. Uh, here's the bangle one. I've it, never it's seen just, it. It's, it's brill. It's, it's brill. I didn't even know this kind of thing existed. No. It's so cool. You've got here your... Um, so you've got here... Hang on, let me just double check. I... That says it's eight, so I don't know whether that is... Let's have a quick <coughs> That's a good, good point, that, Carol. You know when people say, oh, the diameter is, what's that for my size? You can tell it immediately. So are we measuring, it says eight here. Are we measuring the outside of the bangle? No, it'd be the inner, inner. The inner. In centimetre, no, it must be inches, centimetres, eight centimetres, that's ridiculous. Oh, this is so diameter or, or? Or circumference. I'm just, I'm just yeah, wondering. Yeah. So eight, eight would be the circumference. It's eight inches around. Yeah. So you're measure. So this is the circumference. This is the circumference of the bangle. So you know what size is going to fit you. So mine for it. Oh, there you go. And on, on the other side? side, yeah. On the other side. So this one is eight, eight 
eight inches round. Yeah. And then it gives you the measurements. Of the diameter? Of the diameter. Fab. It's two and a quarter inches. Oh, what a great tool. Yeah. So there's your circum sorry, there's your diameter in inches. And on this side, your circumference in inches. That's absolutely brilliant. So eight inches around means that your bangle is two and a half, two and a quarter, I think that is, uh, inches across. Amazing. Four ninety nine. Just take it. Go, go. I didn't even know these things existed. No. They're brilliant. They're, they're just, How long it's has just it great. Taken us? Yes, I know. And we've never had Such one. a long time. Oh, absolutely. Four ninety nine. Absolutely brilliant. Have this on your stand along with your bangles. So rather than people putting bangles yeah, on, taking yeah. them off, dropping them, you can just say... What's your, um, you know, uh, try one of these on, and that helps yeah. you to protect your bangles a bit more, doesn't it? Ab absolutely. And you know, when when have we ha when we've had the Jadeite bangles on, yeah. they come in a diameter. I know it's you'd have to convert them, but now, Alison, <laughs> yes, uh, bang on one o'clock. Yeah. What we're going to do? Neary's going to put a ton of strands on well. the website with ones available. <gasps> okay. He's going to crash the prices. Oh, you've got the magnetic burr holder. How I haven't seen that for years. Gem setting tool. We've got Ant Argentium Flux. We've got the safety goggles. We've got the German style saw we've got the uh, frame. Uh, amazing. So what I would do, bang on one o'clock, go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. Look at all the strands that Neri's going to put on the website. He's going to put them all <coughs> on there. Most of them have got ones in stock, ones and twos in stock, and he's going to take the prices down. They're going to be clearance prices, which is great. Alison... Oh, Kinga, that's yours, darling. Um, Alison, you have been an absolute legend today. I'm sorry Lovely. I've been over here and you've been No, no, there. no, it's, 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 it's a precaution and I, I thoroughly agree with it. You've been it. amazing and I really hope John's feeling better soon, sweetie. Yeah, um, thank you so much. <laughs> Inspirational lady. Aww. Inspirational Aww. lady. Can't wait to see where this medium yeah. goes. It's just incredible. It's just the, the unthinkable. She did it. Amazing. You've done amazingly well. You must be so proud. I, I love it. I love it. I'm so <laughs> glad it came out so well. Don't go anywhere. You've got an amazing afternoon uh, uh, coming up on Hobby Makeup with the gang. All of those strands are going to go on the website any second now. One's in stock. Take them away. They're all going to sell out. We'll see you the other side of this. <laughs>